tavern's hush, the wizard keeps low. Midst townsfolk's chatter, he lets secrets flow. Hidden in plain sight, his presence is thin, a silent observer in the milking inn. Welcome, 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 chatters! We have an awesome stream planned for today, my friends. We have an awesome stream planned for today. So far, we had a build that we've made like 20-something million silver with. And I've had a lot of people ask me, how on earth am I doing that? It's easy. I'm an almighty wizard. But I can also teach you guys some of my tips and tricks to help you survive. And that's what I shall do. We're going to be doing some tips and tricks for the wild blood update on top of that i've had a lot of people ask me what do i feel about the update that's gonna be a discussion that i'm gonna be approaching with nobody else besides the mighty burner of stones that's right burnstone will join us a little bit later on throughout the stream but before that happens i also have something else planned which is to show you guys how to actually get involved into this update yeah i've showed you builds for it yeah i've explained certain tips and tricks by that time but how do you actually do tracking like how does that actually work there's not a lot of in-game tips and tricks or tutorials to show you this type of stuff so yes chat by the way right now we are live both on twitch and on youtube at the same time multi-streaming because i don't care about the tos anymore I'm, I'm joking they changed the tos on top of that if you check out uh, the quality of the stream it should be much much crisper uh, hopefully it is. Hopefully it is. That should be the case. Yo, what's up? Uh, Kumar, welcome. He's saying hello on YouTube. Sting and Sock, welcome, welcome. That one guy. Hello, hello, hello. Great, great, great to have you all here, adventurers. So here's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be jumping straight onto the, the game. Straight up. Like, yeah, no delay. Why should, the, why should we delay it? I don't see any reason to do that. So we're just going to jump straight into the game and uh, get to it. And straight up get to it. I'm too cool. Welcome among us. Chat, by the way, I have a surprise for you. Uh, just wait for me for a second. Y'all know what this is? Look at this for a second. Y'all know what this is? This is a camera upgrade. This is a camera upgrade, not yet. I mean, the camera's in my hands, not on uh, the tripod, because we need one pesky adapter that I had no idea that I will need. This is a Nikon uh, 700, I think it is. Oh no, a Nikon D700. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, okay, I need to place this somewhere else. Give me a second, can I need to bring it back? Ah. Ah. <sighs> I'm out of, out of breath. Ah. Now we can see the hat in its true glory. Indeed, my friends, indeed, my friends, indeed, my friends. All right, chat, due to the Twitch TOS rules, I'm not going to be able to show you guys on YouTube uh, your chat. So we're only going to be interacting. Oh, no, wait, I should say it otherwise. On the screen, when we go in the game, there's only going to be the Twitch chat. That's because of the Twitch's TOS. It's kind of a kind of a weird rule, but yeah. With you guys on YouTube, I'm still going to be interacting. Pussing. Merry Christmas. Hey, that's true. That's true. How do we see the hat? Oh, th that's what you said. Now we can see the hat in, the, in its true glory. Oh, I'm messing up my words, but I'm out of breath. Damn, I'm fat. All right, chat. Let's not delay it any further. Let's straight up jump into the game. Welcome back, chat. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, wifey, am I weirdly lit? I cannot tell right now because of the glasses. Maybe I should... Uh, I, feel like, I feel like there should be a little bit more light over here. A little bit more light. Chat, I cannot wait to upgrade the camera. We're gonna... Uh, it, it's gonna give us some crazy, crazy new things. What? I'm good? Alright, perfect. What? 
Right, sorry wifey, but you need to speak louder. Because your husband kind of deaf. It is what it is. Chat, let's get some tracking right now until maintenance. And then I want to make a tips and tricks video for tracking. Because man, I've learned a ton of things along the way. Wait, so you are streaming on YouTube and Twitch at the same time? Yeah, boy. Yes. And I'm very excited about this. We have a multi-stream right now. We're also going to be live on Kick very soon. Uh, we're going to be live on Facebook Gaming. Like, I don't see why we wouldn't be live everywhere, basically. Uh, we do. Check the um, uh, the spot right next to the sofa where we keep the water. Like, close to the window and stuff. Man, why have you placed it there? You placed it there. <laughs> all right, chat, all right, chat, all right, chat. So, uh, we're just going to get warmed up a little bit. We're going to go and kill some people, do some tracking, the usual stuff. I want to go two maps away, and then I'm going to start uh, messing up a little bit. I'm going to start messing around, messing around, and messing up some folks. I don't know why I cannot scroll up. Oh, the Twitch chat is not working. Why is this not working? Why are we experiencing te technical problems today? I hate when this happens. Give me a second chat. I need to, to see what's up with this. I shall be back. Chat. Oh, sorry, the voice. Chat, there seems to be an error on the side of Twitch. Uh, it's probably going to get fixed at some point. So, yeah, we're not going to have a chat right now. <clears throat> but we are going to get a chat very, very soon. Chat, sorry about sorry about the technical issues today. I'm not sure exactly why everything broke right before the stream. Because when I tested, everything worked. Every single thing worked. But right now, things started breaking for no reason. For no reason. Yo, what's up, Kevin? Yes, I'm streaming both on Twitch and on YouTube. If you want to get some drops, jump on uh, jump on Twitch. All right, chat. Come on. Let's just get through this. Let's just get through this. Oh, I want this. I want this. I really want this. This is really risky for me to do tracking right next to the city, but I want some Shadow Panther uh, artifacts. I need to craft more of those weapons. This became my main weapon. I've made like 20 million silver with this one set that I have right here. What build? Oh man, the best build. This right here, this right here. <coughs> <coughs> Let me drink some water. I have um. <sighs> Did you all have your morning coffee? <coughs> It's time for me to have my morning blood. Let's get it. Come on, this should be good. This should be good. Okay, I was I was joking, but thank you. 300k. That's a great start for the day. That's an amazing start of the day. This is the first thing that we've done today. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. How much does the build cost? Five souls of uh, innocence. Uh, and also 10 million silver, something like that. Yeah, uh, you see, this weapon that I have right now is awakened by by my sheer display of strength. <laughs> Look at this. It's insane. Um, so right now, I feel like it's a priceless possession at this point. Like, I, I don't know exactly how to put a price point on it because it's just such a rare item. It also has some emotional value because it was given to me by a viewer. So it's hard to place a price on it. You know what I mean? It, it's, it's really hard. To place a price on it. 
Yo, 16. Welcome among us, traveler. Welcome among us. All right. Chat. I'm uh, gonna be absolutely honest with you. I cannot wait for the little, little pesky adapter to get here so we can massively upgrade the camera. That's the next big upgrade that we're gonna be doing on the stream. The camera. Oh, man. If that camera works, and it's gonna work, there's no reason for it to not work. But I, I don't know. I just want to place an if over there because you never know, to be honest, with those types of things. Oh, all right, wife. You're right, right, right. So yeah, so yeah. <clears throat> if it works, when we, when uh, the adapter gets here, we're gonna be upgrading massively. How do drops work on YouTube? Drops do not work on YouTube. Drops only work on uh, Twitch. Drops only work on Twitch. So if you want drops, my friend, you're gonna have to jump on Twitch. And, uh, well, you're gonna get the drops. Absolutely. Ah, just some extra damage over there. Let's get it. Let's get it. Come on. Give me one more stack. Perfection. And now we do the big damage. I don't want to pull extra mobs, says Mogden as he pulls extra mobs. Hey, it is what it is. Sometimes you gotta pull extra mobs. They just pulled on me, man. It is what it is. All right. Boys, we gotta we gotta get some blood flowing. We gotta get some blood flowing. I, I feel asleep and no, that's not that's not a good idea. That's not a good idea. To be asleep in the black zone, never a good idea, chat. So let's let's kill this cat and then let's hunt for some uh, for some people. That that's gotta get us um Awakened. That's gotta get us awakened. So come on, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Nice. Come on, cat. I mean, to be honest, I'm hunting in the meantime. Mok, do you know how it feels to get your target stolen while tracking? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I had that happen in the first few days, but since I got my hands, the ha since I got myself the hands on this staff, yeah, that didn't happen. I'm usually the person who's stealing those targets. You're sleepy. Did you not just start your stream? Oh, 16. My sleepy state is more entertaining than other streamers' full entertaining state. No, 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 no. We're gonna go. We're gonna go gra do great things. Sorry, I'm just messing up my words. The only problem is that I somewhat mess up my words when I'm sleepy. That's the only thing. Nobody does it better than the wizard. But it just is what it is. Sometimes, sometimes, you just get a little bit sleepier. It happens. It happens. It happens. I want to try to get the werewolf. So I'm going to be pursuing that. I'm going to be pursuing that real, real fast. I'm also very tempted to just go for some more shadow panthers. But I can craft like four weapons right now. So even if I lose this, I can craft it again and again and again. So it's not really the biggest deal. Come on, let's sniff some tracks. <laughs> Great. This one is fresh. We oui, you started drinking vodka. What? <laughs> he embraced his Russian side, I see. <laughs> That's great. Uh, is the drop rate affected by the number of parties? Uh, I feel like you mean the number of people in your party. As far as I know... The solo mobs have set in stone drop rates regardless of how many people are around. So they don't adjust if there's a solo player or a duo. Uh, however, the group ones, like the one made for 4 to 8 people, those ones I think have higher drop chances, yeah. Zero chest on level 7 Abbey. Oh man, I, want, I actually wanted to ask to see how the Abbey is nowadays. Because a lot of people were curious about that. And to be honest, even myself, I was kind of curious about the state of the Nightfall Abbey. Because you see, Albion, even though it does not have the traditional um, gear treadmill that other games have. So let's say you uh, farm right now a set of gear and all of a sudden an expansion drops and you have to refarm it. Because guess what? The gear from the last expansion kind of sucks. So you have to farm the whole thing over and over again. Well, Albion doesn't have that. But in a sense, we do have that in the fact that old content very often becomes meaningless. Think about it like this. Solo dungeons a few years ago when there was not so many things that you could actually do were amazing. How are solo dungeons right now? 
they're not that great. They're not that great. Oh, chat, an ad break just started without a notification for me. That kind of sucks. I don't know why I didn't get a notification for that. There's an ad break going on right now on Twitch. I'm really sorry about that, Twitch people. Uh, the notification should have been sent, but it wasn't. But it wasn't. Absolutely. Let me, uh, let me uh, fix the pointiness of my hat. Thank you, Mogden. Thank you. Thank you for not allowing me to be floppy. I promise that I will do the same for you when the time is right. Shut up, hat. Shut up. What is the best set to use with Blood Moon Staff? Well, I'm thinking something with Mercenary Jacket, so you basically have infinite sustain. I'm also thinking something with... Um, I don't know. Those glasses give you the ultimate power. Insane! Hey! A mod just messaged me in the game saying those glasses give you infinite power or the ultimate power. Man, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say... But please message me through the through the Twitch chat because otherwise I have no chance to read anything with those glasses on. You see, one of the reasons why I wanted to place those glasses on, first of all, it's anti-cringe protection. And second of all, when, when I see bad plays and stuff like that. And second of all, uh, well, I had to nerf myself. I had to nerf myself. Because I, otherwise I would just kill everybody. So I had to do something so I don't see very well and stuff like that. I mean, it doesn't even matter, because most of the times I play with my eyes closed. Like, I don't need to open up my eyes to play. Uh, only when I get in, like, a tense 10v1 situation or something like that, that I might open up my eyes. If they have, like, a little bit more IP than me and stuff, you know. But, but yeah, otherwise I try to stay with my eyes closed. Which build is better with prowling? I really like this one for open world. You might feel like the assassin jacket is kind of like, why? Why Why do you use the assassin jacket? You can already go perma invis with your E. True, but you cannot go perma invis if you're in combat. So the assassin jacket kind of helps you get out of combat. But you're a smart motor if you thought about that. That's great. That's, that's actually great. But yeah. Chad, I'm really excited. Today we're going to have a, a little bit of an interview. I think Burnstone wants to start a podcast-like thing. Oh, wait, I need to explain myself. Chat, sorry for the unannounced ad break. All ad breaks usually are announced. This one, for some weird reason, I did not get a notification for it. Like, Twitch did not tell me that an ad break is happening, so I couldn't tell you. I'm really sorry about that. Usually I'm notified. This time I wasn't. We have ad breaks every 20 minutes because I want to make sure that nothing interrupts you watching the Mighty Wizard. So, yeah. Is there a swap for the helmet? Um, you could swap it for Coltis Cowl. Coltis Cowl would also work like a charm. The problem is that it works for brawling. And, um, well, while if you get into a brawl, the Coltis Cowl will be amazing more often than not the enemy will run away from you because you're doing so much damage that there's no you know like this build is probably one of the most annoying builds to fight it's probably one of the most annoying builds to fight because the enemy jumps you with full hp i take away like half hp in the first engage and then i continuously chip at their hp because i have very short cooldowns so i end up just doing damage over damage over, like you know usually builds like this have a high burst but then once the burst is over that's it well this one has only high bursts like you you don't look at this look at the damage that i'm gonna do to this so look at look at my damage it doesn't slow down it just doesn't slow down like i'm always dropping things doing things See what I mean? Over and over and over again, big damage or constant big damage. Come on, give me the artifact. Don't you peek on the mighty wizard, mortal. Don't you peek on the mighty wizard. You try to peek on the mighty wizard? That's not something you want to do, my friend. That is not something that you want to do. You don't peek on the mighty wizard. When you see the mighty wizard, you run the opposite way. Damn. That was nice. That was very nice, Chad. That was very nice. All right, let's go. We have... Uh, we just started the stream and we have one million silver on us. Looking good, Chad. We're looking good. See, this build 
is surprising. People do not see it coming. People do not see it coming. They just look at me and are like, oh, it's just a guy with a... Oh, what is this furry doing? This furry is going to murder you, man. That's what this furry is doing. <laughs> Wizard rage. Yes! Let's get it. I need to drink more water. What's up, Joe Mama? Mo, help me. I lost my main account. Yeah, I know. I hacked it. I'm, I'm glad it worked. What happened then? Like, for real, what happened? How did you lose it? <laughs> the tears of the fallen mortals. <laughs> That was nice, but wild. I cannot even approach you and say hello. I must run. Yes! The wizard is blood crazed. <laughs> Clip that. Mok is a hacker. Yep. I mean, I'm not a hacker, but my acolytes are, you know. Where's the big water tank go? Well, my wife brought me uh, a near mortal water glass. I, I have it, but my wife, I guess, does not love me anymore. So she gave me a small portion of water. It's good water. Alright, chat. Alright, chat. Alright, chat. Alright, chat. Kill the old people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now kill the golem. Eh, eh. Uh, no. Uh, uh, no, no. Uh, uh, no, no. Oh, no, no. Uh, 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 no. Oh, no. I pulled, I pulled some weeds, man. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 oh no. Okay, there's no work around that one. There's no work around that one. Just let me kill you, man. Just stop fighting back. Eh. Whew. Eh, nice, you totally missed that. Wee! Let's get it. I thought you moved back to Twitch. Well, that's the thing, uh, angels. Right now, I am on Twitch as well. I'm on Twitch as well. Let's get it. We're, we're multi-streaming chat. But I know what you will say. But Meg, aren't you getting banned for that? Yeah, we are. It's great. But until then, we're going to be having fun. <clears throat> um, I did, but they changed the pass. I contacted this. Oh, so you actually lost your account. What happened, man? Be honest with you. Be honest with your boy. Did you connect your only lads account to Twitch so you could get only lads drops? And I just noticed that somebody subscribed. No. Kang Chain. Kang Chain. Thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate that. I I I missed it. I, I blame it on the glasses. I'm really sorry about that. I really don't see very well. <laughs> I really don't see anything with those glasses. I'm I'm sorry. I wish I could show you. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if I reveal sensitive information if, by showing that, but I don't think I am. Yeah, I don't think I am. I can show you this. I'll show you. I'll show you what my screen looks like. So, forgive me, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, mi I missed your sub a lot. But thank you so much for the sub. It really helps me out a ton. I'll show you a sneak peek of my second screen because I feel like it's just it's just funny at this point. I got the hiccups now. All right. So a screen... I mean a screenshot. An image of my second screen. Let me make sure that I'm not revealing any sensitive information. What is this guy doing? Go sing at another table, man. Um... Yeah. I guess I can show this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, it's going to be confusing now. Oh, no, I can actually switch it straight up. This is my second screen. 
I have a picture over a picture because I need to see the ads. I have the chat. I have this. This is very important so I can see if I change my, my voice. I have the YouTube stats over there. The OBS stats over there. Uh, the alerts over here. The chat. I mean, I kind of ignore this chat because I just read it over there. Yeah, it's um, it's wild stuff. Only a mighty wizard could manage that. Mog, do you have sore eyes? No, I, I just have two of them. But yeah, thank you so much for the sub. I really did not see it. Like, yeah, it, it's just a lot of craziness going on on my screen right now. I'm still getting used to this. Get a third screen. I have I have two screens right now. I absolutely need to get a third one. But I will be absolutely honest. I think I need like three, uh, four, four screens. I think four screens would be amazing. And you know what? I have a third screen. Maybe I actually get that. Yeah, maybe I actually get that one. Because I have one. I have a, a spare monitor that nobody uses. And it would be really useful. But how on earth did, you, did that happen to you, uh, Joe Mama? How are you even managing that, hey, amen? I help him. I help him a lot. Nah, it's not that hard. With the help of the hat, anything is possible, mortals. The hat is all powerful, remember? Yeah, the hat is all powerful, but I wish I wish you would actually manage those things. Yeah. Someone hacked my Gmail and changed my password. Bro, that sucks. That's a nightmare. You know how to avoid that? Don't ever click links. Never. Never. If you have a link from like a really trusted person or stuff like that, then click them. Uh, why do you choose prolling to play? Any special reason? Uh -huh. It's great, man. Perma Invis. Look at this. It's an amazing build to play. The damage is huge. The surprise factor is huge. I don't see any downside. I don't see any downside to playing prolling staff. Werewolf staff could also be very strong. But yeah. Um, prolling is um, my love right now. This, this became my main weapon. Today I'm going to be showcasing multiple things, like I'm not going to be playing only prolling. I want to play a little bit of prolling until maintenance to do some highlights, to have some fun and things like that. And um, yeah. Oh, what is going on with this? Why are you all just giving me... I'm not a food fetishist, SBI. Stop giving me tracks. Will those lead to Robin Hinkies? <laughs> yes! Okay, right now the game is really asking me to, to risk it a little bit. I hope I, hope I get some... Uh, some feet over there, not the monster itself, because that's gonna be rough. That's dead fought, by the way. Like, look at this. Right next to the portal. Alongside a ton of dead people, apparently. Only click the links that Mog sends you. Yeah, like, if you have a trusted person or stuff like that, you know, never click things that sound too bad to be true or too good to be true. Because that's how they get you. They put you in a panic state. They're like, oh, your account is at risk. You have to change your password right now. And they, boom, that's how they fish your information. Your account was never at risk. Yo, why don't I have the bubble? Where's the bubble? Where's the bubble? Where is the bubble? Donde esta soy boble? Where is the bubble? I went inside the area and no bubble. I did not attack. Where bubble? Chat, let's go to the academy to examine this footage. Chat, chat, chat. To the academy we shall go. Because this was BS. Welcome, students. Welcome, class, to the Mighty Wizards Academy. Uh, I guess I owe you guys an explanation. Let's make this a little bit smaller. We showcased something yesterday and we had to make this big. Chat, BS or no BS. So I've died in now a very, very weird way right there. Because I don't know if you guys noticed this, but look at this for a second. So, boom. Chat, question number one. Did I... Or did I not go inside of the protected area? I feel like it's quite clear that your boy 
did not go into the protected area you can kind of actually see it right in the middle right over here let me slide my chair on so you guys can see it i am not in the protected area let's move it forward let's move it forward adventurous i intentionally avoid going through the protected area as you guys will be able to see in a sec oh sorry about that oh what did i do so you see this you see this i did not go in the protected area I did not get to attack the mob. Did I or did I not attack the mob? I have a question. Did I or did I not attack the mob? I did not attack the mob. I don't have the bubble on me. I went in the area that was supposed to protect me. Okay, this is an even bigger BS than I thought, yet. So look at this for a second. I go in the area. I get the bubble. But then shape-shifting takes me out of the bubble when you go i'm pretty sure i can use abilities inside let me double check that is that what made me lose the bubble maybe that's what made me made me lose the bubble that's what made me lose the bubble man yeah yeah that's what made me lose the bubble i didn't realize it yeah that sucks it does i've done it and i lost six mil yeah yeah no that's true and he's counted as an ability man because shaping your, I mean, shape shifting is very much, uh, shape shifting, sorry, shape shifting is very much an ability. Oh no, there's no BS, I cannot blame it on the game. No, no. Oh no, chat, oh. I had the voice of the hat right there, chat, because of my, of my immense anger. Ah, oh, come on. For a second, I didn't realize it because I was like, oh, I'm just changing my shape. Like, that's not really an ability. I'm just shape shifting, kind of like buffing myself. But that's very much an ability, chat. That is very much an ability. Well, chat, you know what they say? All good things... All good things have to end at some point. All good things have to end at some point. This is just the end of this good thing. But chat, let's not be too mad about that. Because look at how much we've made. Yo, why am I not getting notifications? Okay, why am I not getting notifications for the ads? This is getting problem. This is starting to be problematic. Give me a second, chat. I'm not getting notifications for the ads. And I don't know why. Because I've specifically said it so I get notifications for the ads. You know what I will do? I will just set up a manual notification. I put up an alarm or something. Because I, I hate the fact that the ads are just starting and I have no idea when. So, I set up an alarm. I'm not going to miss any ad right now. I'm going to call it out. So, chat. It's not all bad. It's not all bad because we've made a ton of silver. Let's go in Limhurst and I will be able to show you right there how much silver we managed to make. That sucks. Ah, oh, that sucks, man. What what does this guy wanna give me? I'll tell you what, give that to your mom! <laughs> Alright. Let's go and leave first. Playing Mr. Potter is very dangerous, man. Well, I was the one creating the danger, man. I was the one creating a dan the danger over there. But I didn't realize that shape-shifting would actually count as an ability. But of course it does. Of course it does. Ah. It happens.
it happens we've made like 20 million silver with that all right chat so this is how much we've managed to make this right here oh we sold a little bit of it actually oh i won't be able to show you because i've sold it it was about 18 to 20 million silver so yeah good stock very 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 good stock let's buy ourselves let me see let me go in um that fort i want to try something with the imp staff i really want to try something with the imp staff i want to make a guide for that just to see how strong that actually is and stuff so yeah let's get to it uh is the ad over chat i think the ad is over Now it's over. All right, chat. Sorry for the unannounced ad break. I've set up a manual timer for it. Apparently, Twitch does not send me the notification anymore. I don't know why. So, uh, so yeah. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. I'm not sure exactly what's up with Twitch and why am I not getting notifications for that. But, yeah. Got an Albion ad. Oh, man. What big guys you have? Hey, I have to wear this so I don't uh, kill people with my gaze. It's very important very important oh the red-headed uh, hey what's up man i just noticed you the red-headed boy welcome among us welcome among us so we learned the new trick shape shifting will remove your bubble yeah it definitely does count as an ability i don't know why i've expected otherwise to be honest but it definitely does count as a full-blown ability over there Love from, from Bangladesh. Hey, that's good to hear, man. Welcome, welcome. It's great to see you here. By the way, chat, if you guys on Twitch are wondering who on earth am I speaking with sometimes, well, we are multi-streaming right now. We're both on Twitch and on YouTube. So, uh, so that's something. Let me see. Oh, damn. Expensive boy. Wow really it's not that good i mean let's try it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i want to try to figure out a build for this for crop the dungeons and stuff because i feel like oh, i have polymorph oh we're gonna slap some people man oh no oh this is great nah that is amazing okay 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 we go with that uh we go with cleric robe I want to try a one-shot build for this. I know it sounds kind of weird, like, oh, well, what do you want a one-shot? Uh, one-shots don't work anymore. Except that they might. Except that they might. Harvest the cap. Let's go 5.1. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Let's go with some hunter shoes right here. Right, that for the cape. Or three. I'm gonna be going first in Hunter, so I test out the waters, see how it goes, because I'm trying something kind of risky here. Like, if it works, it's a very niche down thing that surprisingly works. It should work. In my opinion, it should, like, it wouldn't be that surprising if it works, you know? But I, it's just, hey, we gotta test it. We gotta test it. Is there a difference from tracking rewards in the red zone and in the black zone? In the black zone, you get higher chances of actually getting the artifact, as far as I know, because the drop chances are higher in general, like across the board. Not surely what happened to your eyes, man. Why do you think something happened to my eyes, man? <laughs> no, nothing, nothing, nothing. Uh, you see, there's been some uh, some controversial stuff happening on YouTube lately between me and uh, the swollen one. And basically, because of the cringe, I had to start wearing anti-cringe goggles. If you guys don't know about this, so I made a video uh, a few days ago detailing why Swall Benji actually got banned. And um, basically, I presented the arguments. I've explained. I showed proof. I've done everything. And then Swall Benji made a response video that made me cry he actually had some some amazing points now i've presented those points yesterday and i will quote again this is a straight up quotation so uh, i presented all my arguments i made like a 15 minute video explaining everything swore benji made a video and he went and i quote i am a 
Minecraft YouTuber that used to get 700 views on Twitch. I am a challenger in League of Legends with every other good challenger. I don't need Albion. I am the face of Albion. I am the face of Albion. Yeah, and uh, as you can see, he made some amazing points. So I, I basically had to just cower away in fear and hide my face forever. Couldn't do anything. I couldn't do anything else. I just had to hide my face forever because, man, those were some great points. Yep. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. Well, you know, I admit when I lose. I admit when I lose, Chad. And I lost this one. Clearly. <laughs> Tell me you recorded that. I think I was actually here. <laughs> it's the truth, man. It's the truth. Oh, not point one. No, 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 no. Not quite that rich yet. Says Mognan wanting to buy 27 potions. All right. Those glasses made me think about Boris the Animal from Men in Black. Boris the Animal, I don't know who that is. I watched Men in Black, but I don't remember Boris the Animal. Maybe I am Boris the Animal. With sword in hand. You look like uh, Gatean the Mole from Atlantis. Oh, have you been to Atlantis? How, how are the people there doing? I haven't seen them in a while. They kicked me out when I, when I went with like some sprite. Telling them that they should replace the water in the city with Sprite because that's just better. They didn't like my idea. Hey, it's it's their loss. It's their loss. Buddy, don't bother yourself about Sword Band. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna bother myself with that. I'm, of course, I'm. That's why I'm wearing the anti anti cringe uh, goggles. Hey, what's up, Dren? Welcome or Draw? Wel welcome, welcome. They like Pepsi by mistake. Yeah. I didn't think about that. Kryptonite, I didn't think about that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I saw his response, I was like, oh, that's so nice that you checked out my comment section. Maybe check out the video as well. <laughs> Again, no hate towards for Benji. But, um, I... I'm in character, and I'm taking my liberty to make fun of whatever I want to make fun of. What you gonna do, cry? Poop yourself? No. Do it. Do it right now. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'll cry. Good. <laughs> Go for it. How much did I love uh, differential in university? Oh, we didn't learn about that. Chat, uh, don't judge me for playing in hand, all right? I want to try this weapon because I'm trying a one-shot combination of this weapon. And if this works, I think we can actually go places with this. I want to try it on the boss. It should work. It should absolutely work. I'm gonna have to try it. I'm gonna have to try it. This is my first time joining your uh, my live. Hey, welcome, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's nice to have you here. I'm from Romania. The land of myth and magic beyond the sea, where you go in with a wallet and you get out without one. That's Romania for you right there. I need to start lifting up my my goggles, man. Because I'm gonna be honest, I don't see much. But I don't need to see much because I play with my eyes closed like most of the times. It's just, you know. My senpai named Immortal Tree has one shot in build. 
Rion, you have a senpai? You're getting executed. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. You just have a, a public beheading happening pretty soon. Expect that. Chat, I'm unsure about the lighting. Is the lighting alright? I've been toying around with the lighting for a long time now. The thing is, chat, we are working to upgrade our camera. Uh, I mean, we have the camera. We just need a stupid adapter that I didn't think I would need. So, so yeah, that's what we're waiting for right now that that's what we need right now the stupid adapter that nobody thought we would actually need or at least i didn't no on screen chat yeah there's an issue with twitch there's an issue with twitch uh i don't know why but it didn't work we're gonna make it work i mean we're gonna make it work at, at some point probably it's gonna fix itself it's one of those problems that we cannot really do much about unfortunately Bro, what is this attack range? Look at my auto attack range. Wait a second, what? That's such a big range. How does the the kill my the kill part work? Oh man, this is nice. This is actually nice. Come on, get me into the fight. I want to try this. I want to try this. This should be a kiter slash one shot build. If it works. If it works. It's trial and error. Very much trial and error. <laughs> it sucks so much that I cannot shape shift into the imp anymore now. You know what could also very much work? This staff with soldier armor. Imagine that for a second. Think I'm better with keeper keep. Well, you're wrong. <laughs> no, a uh, keeper keep wouldn't be good because that would require me to get low and time everything right and would be very predictable. Like whenever I'm playing against a one shot and I see keeper keep proc, I know what's about to happen. Everybody knows what's about to happen. Like, I'm about to get one shot. So I start reflecting. I start protecting myself against it. Whereas if I go with something like this, it's a little bit more surprising. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I want to try this. If it works, we should be able to melt down an opponent pretty, pretty fast. There is a victim right there, chat. I was hoping that I would get out of range. Oh wait, does it collapse on... What? This is the first time I've seen that. A weapon... Um, a ranged weapon that doesn't go through walls and stuff. Oh, that's a big mistake. That's a big mistake right there. Mm -mm, that's a big mistake. Now, I think this works better as a, as a brawler chat. I'm gonna be absolutely straight up and honest with you. I think this build right here actually works a little bit better as a brawler. No, I messed up. I messed up. Uh, I think I might need to change to Mercenary Jacket. I'm incredibly squishy in inform. I'm used to playing with a Panther where I can actually dodge uh, with the form, but this one, uh -uh, I'm not feeling it. Maybe Mercenary Jacket? Let's try it one more time. Panic so bad. Yeah, I panicked when I realized that I made the big mistake of changing into the squishiest form whenever I actually took the biggest damage. So it was the worst thing that you could possibly do. Whenever you were about to take the biggest damage, switch into the... Uh, the ba basically, the one-shotable side of you. You know what I mean? Try to die in him form. Yeah, no, to be honest, I think I need to change to Mercenary Jacket. 
against melee this would work but against ranged and stuff i don't know i don't know i tried at the end to pull it off with uh, cleric robe i was hoping that he would auto attack or something but now nah, he knew how to play around it to be honest this would have been the the classic stalker experience if i was in stalker i'm not sure if i'm feeling this one i'm not sure if i'm feeling this one against melee it's gonna be really powerful Chat, by the way, we have an ad break about to start, which is perfect, because that means that by the time we get to the actual Corrupted, there's not going to be any ads and stuff like that. On 8.4, uh, what you talking about? The W? The 8.4 does under 2k damage. The W works with Mercenary Jacket. Yeah, that, that's what I was thinking about that. Because maybe we make this into a brawler. But which I don't forget about the ad break. It's going to start in less than one minute right now. Um, and yeah. During the ad break, no meaningful content shall be done. We're just going to be uh, completing the Corrupted Dungeon so we can get to the point of fighting, actually. That's the plan. That's the plan. Yes, Stalker Armor, uh, uh, sorry, Soldier Armor could also be a very good option there. I'm thinking about things here. I wanted to try this because this seemed as an amazing one-shot. But Stalker or Mercenary might be the, the sweet spot. Stalker, I mean Soldier, sorry. Soldier or Mercenary might be the sweet spot for this. Because with the W, you can heal up like crazy with Mercenary. Look at this for a second. Yeah, that's the ad break I've seen. But yeah, the biggest mistake is that I've swapped to my form uh, being used to the Panther form. Because in Panther form, if I fight a Fire Staff, I swap to it and use my W to dodge their E. But there's no option to do that with this form. And that's a problem. And that's a problem. We, gotta, we just gotta wake up, chat. We just gotta wake up. Warming up. Warming up. But yeah. We have 30 minutes to warm up. I don't know how I'm feeling about this one, chat. I'm going to be honest with you all. Bear will be good with Stalker Jacket. Now nah, we tried it. It's the best with uh, Coltis Robe. With Coltis Robe, that build slaps. Because you can stun the enemy so much. You do. Uh, the idea with the bear is that you want to switch to bear form, stun the enemy, switch back to human form, use your Q and your W. Switch back to bear form, stun the enemy, so on and so forth. You always move in between shapes and in between forms and do your combos and stuff. And it feels awesome. It feels awesome. And I... My glasses are slipping from my face. Warm up. Yeah, exactly. Warm up. Everybody lift your warms up. Come on. Long ad breaks. Oh, no worries. It's going to be finished by the time we get into the actual content. It's actually really good that I can priest that. Oh, don't you break here. Come on. Where did he break? I think he broke over there. Oh, I see it. I see it. Okay, let me switch to Polymorph. I'm curious to see, can he avoid my Polymorph? Oh, come on. See, against melee, I think this is going to be a whole different story. Just get out of it. Nah, I messed up over there. I messed up big time over there with my stuns and everything. 
I don't know how I'm feeling about this. I think soldier armor would be much better for this. I think soldier armor would be much, much better for this. You got 10 ads in 15 minutes. No, man. Um, I mean, if that happened, it's on the Twitch side of things. We have two minutes of ads every 20 minutes. Uh, that's why we, we have longer ad breaks because we have them more spread apart. 10 ads in 15 minutes. No, that, that wouldn't be possible. I mean, it depends how long they lasted. I, I it very much depends how long they lasted. If they lasted more than two minutes, impossible. I can show you my settings. But yeah. Yeah, like if it's more than uh, two minutes of ads every 20 minutes, it's Bezos being greedy. It's Bezos being greedy. We have two minutes of ads every 20 minutes. Like that's how we divided them. Because we want to have uh, as much as possible an ad break, uh, an ad free experience. Like allow people to watch the stream without seeing ads for the most part, but then have a small ad break at some point, which is where we take a breather, just stand up a little bit, relax. Sometimes I go to the toilet during ad breaks and stuff like that. Chat, here's what we need. We need to change the whole thing up. We need to change the whole thing up. So I'm thinking soldier armor. I'm thinking cultist robe. Uh, a cultist um, a cowl. Cultist cowl. Yeah, we need something like this. But yeah, still, uh, still sorry about that. Still, I'm actually sorry about that. It's a weird situation that you're getting so many ads. You absolutely shouldn't. Wolfstaff is still uh, very strong for DPSing. Oh yeah, I want to try that one as well. What, wifey? Sometimes it happens. Albin is great because right now they've added mists for solo players like me. Yeah, mists for solo players are a blessing in disguise, actually. By the way, Chad, I'm very curious about something. How's the stream quality right now? The stream quality should be a little bit better than yesterday. We've uh, upgraded the bitrate by a little bit. Shouldn't be the biggest difference, but it should make a difference. What, wifey? Chat, give me a second. Wifey is experiencing some problems with the laptop. I'll be right back.
Sorry about this chat. Um, let me get back to you. Sorry about this chat. So, um, my wife' laptop just got fried up. For some really weird reason, chat. Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I'm not sure if it's fried up, but it seems like it. It closed and it doesn't open anymore. Fried? I mean, it seems like it. I'm not sure. Maybe it got overheated or something? I have no idea. Basically, the laptop closed. We try to open it right now. It doesn't open. If you guys have any idea of what could cause that or stuff, I don't know. Let me know. I mean, to be honest, there's no reason for it to get, to go uh, overheated. There's no reason whatsoever for it to go overheated. But maybe it did. Maybe it did. Check the battery. Uh, did it happen while she was using it? Yeah. Yeah, like she was editing and stuff like that. Just editing, which doesn't heat up the laptop too much. It's probably at like 80 degrees or something, which for a laptop is not that much. Um, and then all of a sudden just stopped. Boom. Insta stop. We're going to try to leave it for a bit and then open it maybe later or something like that. Check the, ba the battery. Take it out and try powering it. And change. Let's use it for work. Only for work. Only for work. I couldn't convince her to play any games. But it's uh, it's kind of weird. It's a good laptop. Like it's an Asus Rogue Streak Scar G. And stuff like that. So it should be... Hope it's not a registry error. Uh, what does that mean? In charge, not change. What do you mean? Oh, powering it in charge. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, weird. We're gonna try to open it up later and stuff like that. There shouldn't be any problems. It doesn't smell fried. So... I don't know if that helps. Man, I'm so, I'm so not used to this build. I was expecting when I used my W to jump. And I was like, why am I not jumping? What happened? I'm used to the prowling staff, man. But I gotta showcase other builds as well. As much as I like the prowling staff, I cannot showcase that as the only build on the channel, you know? Why him? Did the laptop run out of battery? But are you sure it was charging? Did you check? Well, I, I know usually it's like that, but this time, did you check? Like, was it charging? Because maybe it's a battery problem. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you read the YouTube or the Twitch chat? I read both of them. Uh, let me see. So maybe the battery. I mean, I'm going to try to open it up a little bit later on. Maybe after the stream or uh, later on during the stream if it doesn't open. If it doesn't open until then. I hope it will start. I feel like it's just like a, a momentary thing, you know? It just happens like right now. Did it open, wifey? Did, did it open? Oh, I thought I thought you opened it. I thought I heard the, the noise. What game is this? This is Albion Offline. The best sandbox MMORPG. That uh, looks like this and plays like this. <laughs> the best of the best. We're gonna figure it out, chat. We're gonna figure it out and see see what's up with it. Let's try this out. 
Oh, please don't be FK. Okay, perfect. Kinda have the wrong setup over there, you know? as well actually I mean what's your plan you're just spinning in a circle right I don't think he notices the fact that he's losing big time right here I was hoping, I was hoping to polymorph him into a rat before. I still want to polymorph him into a rat. Nice. This might be, this might work. He has the wrong spells, yeah, he had the very wrong spells over there. He had the very wrong spells over there. Man, I hope everything's alright with the laptop. Let's try Stalker chat, let's try Stalker. I think I, I trust this build. Like this ver this variant of the build, I think will absolutely slap. Spoopy dungeon movie music, yeah, pretty much. I'm I'm really curious to see um, if the laptop situation solves itself. I hope it does. I hope it does. Wifey, by the way, if it doesn't get solved, don't worry. We have the old PC that you can use. But I just hope the laptop situation gets solved. Maybe I open it up. Why am I not gonna loot? Well, it's it's Hunter. It's not gonna be amazing loot here. All right, chat. So here's the drill. Let's go in Stalker. Give me a second. Let me journey back in the meantime. Okay, perfect. I like them glasses, hey, thank you. Cheers, man. Cheers, I appreciate that. It's not gonna get sad and happy one hour later. I don't know, man. Let me try to go open it up and stuff and see what's up inside. Chat, I will be right back. In the meantime, we're gonna be running a very short ad break. I, I, I gotta figure out what happened. We might have fried our laptop. I'll be right back in a second.
right chat we want to see if this uh, fixes itself basically i'm gonna try to fix it after today's stream which might be a little bit of a i don't know of a shorter stream this kind of a weird situation what did you say wifey wifey oh the voice oh sorry about that sorry about that i have the yeah chat i'm sorry that i'm somewhat distracted here uh, our laptop might be fried so yeah sorry about that hmm yeah we're gonna see we're gonna see what happened uh we're gonna take it to what Let me see chat. Let me see. Give me a second. Yeah, sorry, sorry that I'm messing up my uh, my stream commands and everything, but it's just a very weird situation that I've never had to deal with. Laptop frying up like this. It's kind of weird, chat. Kind of weird. But yeah. What would your best build be with Prolling Staff for Solo Mists? I would say Prolling Staff, Assassin Jacket, Fiend Cow for Runners, Cultist Cow for Fighters, any leather shoes. Any leather shoes. So yeah. That would be that would be my go-to right there. That would be my go-to right there. Yeah, chat, sorry that I'm somewhat distracted about this. Uh, I need to open up the panel of the laptop i guess i need to force it a little bit which i don't really want to do but i don't think it comes out otherwise i open up like every single screw and i have to to pro it open basically so yeah is the game dead i don't think it's dead but i think it's on a downward slope and it's been on a down low downward spiral uh, for a pretty long time right now What, wifey? Maybe, maybe. By the way, wifey, please say uh, say it through the chat because it's very hard for me to, to hear you right now with the music and everything. So let us communicate through the chat. Yeah, I'm going to watch a YouTube video on this assembly, but I couldn't do it right now. I want to get the stream... Um, um, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna stream right now, and after the stream is over, we're gonna fix this. Uh, wifey, you know what we can do? We can use the second PC, uh, for you to edit on. I'm gonna bring it here tomorrow. We have everything set up over there. Everything is placed in the right spot. So it's gonna work, it's gonna work. Man, this sucks. I can void warranty sometimes. Oh no, I don't have warranty anymore. Oh, I had I had this laptop for like four years now or something like that. Warranty time is over, chat. Nah, to be to be fair, chat, it's probably nothing. Like it's probably something that can be fixed very very fast. But unfortunately, it cannot be fixed today. So uh, it's gonna be pretty difficult for my chicken to edit videos today. She's gonna have to use my PC after I finish the stream. I usually finish the stream pretty late. So yeah, we're gonna see how that works. It's um, gonna be interesting to say the least. Come on, my dude. There's no way out for this guy. Bro! 
This is insane. No way out. No way out. Don't forget I can resurrect. Like if I die, I can come back to life as long as I die in this. It's not even fair. My Q was higher range than his E chat. Pure and sheer insanity, my friends. Oh man, this is something. <laughs> oh man. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, the only thing that can beat this is another shapeshifter. Yeah. Another shapeshifter could easily beat this. But any build that's not a shapeshifter. And I feel like we shapeshifters have like a, an unwritten agreement, you know? We we don't really attack each other. Bro, do I have the lighting off right now? Like is The lighting feels a little bit off. It is a little bit off. That's why. That's why. Now it's much better. Man, I cannot wait. Let me show you guys something. I'm really excited about this. Let me show you all something. You know what this is? This will be our new webcam. This will be our new webcam. But... I am missing one stupid adapter. I'm missing one stupid adapter, chat. So, um, we cannot do it right now. <laughs> I had everything ready. I had an adapter ready, but it's not the right one. Yeah, it's... It is what it is. It is what it is. Right, chat, right, chat, right, chat. Well, let's jump on some uh, Kukoro during maintenance while I look across the internet for some things. If you mess up your form, fire can mess me up. Oh, yeah, fire staff. Fire staff is a tough, tough fight. Fire staff is a real tough fight. I mean, fire in general is tough to fight. All right, chat, let's go for some Kokoro. Let's play some Werewolf. Uh, let me open it up so that you guys can see it as well. Game capture right here. All right, chat, this, let's go. If you want to join this up, you guys watching this on YouTube, unfortunately, you're going to have to join us on Twitch. Uh, you guys on Twitch, you're good. Uh, this only works with the Twitch chat. It's a game that we can play basically just in the chat. You don't need to download anything. You don't need to do anything. You just jump on in and, uh, well, you're in the game. You're in the game. This is kind of like Among Us played through the chat. It's a very, very easy game to understand. Yeah. I will let you guys, uh, jump in the game. In the meantime, I'm gonna go to see what's up with the laptop. If you guys don't know why I'm leaving and stuff like that, I'm sorry that I'm doing this. Uh, but our laptop apparently just got fried up and I want to try to open it up to see what happened. I'll be right back in less than one minute. Uh, you guys join Kukoro in the meantime, I'm gonna drop like a short ad break, might as well, while I'm gone. So we get rid of the nasty ads afterwards and I'll be right back in a second.
we managed to open it up finally managed to open it up i'm really happy about this all right let's get it let me join as well i want to join the the game as well but i think i need to type this in uh, twitch chat actually nice let's go space uh, i'm going in the forest perfection 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 let me see if i'm the wearable for not okay i can check for myself and if you have kukoro plus you are also going to be able to check for yourself so i went in the forest with some people i kind of lost track of this hmm Okay, so four people, oh no, three people remained in the middle. Let's keep an eye on those guys. Okay, nobody remained in the middle except one person. <laughs> Imagine that one person dies. It's gonna be rough, rough, rough. <laughs> okay, I kind of sounded like a werewolf over there, but I'm not. I, I promise. I promise that I am not. Or maybe I am. Maybe I'm lying. What if I'm lying? Wait, am I in this game? Yes! If you type exclamation mark Kokoro, you are in the game. Okay, who died? With me in the forest, there were four people as far as I know. I don't think there was any other person. I think somebody in the crypt died. I kind of lost track, I'm gonna be honest. I kind of lost track. Who died? Who died and where? I have no idea who the werewolf could be. Did I die? Well, if you don't see your name on the screen right now, you died. So check everybody's name and you're going to be able to see if you died or not. Uh, also, if you type a message in the chat, your character tweaks a little bit. So if I, if I do like one of those, my character will tweak a little bit. See that? So that's how you can kind of check to see if you're still alive or not. You died. Where were you? Can you change the name colors? Unfortunately, I cannot. They're pretty hard to see for me right now as well. But nah, there's no there's no changing that. I don't know why. It would be a good change. Vote Mogden. Chat, you're voting innocence. Let's not kill innocent people because that's gonna allow the werewolf to escape. That's gonna allow the werewolf to escape. Like, if we kill each other, the werewolf wins, chat. If we kill each other, the werewolf wins. It's not a good idea. Not a good idea. Because we, we didn't, don't even know who died where. We don't even know who died where. We gotta pay attention to this. Chat, keep in mind. If you kill me right now, you're making a big mistake. Because I'm not the werewolf. Somebody just died. Like, we don't know where the person died. Chat, we're gonna lose this. Like, if we throw, we're gonna lose this. 100%. 100% we're losing this. We gotta play against the werewolf. It's kind of suspicious that some people are insisting so much to kill me. Chad, don't do this mistake. You got me. How on earth did you... You guys vote me as a meme and you got me, man. You guys vote me as a meme and you got me. Come on. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> you knew nothing, gamer cat. You knew nothing. You just voted Mogden because... Ah, oh, come on. Oh, come on. I was right. Nobody was right. You just voted me randomly. Come on. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, let's see this. Let's see this. Wifey, let me know when you're finished with the laptop cleaning. And then I'll come and try to power it on. I need a better poker face. You guys had no idea that I'm the werewolf. You guys voted me as a meme. You, you had no idea who to vote, so you're like, oh, Mogden. Come on. Can I respond now? Once you die, you're out. Maybe I know who the other werewolves are. I'm not going to tell you. You guys have to figure it out. 
Strange glasses for a werewolf, right? They still thought that I'm the werewolf. And they were right. That's that's the part that sucks the most. The fact that they were right. Let me check out some uh, things that are going on in the Albion community right now. Check something. All right. I'm going for the kill, Pisco son. I'm not letting you live. I'm not letting you live. The werewolves shall still win. Yes! Yes! Kill all the innocents! Yes! Murder! By the way, let me see if the... Okay, now the chat works. See, chat, exactly what I told you. At some point, it's just gonna fix itself. That's exactly what happened. I don't know why, but that's exactly what happened over there. Look at it. I didn't do anything. I just closed it and opened it. <laughs> and now the on-screen chat works. Done. You clean the laptop? Right. Why, uh, chat, I'll be right back. I gotta go help my wife. Because apparently the laptop that she's using is not starting anymore. So I have to test some things. In the meantime, you guys have fun with the I'll be right back.
I'm back, chat. I think the battery's fried. I think the battery's fried. I hate to say that, but I think the battery is fried. How do you say that? I don't get it, buddy. Well, uh, usually when we plugged the laptop in, like in the power outlet and stuff like that. Okay, yeah, it doesn't matter if it's on or off. There's a little LED that powers up. That LED is off right now. Oh, you were talking about the game. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah. Oh, empty ran. Yeah, 100% of Werewolf. No, 100%. Yes! Yes! So it's not the battery. No, I think it's the battery because it doesn't power on anymore. Like it just, it, it gives no sign that it's receiving electricity. The charger or the power socket. Oh, I guess that's also an option. Yeah, no, what I meant is like something related to the battery. Something related to the battery. Either um, the power socket works, that's for sure. I'm not sure about the socket inside the... Um, and the adapter works. I'm not sure about the socket inside the laptop. Maybe there's a problem. Um, or yeah. But something is preventing electricity from going in the laptop. I, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that something is. I'm not a tech-savvy guy. But something is preventing electricity from going in the laptop itself. Chat, I'm sorry that I'm somewhat distracted by this. No, uh, this was the laptop on which my Jigan did the editing, so that's why I'm kind of kind of ticked off about the whole situation. We have a backup. We have a backup PC, uh, my old PC, which is nice. Look at how many people went in the crypt. It could also be the adapter. No, it's not. It's not because the laptop was receiving power, as far as I understood, until a moment in which boom, everything closed. I'm gonna see how I can troubleshoot a little bit later on, like after the stream is over and stuff. Probably we're gonna take it to a place. I don't think it's gonna be, um... Could it be the quad? Mm, no, because the laptop was receiving electricity. We're probably gonna take it to like a repair place or something. I don't think it's gonna be an expensive repair. And if it is, we can just not do it because again, we have a backup. Uh, how expensive could it be? Like, come on, let's be, let's be real. Yeah, exactly. I'm just gonna take it to a tech savvy guy because right now, I'm not, I'm not ready to fix this, man. I'm, I'm not ready to fix this. New Albion hotfix. What? Tell me more, tell me more. Where, 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 where? Let me open the game. I want to talk about that. I need to record some videos today that my chicken would be able to edit fast. Because she's going to have to edit on my PC. Which is going to be a pretty big hustle. Why, if you don't be sad about this. Thank God that we have backups, honestly. We have backups for our backups, which is uh, great, which is great. By the way, how's the, how's the stream quality? fixes oh come on where can i find the hot fixes man i never know how, how to find those oh thank you for the for the post thank you thank you thank you i never know how to find those man 24 minutes ago this is really interesting 
They reduce the range. That's actually really good. Oh man, that's actually really good. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, this is nice, this is nice, this is nice. By the way, chat, we have an ad break starting in uh, one minute. Uh, you know what? I'll delay it, actually. I'll delay I'll snooze it. Yeah, I'll snooze it for five minutes. Because I want to see who the werewolf ends up being. Who the other werewolf ends up being. Did you guys find uh, found any other werewolves? I I'm sorry that I'm distracted again, chat. We have this issue with the laptop that's kind of eroding my mind right now. Yo, can someone explain me? Uh, explain what? Yeah, the group fights will always drop artifacts. That is actually really good. I don't know how to play. My defense and mayo. Oh no. From the start of the stream. Uh, like one hour after we started the stream. We had uh, this those technical difficulties with the laptop. Kind of sucks. It's good that we have a backup though. Our uh, wifey. There is something that we can do. If you're up for it. Mm, let me think it through. So hear me out. Uh, you could go to my mother's house. Get the old PC. What? I don't we don't have the car here yet. that's right oh that's right well then GG <laughs> straight up GG there's nothing else we could do mm, we're gonna get it tomorrow we're gonna get it tomorrow don't worry I will record some easy to edit stuff so absolutely don't worry wifey if you guys don't know what we're talking about our laptop broke I don't know why it just boop went out of power all of a sudden randomly totally randomly it kind of sucks it's good that we have backups uh but we don't have them here because if we can get that pc when are they returning wifey though chat give me a second give me a second i need to fix something uh, i need to try one more thing i need to try one more thing and we're gonna see if it
chat, I'm back. So who's the werewolf? <laughs> For real, who's the werewolf? Yeah, you can vote even if you're not in the game. Sorry about this chat. Oh, what? They won. They won, man. They... Oh, come on. Pesky mortals. All right, chat. I think the game is live, right? Right now. Oh, both servers are offline. This is interesting, interesting, interesting. Chat, I want to discuss with you about some uh, hot fixes. I want to discuss with you about some hot fixes. Just give me a second. Let's go to the... Let me fix my hat first. And then let's go to the Milking Inn chat. Let's go to the Milking Inn. When the Wild Blood update came on the live server, alongside of it came a lot of different bugs. And if they were not bugs, they were just crazy features that the devs just thought that it would be a great idea to implement into the game, such as a Q on the new shape-shifting weapons that has an insane range with an insane damage or, or different things like that well you know this is something that usually happens whenever albion drops an update there's usually a big amount of bugs a big amount of weird features a big amount of questionable decisions but here's where the good things start you see the devs are not leaving those weird features to just stay live on the normal server and ruin the game they're dropping multiple different hotfixes and i wanted to wait a little bit until they drop a big enough amount of hotfixes so that i can actually make a video about this to tell you guys what the devs have fixed from the launch day of albion online wild blood up until today about one week and a half later something like that Actually, less, less than that, less than that. But yeah, still, let's just see what actually changed in the newest update in Albion Online. Let's just see what changed in... Sorry. Let's just see what changed in the newest update in Albion Online. Uh, oh, no. I have the wrong, uh, wrong screen right here. Th this is how my screen looks like, chat. This is how my screen looks like. It's wild, man. It's wild. So, chat, as I was saying, let's check this out together and let's see what exactly changed uh, right here. This is the first hotfix that they've ever dropped. Oh, no, wait, it's the... this, this is... Okay, this is the first hotfix that they've ever dropped. There's nothing crazy going on over here. Uh, basically, because of the fact that uh, a lot of people complained about the idea that uh, the lunch setup that they had was basically ruining the people's experience when it came to tracking i don't know if you guys remember about this but basically the way it works there's one creature that spawns by the ah, let me let me say this again chat i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm very much distracted right now our laptop just got fried and stuff like that so i'm having a hard time focusing right now you know but uh we have to pull through chat screenception oh yeah oh yeah we have a lot of screens right there oh and my camera disappeared oh no it didn't it didn't sorry about that sorry about that Let me move those things around so I can finally see and things. Okay, I'm broken. I don't know how. You've been hacked. You've been hacked by the mighty wizard. All right, chat. So, as I was saying, uh, there's a lot of different hotfixes right now. There's many... I mean, there's many... Three, man, I'm, I cannot focus. I cannot focus, chat. I cannot focus. It's so hard for me to focus. I'm just thinking, bro, how on earth do we fix this? It's a tough thing to fix. Hmm. Give me a second, chat. Give me a second. I need to. I need to try one more thing, and I'll be right back. And then we're gonna get into this video. I promise we're gonna get into this video. But I just. I just wanna try to make, make sure that.
we're gonna go um we're basically gonna go and um drop this off at like a repair shop or something there's nothing we can do like i've tried every single thing that i had in mind it's beyond me chat it's beyond me i have no idea how to fix this so chat allow me to redo the intro and uh, let's try this thing one more time let's try this thing one more time Albion Online Wild Blood update was a massive success hit. Uh, it was kind of a fail. I don't know what was it, but one thing is certain. Alongside of the update came a lot of different bugs. But here's where SBI deserves a little bit of praise because this is usually what they're doing every single time they drop an update and it's filled with bugs. Unfortunately, almost every update is filled with bugs, but SBI is very quick at actually dropping hotfixes to try to fix some of those bugs. So far, we have three hotfixes in total. I wanted to wait until we have a bigger number of them so I can actually show you a little bit more of some meaningful changes. Because you're going to see each of those hotfixes do not actually solve a lot. But when it comes to combining all three together, man, they're amounting to some quite significant changes. So today, chat, sit back, relax. I'm going to show you all of the three hotfixes in which SBI is desperately trying to fix their own mess. Like a toddler who just knocked over a can of, I don't know, something, uh, paint. And right now he's swimming in it and then it realizes, oh no, my mom's about to come. No! And starts cleaning as much as they can to try to fix everything. But it's too late, my friend. It's too late. However... It might actually not be too late for Albion. It might actually not be too late for Albion. There's some really exciting changes, starting with this right here. Tracking changes. For additional trackable creatures added with a launch that we did not drop artifacts or rare ingredients for, silver drop rate has been increased by 300%. I guess I need you... I need to explain this to you, chat. So, uh, they, had some, they had something called special launch features. Uh, one of the special launch features was the fact that instead of having the normal amount of tracks, which is, let's say, X, like, I don't know how, how much X is, but X, that's the normal amount of tracks, they've tripled those tracks. So right now, instead of having X, we have X times 3. But there's a catch. Only the track that would naturally spawn, so none of the tracks that were added on top of that track, would actually drop the rare animal remains. Or not, not the animal remains, the... Anim the um, the rare creature hot... Uh, not hotspot, man. Uh, only those tracks would drop the rare creature uh, ingredients. So if you want to have, let's say, a panther claw, okay, you wouldn't drop that panther claw for a from every single panther. You would only get it from the creatures that were present there from the start, not from the two creatures added on top. I guess just to explain it a little bit easier, let me say it like this. This is the creature that would naturally spawn. Those are the two other creatures that were added on top. None of those would have a single percent of a chance to actually drop the actual uh, crafting reagents that you need to craft the staff. Only this one had, which as you can expect, uh, it's not the best of ideas. I'm still very critical about this idea, even though they changed it a little bit for the group creatures, as we will see in the last hotfix, but we'll get there. However, just to have something instead... Um, just to have something if you are the player basically tracking and you have the misfortune of running into one of those creatures that have 0% chance to drop the rare crafting reagents, well, they boosted the silver that you might get from this by 300%. It's not too much, it's not too little, it's just a good decision, why not? Yeah, at least you're getting something out of it. They've also adjusted the amount of members that would take to actually uh, make the mob flee away. So basically right now, if you are, let's say, fighting with a group of three players and you're doing the solo targets, basically, that are made for one to three people, if a fourth person shows up, uh, it's the target is not going to fly away anymore. Only if a fifth person shows up. So right now, around the three-person mob, you are actually going to be able to have four people around. Now, you're not going to be able to have them in your team because that's not going to allow you to, to start the tracking. But let's say if a ganker shows up, the ganker can kill you as a group and can also steal your target because the tracking target will no longer run away. Same thing is applied for group tracks. So as you can see, nothing incredibly significant in the first hotfix. The second hotfix came right after this. Uh, that basically made some hotfixes. I mean, that's basically the name of it as well. They changed some things about the city huts. Apparently there was a bug. 
that didn't allow people to uh, go in the correct zone and stuff like that and deliver the city huts and stuff like that for people that are actually into faction transport and you know things along the lines of this uh, there was some bugs regarding the marketplace quick sell feature and they fixed it uh, yeah apparently initially it showed the very wrong prices like it didn't show the the highest bid it showed like a bid in the middle so if you if you quick sold not only that you're losing money simply because of the fact that you're quick selling but you are also losing money because of the fact that the game itself did not track the highest price it would just track a price which is pretty problematic as you can expect and they also fixed some really really bad bugs about tier 4 poison potion which was able to do about 4k damage in one potion 4k damage tier 4 like that was insane you could melt down people just with this i'm not sure if it worked on people or only on mobs uh, I think I've seen it only on mobs, but I didn't test it on people, so I'm not entirely sure. Maybe you guys can let me know about that in the comment section or in the chat if you've tried this. And there was also a bug uh, in terms of the fact that the tracking toolkits that are supposed to be part of the Tinker journals, the Tinkers are those guys that basically craft tools and stuff like that, did not actually feel those Tinkers journals. And they fixed that uh, right now, that works. And uh, it worked for the past few days, because this is not the hotfix that they dropped today. Uh, and yeah, not a lot of important things over here. There was a, a visual change coming to... I mean, no, there was a visual fix when it comes to the roots displayed by the um, Nature Staff queue. Uh, if you guys remember, we played in the first day and we saw that the roots from the queue looked very much different from what we were used to. I know that the roots were much clearer. I'm actually curious to use a, a nature staff right now to see how it looks after those changes because I honestly did not try. But chat, now we get to the interesting things. The last hotfix dropped 44 minutes ago. Check this out. Balancing adjustments to tracking. We have been following your progress and activity around the tracking closely and have decided to remove all large group hunts for targets that would have dropped silver. So what is this referring to? This is referring to those targets right here uh, the two extra mobs that have 0% chance to drop the rare animal um, uh, reagents, the, the, the two extra creatures basically that were added on top of the naturally spawning one that had 0% chance to drop the actual artifact or the actual crafting reagents for the weapon itself and that only dropped silver, that is what this is referring to. They removed those two things. So right now there's only the natural spawning ones. That means every large group tracking target will now drop ingredients and has a chance to drop an artifact this is very interesting because as far as i knew the ingredients were not a 100 drop rate i think right now they're not referring to the animal remains because the animal remains are dropped by every single creature i think they're referring to the actual little crafting piece that you actually needed for the non-artifact weapons so let's say the um, a panther form requires you to grab some shadow claws and those shadow claws i don't remember them being 100 drop rate not even on the test server uh but apparently right now uh, again i mean again based on their own wording this seems to be the case like right now we are having a 100 chance to actually get those um artifacts uh, if you're doing group hunts so yeah, that's very interesting. And there, there's also a chance to actually get the actual artifact that is required to craft the werewolf, the imp, stuff like that. And check this out, there are no changes to small group hunts yet, as we want to analyze the impact of this change without uh, muddying the results with additional changes. I feel like this is a mistake. I feel like this is a mistake. I really feel like this is a mistake. And here's why. Those weapons are cool. Those weapons are really strong. Those weapons have a really unique way of actually acquiring them. But they're not special. They're not... Like, it's not like we have all weapons over there. And then this weapon that's a special kind right over there. It's not as special as Awakened items. It's not going to be as special as Legendary items. It's just another item. Yes, I like the fact that it's harder to acquire. But man, it shouldn't be impossible. Like if you go and hunt a creature, you've already done more than what a fire staff is doing. So give me the artifact. You know what I mean? Again, I understand. If everybody would have such an easy time getting those weapons, well then they would need to be nerfed because right now they're very strong. All of them are incredibly strong. Yes, I understand that. And as much as I don't like that, yeah, they will probably need to get a little bit nerfed, at least in terms of different things, because right now everything is insane. And by the way, there is a little bit of a nerf coming to this. 
uh, but I don't think it's enough. I don't think it's enough of a nerf. Again, you guys know me. I'm more of a proponent of actually buffing things rather than nerfing things. But I feel like sometimes, you know, there's a time and a space to actually do stuff like this as well. So, yeah. Um, the other thing that's coming is, as I've said, a combat balance change. It's Reality Fisher um, or Fissure or whatever you call it in English from all shapeshifter staffs. This is the Q, the insane range Q, the second one. Uh, that is getting a little bit of a reduction in range from 18 meters to 16 meters. Hey, good change. Yeah, it was kind of insane in terms of the range. So I really don't mind that. I really, really don't mind that. Uh, so yeah, this is basically this is basically everything that's coming right now. I'm gonna make a very quick video after the stream is over about the whole whole thing. Yo, thank you so much for the for the sub, Lip. Thank you so much for the sub, man. Lip, you're helping me out a lot with that. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I really, really appreciate that. Uh, let me open up uh, this right here. All right, chat. That being said, let's jump back on the server if it's live. Okay, the servers are starting. Let's jump on it. Let's jump on it. I don't think this is going to require an update, so I think we can just straight up jump on it. Let's go. All right, chat. All right, all right, all right. We're back here. We're back here. Uh, let's uh, make it so that you guys can actually see Albion. Oh, the server's online. Right now it came online. That's perfect. West is up too. That's amazing. All right, so here's the plan. Right now I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you guys, showing you what you need to know before you get into tracking and how to level up tracking. It's pretty straightforward. I'm going to give you multiple pathways for this. I'm going to tell you the pathway that I prefer to go. And um, yeah multiple different options for um you know different strokes for different folks that's basically the idea behind this that being said let's open up the game here as well so you guys can see it hey what's up ah welcome welcome by the way chat if you guys on twitch are wondering who on earth am i talking with you guys need to know that i'm also streaming on youtube right now i'm live both on twitch and on youtube so if you want to check us out uh, anywhere, uh, Twitch is still our main platform, so we're going to pay a lot of attention to Twitch itself. But yeah, we are live. Uh, we are live everywhere. Give me a second chat. I don't know why my chat closed randomly. You look like a mosquito. Maybe because I am. Have you thought about that? Have you thought about that, mortal? <laughs> to be honest, right now, I feel like I look kind of weird. Because I'm also sad because of my laptop, man. So, so not, not really in the mood to cosplay, you know? But hey, we gotta pull through, chat. We gotta pull through. You know what's gonna make me feel better? Some high-quality kills. Why did I disable backstab? I mean, the hat enjoyed it. I feel like you guys enjoyed it more than the hat. <laughs> so, so, yeah. I don't know if it was the hat enjoying it or you guys enjoying it more. People were clearly enjoying it, yeah. Well, uh, technical issues. We're going to be adding blurps later on today. Because I know you guys love the blurp system and stuff. So, uh, that's coming back. Alright, well... Let's do this. Hmm, I don't want to use this one. Oh, wait, I was doing a showcase for this in Corrupted. Yeah, I forgot about that. Let's finish the showcase and then I'll move uh, and do another thing. Yeah, 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 I need to be organized. So let's finish the showcase and then I will move forward and do different things. But first, it's very important that we finish what we started. Then I will do the tutorial that I promised, chat. So don't worry. Tutorial is still coming. Just on a little bit of a delay. 
Tracker's outfit is awesome. I wish I could have it. Oh, man. Yeah, it's a cool outfit. Yeah, they're going to probably make it um, like a bundle very soon. I'm expecting them to make this a bundle pretty, pretty soon. But yeah. It's one of the best skins that they've made. It's one of the best skins that they've made. Like the, the art department of Albion, bro, they're doing an amazing job. Money issue. Well, to be honest, I wouldn't pay $30 for this either. Like, again, for, for all the people that think I'm, an, I'm a paid SBI employee, no, I'm not. If I wouldn't receive this as a gift, I wouldn't buy it. Like, if this wasn't a gift from SBI, I would never have bought it. Not because it's not cool, it's really cool, but man, it's $30! Ain't no way I'm paying $30 for a skin! There's no way! It can be the coolest skin ever! It's not even about how cool it is, chat, at that point. If you keep showcasing the staff, the devs will still nerf it. Well, that's true, that's true. But if I don't showcase it, other people will showcase it and the devs will still nerf it while Mogden wins nothing out of it. So no. I'm the main guide maker of Albion, chat. We gotta make this work. You know, now that you think about it, that's kind of true, actually. Oh, no, not really. Not really. I need to work on being the main guide maker. <laughs> or am I? I I'm not sure, actually. There were a lot of great guide makers in the past. And I, I guess there, there's more guide makers right now. But I think I'm, I'm among the most popular in terms of guide making. I just realized that. Feels good. Feels good. How do I start the tracking? Well, yeah. We're going to be answering that very, very, very fast. It's a very straightforward um, uh, approach. You basically just need, and this is the most important part, you just need to have a tier 3 tracking toolkit. And what most people are missing is the fact that basically what you do with that, you just go and kill one mob. Any mob. That's how you start it. And after you've started it, you can just go with the tier 3 tracking toolkit and track tier 5 mobs. No problem. You can track tier 5. You can hunt werewolves. You can hunt anything. There's no, there's no limit in terms of that. Which is kind of weird if you think about it, actually. Let me close the door for a second, chat. My wife is on the phone. As wives are sometimes, you know. <laughs> Alright, chat. That's the real question going on right now. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people asking about that. And um, it's kind of kind of weird because it's a pretty self-explanatory system. But I guess I kind of understand. Because again, it's... Yeah, like if you're new to this game, the game does a very, very poor job at actually explaining the features. Thanks, because I didn't know how to start. Oh, for real? You didn't know? But it says it right there. Kill creatures. Well, I guess that's why guide making works, chat. Because people don't read those things. That's a lesson to SBI. <laughs> that's a lesson to SBI. They should make this way more obvious. Because that's the weird part. Like, they've put in the effort to make it, in their minds, obvious. But apparently it's not obvious enough. I mean, yeah, I didn't see kill creatures. Yeah, that's actually, like, normally, I would say, oh, you had to pay attention. But no, that's actually the game's fault. Like, if you've been looking to try to get into this and you just don't see it, it's not obvious enough. Because, let's be real, the games are not made for devs. The games are made for players. So if the players don't see it, well, who then is going to see it? You know what I mean? Like, players need to see this because you're right when you're saying that this is the, the question that circulates around the most. Most people have no idea how to get into tracking. And it's understandable. Like, yeah, the game really doesn't do a good job at explaining this. Bro, am I in Hunter? What is this? What is this loot?
obvious enough. Just check the tree. Well, I agree with you. Like, it is obvious. But I feel like the players decide if it's obvious or not. Like, obvious enough or not, I should say. Because, like, for example, if nobody sees... I've seen so many Reddit posts about this question. That's why I want to make a video about it. So many Reddit posts asking this question. Like, it's clear that there's an issue going on. Either players are really not paying attention to this, which is entirely possible. that staff chat I really want that staff I really want that staff my dude no shot bro this is insane keep in mind i would have resurrected like if i die i come back to life this is amazing 900k in the bag baby let's get it Woo! <laughs> oh let's go i love this i love this this is a great build I'm not chaining this because I want to... Oh, it's a 4.1. Oh, come on. Why are you a pleb? Why did he go with 4.1? I thought it was 4.3, man. 4.3 is a little bit more expensive. Just give me a good stuff if you're going to give me a stuff, man. Shame on you. <laughs> That's why it's my favorite staff. It's a great staff, though. Let me... Let me fix that thing. Let me fix a thing or two, chat. Alright, that's good. It's a great staff, though. It's a great staff. How do you all feel about uh, me multi-streaming and stuff? Thing is, it's not crazy. And by the way, you two people, do not think that I'm neglecting you. I, I see everything that you're, uh, that you're writing. So if you want to tell me anything, feel free to do so. I'm on both platforms. YouTube and Twitch. It's the same exact experience on both platforms. Uh, Twitch has some mini games, so it's cooler to be on Twitch. It's much cooler to be on Twitch because you're gonna be able to be involved with the chat and everything, and it's also like a little bit more of um, an already established community. I feel like most people are seeing us live on YouTube, then they jump on Twitch to watch us. I feel like that's how the progression kind of goes. So Iqua told me that in the first day, and he was right. I think that's what happens. The imp is supposed to be the highest DPS. Yeah, it is. It seems to be the highest DPS by far. And it feels like the highest DPS. It feels like the highest DPS. Honestly, I'm watching on YouTube because it's way less ads. I hate Twitch uh, with that stuff. Feels like I either need to have t Twitch Turbo or not watch it. Well, yeah, we, we try to have... Um, I, I think right now, among all Albion streamers or almost all Albion streamers, I think we have the best ad experience. Because the way we do this, we don't have a single ad for 20 minutes. Then after 20 minutes, we have a small ad break. During that ad break, it's basically like a little bit of a pause. I stand up, I stretch. If I have something to do, like, I don't know, go to the toilet or something, I do it right there, and uh, so on and so forth. Bro, something feels off about the lighting. 
something felt off about the, the lighting yesterday as well you know what i need to do chat at some point i need to redo my whole setup i have a pretty pretty weird setup right now i mean the setup works but it's like heavily improvised for example, that light right there, it's sitting on a book. Yeah, we, we need to replace that book. So Spear will be the biggest counter to Imp if I see uh, if I see good. Well, you know why it wouldn't be? If you are a Spear player and you're using Deflecting Spin, boom, I Polymorph, Shape Shift, W on you. You won't be able to do much. And by the time you're able to do something, I've already done a lot of damage to Let's say you are reflecting and you manage to kill me with reflects. If I'm in the inform, I get back alive. Which horse is that? It's a tier 3 horse, but it's the tracker's uh, the tracker skin. It's a pretty cool skin. Jellyfish, I know you're playing this. What was the biggest thing that you struggled against with this build? Oh, by the way, Mogden, are you streaming from home now and not using GeForce now? Yes, I'm not using GeForce now, using the monster computer. Oh, wait, I don't have music on. I just realized that. Sorry about that, chat. So, yeah, it's, it's great. How is the range after the nerf? It doesn't feel different. It's just as overpowered. I really don't feel a difference here. I know there is, like, two meters and stuff, but I really don't feel it. I really don't feel it. Maybe I'm just wrong, but feels like no difference. Feels like no difference. It was a pretty pretty substantial nerf. But it does it's not that bad. I mean, right now you're gonna have to be somewhat closer to the enemy. You won't be able to hit them from across the screen, which is always a good idea in my opinion. So much damage, man. So much damage. And I caught something in my in my glasses. I'm sorry about that, chat. Ah, let's get it. So yeah, I tried with cleric robe, uh, and it doesn't work. It doesn't work as well. Soldier armor, I feel like, is the sweet spot for this. clearing speeds man the panther is the same like you just speed through everything demon boots could pump that damage up to i can imagine that to be honest yeah you let yourself die and then with demon boots and everything, you just go on the enemy. Oh, this might be rough. Let's see what we can do. Oh, that's a big miss. Oh, what is that hitbox SBI? Okay. 
Okay, that kind of sucks. Yeah, I'm dead. Fire staffs are rough. Yeah, fire staffs are rough with this. If I don't have hunt hood against the fire staff, it's not gonna work. Yeah, if I don't have um, hunt hood against the fire staff, it's not gonna work. I think I should just break against them, cause I'm uber squishy and the dot is just chipping at my HP constantly, constantly chipping at my HP, slowly but surely eroding me from inside out. You know, I don't think it's gonna work. Um. Oh, that's how expensive it is. All right, let's go. Let's go with this. Yeah, fire staff doesn't work with this. You should try mercenary jacket. Mm, no, I, I think soldier armor is better for this. Can Panther jump uh, go through firewall? I don't think it can. I don't think it can. As far as I know, it's just uh, damage. There's no immunity to crowd control or anything. And the music is working, wifey. Thank you for letting me know, though. Maybe, maybe it didn't work. I don't know. <laughs> but, but now it's working. Oh, and wifey, wifey, wifey. We gotta see what we do with the laptop. Mm -mm -mm. If it's in... Um, if it's if the laptop repair shop is in Sinaya, maybe you could go. Not today. The bear dash can go to firewall. Oh yeah, if it gives you immunity to crowd control, it can or force movement effects, it can go through stuff like that. Wifey, by the way, uh, can you can you still monitor the chat? Wifey, wifey. You can. All right. Well. Please do. Only on Twitch, yes. Please scroll up a little bit. Wifey? Okay, let me see how I can do it then. Perfect. Oh, you can, you guys can see the glasses underneath. Oh no, no! I tried to hide them. They're really uncomfortable without those. How how else can you see them? They're so well hidden. You guys can see them. I mean, you saw them, so... Oh, come on! There's no way I go without them. I might have to take them off today, man. Because they're very uncomfortable without. I've stayed them for like... Uh... You had glances? <laughs> yeah, well, basically... Let me let me show you all this. So basically, chat... Oh, it's so much better without. Oh, it's so good. Because those absolute trash glasses that's how they used to make them so it is what it is they're really uncomfortable on this side so i just i basically yesterday the whole day i had marks on my eyes because of how uncomfortable those things are so to fix that we placed some glasses under those glasses it was the only way how long did you spot it though i think you're the only one seeing it Oh no, right now they're comfortable. Right now they're comfortable. But yesterday, bro. Absolute horrible. 
like yesterday the whole day i was like oh man i cannot wait to end the stream oh man i need to end the stream fast oh man no this hurts oh no no it's not good oh no why are you wearing those glasses uh, they give me superpowers they give me superpowers so it's something that must be done I didn't even notice. Yeah, I have no idea how that guy noticed. I have no idea how he... Maybe he just said... Maybe he just randomly said that. And didn't actually notice the glasses to mess around. That's, that's entirely possible. Exactly, it's uh, harmful ray detection. I, I basically have a radar in installed on those glasses. I have radar hacks on them. So, uh, they're very helpful. They're very helpful. I didn't want to install my radar hacks on PC so I don't get caught. But with the glasses, no way, man. I'm playing... A, I have like a little screen over here to which I see Albion. Look, I know there's a gathering node to my left right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's great. Yeah, the fogging up is also fixed. Yeah, the fogging up was not the biggest problem necessarily. But, um... They're much more comfortable to wear because, man, old school glasses... I don't know how people did that. I have no idea how they do that. kind of want to die. I want to see what happens. 30% HP, that's huge. That is huge. You get everything back, look at this. But then you don't have the form, yeah, I can kind of see why this would be a problem. They reflect light close to my face oh like you see the the shadow basically yeah you see the shadow because of the i mean not really the shadow but i i see what you mean i see what you mean well it's not that noticeable it's fine when you look to the side you can see them as well wifey how noticeable is this do i take the glasses off until we fix this it's not noticeable, I think. Is it? <laughs> Is it too noticeable? It shouldn't be. It really shouldn't be. Hey, I, I had to make them comfortable. I, there's no way I wear them for eight hours if they're so uncomfortable as they were yesterday. Yesterday, it was a nightmare, chat. Hey, Mog, what are we doing? Hey, what's up, man? We're doing some crop dungeons. I'm trying to showcase a new, a new set. This right here. It's fine. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Another fire staff. Do we even fight this chat? It's another fire staff. I don't think I want to fight fire staffs. No, I genuinely don't think I want to fight fire staffs. At the same time, I do want to make him chase. I'm gonna go in a weird path. He's not chasing. If he's not chasing, I'm not fighting fire. Fire staff is incredibly hard for me to fight with this. 
incredibly fun, incredibly hard. Just break, yeah, I'm gonna break. Against Fire Staff, I just break. I think Curse Staffs will also be a problem because here's the thing. I don't take damage, a lot of damage while I'm in human form. But when I go in this, bro, it burns so much. It burns so much. There's no way I survive. No, fire, I'm not fighting with this. If I was a brawling staff user or something like that, yeah. But with this, you do not. You really do not want to fight fire. This game needs more content. I feel like this game, like, I would add a caveat. It's not just more content, it's more PvE content. That's what the game needs, in my opinion. More PvE-only content. Or, not maybe not PvE-only, but PvE-centered content. So much damage, man. Let's see how fast this can kill the final boss. Solo fair PvE VP content. Yeah, see, adding the fairness in there. I very much agree with you. Like, the game could really use some fair content, but that's already asking too much from SBI. They're very much against fair content for some weird reason. Nice. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's chain. What did I miss? We broke against the fire staff user because, man, I've learned fire staff kills this almost 100% of the time. Fire staff is rough because if I miss time any of my spells, I just melt. Uh, the Brazilian cape st stays on you after you uh, shapeshift. Yes, any buff that you have before you shapeshift remains on you. The only exception are toggleables. So, for example, if I toggle on um, Guardian Armor, I'm not going to have that on whenever I shapeshift. If I toggle on Royal Sandals, I'm not going to have those on whenever I shapeshift. So, toggles do not stay with you, but buffs do, including cape buffs and stuff like that. Uh, the only caveat is that the cape cannot be activated whenever you are um, uh, in the form. So if I have Tedford Cape and I auto attack while I'm in the form, the Tedford Cape will not work. They only work outside of the form. Every fire staff is putting up 8k in, in arena. Oh, what do you mean? Can I get your background music playlist? Of course! Uh, do exclamation mark playlist and uh, there's three different playlists. Because we change the playlist depending on the situation. That's how cool we are, chat. That's how cool we are. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. I mean, we're pretty cool. But <laughs> very much joking. So do exclamation mark playlist right now. We have the um, mysterious one, I think. Yeah, it's a mystery playlist. Whenever we get into the combat, we get into the combat playlist, and then when we get into a safe spot, like a city or whatever, the bot playlist starts. It's a great time, it's a great time. Chat, by the way, I did not receive an ad break notification in a while. Um, 
we might get a random ad don't worry if you get a random ad i'm gonna you know what i might just snooze it yeah i'm just gonna snooze ads because i did not receive the uh, ad notification and i want to make sure that the content is not interrupted by an ad i hate uh i hate when that happens so i'm trying to control that as much as possible okay thank you so much mog no worries man If I was in a decent place, when they let them spam Q with no cooldowns and stack cast time reduction super low. Yeah, 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 yeah. Frost was just as busted at some point, if you remember that. I don't remember the um, uh, the thing about fire. Oh no, you're talking about the, the turret build. Fire turret build with guardian uh, boots and stuff like that, yeah. Nowadays that doesn't work so much, which is good. Because it's a no skill build that is not supposed to do so much damage. Because of the fact that it's a low, I mean a no skill build basically. It's not just a low skill build, it's a no skill build. You don't need any skill to pull it off basically. Nice. Um, which fire staff do you think would deal the most DPS? Uh, well, I really like the prolling staff, but if you're looking at pure DPS, I think it's this one. I think it's this one. So much damage, so much utility, so much of everything. Not a lot of HP, though. Not a lot of HP. That's the only thing that's somewhat missing. But besides that, it's amazing. And even with that minus right there, there's so many pluses that this build has that a little minus almost doesn't even matter. Ah, oh, come on, I want to stack up to four. Maybe, yes! That's what I wanted! A spear user. It's gonna be a very quick fight, chat. It's gonna be a very quick fight. It's trying to pre-stack, which is not a bad plan, actually. See if I had the... Oh, it's a pike! I thought it was one-handed spear. Well, this is bound to be interesting, chat. Maybe he doesn't want to engage because of this mob. Let me take care of that. Oh, I didn't have the range now. Ah, I was trying. to die in the inform i was stacking up to die in the inform i didn't think i would kill him with a q like that so much damage so much damage so much damage that is huge man wow 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 it is kind of squishy though. You gotta play very carefully over there. You gotta play very carefully over there. Like I took so much damage from those E's. Initially I thought that I wouldn't take so much damage. But I had I, I made the mistake of catching one of the E's 
while I was basically in the EM form. And that's a no-no. That's a no-no right there. You never want that. It's a bad time. Wifey, try to power on the laptop again. Maybe it works by a miracle. If not, we're going to bring it to the repair stop tomorrow. It works? Oh, I think I thought it works. Yeah, I face tank that. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So that was a little bit of a mistake over there, but the damage pulled me through easily. Easily pulled me through. Not to mention that I've engaged very aggressively. I guess that's also important to mention. I've engaged very aggressively with this Q through the fires, uh, fire lavas, I mean, through the fire traps. I've engaged very aggressively through the fire traps and stuff like that. I shouldn't have done that, but I was impatient to start the fights. And I'm not sorry that I've done that. It was great. Does the one-shot pike still work? Nah, not at all. Not at all. This time I got low because, again, I played very aggressively with a squishy build. Chat, I'm gonna go for a second, take a short, very short toilet break. We shall see each other again in a second. Let me fix my hat. What's wrong with my hat? All right, that's better. That's better. See you guys in a second. In the meantime, I'm gonna be running some ads so we get rid of the nasty ads that um, basically just interrupt the content. That's what I want to avoid more than anything. I'll be right back in a second, chat.
we're back in business baby we're back in business and our business is murdering innocents let's get it i had to pay 25 million per island yes yes it's yeah the price is quite uh, quite insane right now they wanted to basically add a lot of silver things in the game and they ended up adding a lot of poop things in the game because let's be real islands are still not worth it they look kind of cool it's a it's a cool fantasy behind them i appreciate the intention but it's still pretty bad mok did you wash your hands no i just w did one of those i just did one of those i never wash my hands <laughs> that makes it lose flavor what on earth are those guys doing i mean they're trying to gank me that's for sure it ain't gonna work Mog, what's a good blood letter build? Uh, well, a good blood letter build would be a build without a blood letter. So, uh, anything goes. Yeah, I would... Um, I would go Fire Staff, Tap Root, Cleric Robe, uh, Hunter Hood, and Soldier Boots. With... Um, Limb Herscape. Yeah, with Limb Herscape. That, that would be a great blood letter build. That would be my top top recommended blood letter builds out there and i'm saying that as a dagger lover but unfortunately that's just the case man blood letter kind of eh. blood letter right now feels like you going to the dentist and um while you're staying you know like like you're just staying like that to the dentist uh, and the dentist is just fixing stuff over there, checking your teeth and whatever. And all of a sudden he goes, so how was your day, sir? Sorry, what? Like, what do you expect me to say? I cannot speak, man. You know I cannot speak. They love doing that. Yeah, I feel like it's an internal competition or something. I feel like it's it's kind of like, hey, who has the patient who can be the most articulate while we fix stuff in their mouth? Okay, that sounds wrong, but that's what they're doing. Let's be real now. So, bro, I want to smack them at that moment. Yeah, I think it's a de dentist thing. They don't ask you any questions whenever you can speak. They wait to have you like this and then they speak i think it's a domination thing or something i don't know what happens man even here in australia i i feel like yeah i feel like it's everywhere <laughs> everywhere man it's the most annoying thing or or uh taxi drivers that try to make small talk like bro let me get in your car you're you're doing a great job i don't want you to get me wrong you're an awesome person but i don't want to get to know you no shut up drive me i pay you five star review all right that works perfect you know like they try to get into conversation and it shows they don't want to get into that conversation you don't want to stay into that conversation nobody's happy about that conversation but they're like oh we have we have to have conversation no we have no we don't shut up drive i shut up stay on my phone i might puke from movement sickness it is what it is i you know what i mean it's a mutually beneficial agreement as long as i don't uh puke it happens. <laughs> I am new to Albion Online. Can you help me with silver? Well, uh, I've had multiple silver made. Okay, no. Nah. Nah. No. No. Nah. No. Uh-uh. Nope. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I do have some silver making guys that you can check out. But yeah. By the way, uh, you guys, uh, Twitch people, if you're wondering who am I talking with, I'm also streaming right now on YouTube. To a whopping 27 viewers. You guys, YouTube people, jump on in. Uh, Twitch, uh, Twitch is going to be our main platform for this. And if you, YouTube people, are wondering who am I speaking with, well, you're blind. Look at the chat over there. <laughs> no, I'm joking. You can stay on whatever platform you prefer. But Twitch will be our main, both in terms of quality and uh, everything like that. 
The resetting is really strong for solo play. The Proling Staff has more outplay potential than the Hellspawn Staff. Uh, in my opinion, the Proling Staff has more outplay in the open world. And against groups. In Corrupteds... Ah, uh, no, actually also in Corrupteds. Because you can start the fight invisible. That's how I, that's how I play with the Proling Staff. With the Proling Staff, I don't let the enemy know what I'm using. I just straight up jump on them. By the time they inspect me, they already have HP. And it's too late. Like, it doesn't even matter what they're using. Fire Staff should be really strong against the Proling Staff. I've killed all the Fire Staffs that I came across because they don't have a chance to react. Like, they, I don't give them the option to react. Wow, Mog, are you saying that your YouTube is low quality right now? No, YouTube is amazing quality. Motal, Motal, you're gonna get us into trouble. Due to the Twitch TOS, we have to say that the biggest quality is here on Twitch. And that's the truth. The biggest quality is here on Twitch. YouTube sucks. Yep, yep, it's... Uh, it's actually not due to the TOS. It's due to the fact that we really love Twitch streaming. It's much better than YouTube streaming, yep. <laughs> YouTube streaming, yeah, that's, that's like... That, ah, that's nasty, man. That, that's like that dentist story that I've told you earlier. You don't know. YouTube streaming, no, no, no bueno, chat. No bueno. Let me check on the last video performance talking about this. Because I totally forgot. Usually when I'm live streaming, it kind of messes up the video performance. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Live streaming kind of messes up the video performance. I'm going to have to find a way around this. Maybe start a YouTube live stream later. That's a pretty good option, in my opinion. Oh, I have the polymorph. No, I don't want that. Wait. How does the polymorph chat? Wait, I, I have a weird idea. So polymorph reduces the mob HP by quite a lot. Ah, it's not that good actually. Yeah, I thought I thought it would be much better. Yeah, I should have changed to the other W. I thought this would be much, much, much better. I thought I was bot, but nope. to try something man <laughs> I wanted to try to <laughs> oh no oh no <laughs> I wanted to try to jump in the middle of the circle but the fireball went too far away you see the fireball went a little bit um a little bit too far ahead I I'll try to do it again I'll try to do it again but but the right way this time YouTube streams have no discoverability. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And right now, we're not promoting at all our YouTube stream. Because we don't... I mean, uh, don't get me wrong. Of course, we care about the YouTube stream. Like, it's the same thing. But the primary platform will still be Twitch. And we, we know that. Okay, so let me try that. Let me try that. Come on, do your rotation. Do your thing. Perfect. God, that's what I wanted to do. But I totally messed it up. I totally botched it and messed it up. It happens. It happens. It happens. I want the best build tier 5 PvE. Uh, the best build tier 5 PvE? Well, check out my playlists on YouTube. You see, we've been talking about YouTube streaming. But the YouTube videos are still going to be the main, uh, the main, main thing overall. So go onto my YouTube page. Check out um, the last uh, playlist that I made. You're going to see a lot of different builds. I would recommend the Druidic Staff build. So go into the Nature playlist and you will see it right there. Fully explained, fully detailed with everything that you need to know about it. If you have any more questions afterwards, please feel free to never message me again. No, I'm joking. Of course, you can, you can message me about it. Maybe once or twice. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> no, for you, it's all good. Hey, what's up? Came from the YouTube channel. I'm really new and I really like your videos. Hey, welcome in the chat, Adventure. Welcome in the chat. New in the game. Glad to be here. Hey, I'm glad to have you here. It's awesome to have you here. You heard that, wifey? Shh. Our bait caught one more. Our guides caught one more. It's a big one. It's a big one. <laughs> Let's go. Welcome. It's great to have you here. 
What's a good open world build for the new staffs? Well, check out the build guide that I've made yesterday for shape-shifting staffs. Uh, it, it involves the prodding staff and in my opinion, it's the best build that was ever available for Albion, um, I mean in Albion in the open world. We've never had a better build than that. How to get good at PvP? Watch the Mighty Wizard. Oh, other than the new staffs. Well, check out my YouTube playlist, Epic Dragon. There's a lot because it very much depends what you like. Like that's why that's why I'm sending you to the playlists. Because there you can actually see what you prefer. Instead of me being like, you like curse staffs? No. You like fire staffs? No. You like demolition hammers? Yes. All right. Let me try to figure out the demolition hammer build so I can give it to you. Now, just look over there. You're going to see a lot of different options and a lot of different things that are definitely available for, for you for no problem. For the small price of $1.99. Did I kill them all before they killed me? Damn, boy. For your 50 sub special, you did a cooking video, bro. You were there. That's awesome. Thank you for checking it out. Oh, man. We have OGs in the chat. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Well, I want to do a special video at some point. But right now, we're working on a lot of different things for the stream. Let me show you our newest acquisition. mad at the same time look at this beauty you know what this is our new webcam this is our new webcam but, but there's always a but there's always a but i am missing an adapter so i couldn't make it today i couldn't place it uh, like make it the the webcam of today's stream because i literally miss a thing that's as small as this i thought this adapter would be enough no it's not micro HDMI, it's mini HDMI. Now, what's the difference between macro HDMI and mini HDMI? I don't know, but if you find out, please tell me as well. <laughs> I feel like it should be the same exact thing. I don't know why we have a micro one and a mini one. But, but yeah, it's the way. It's the way. Get it, chat. The mortal is looking me in the eye and sees bloodlust. The mortal is running away because he knows what's about to come. Mogden is about to come. Dodge, everybody! here might die here oh I'm I'm dead I'm dead here I'm dead here I'm dead here ah oh, he had the reflect yeah I'm dead I'm dead I'm dead I'm dead I'm dead oh, I'm dead Ah, oh, come on, I'm dead. That was a good fight, though. Let me let me buy it one more time, and then we're going to showcase this thing. Chat, by the way, we have an ad break happening in uh, 50 seconds from now. Uh, because we have very rare ad breaks every 20, 20 minutes, so we have very, very rare ad breaks. Uh, our ad breaks tend to be a little bit longer than the average ad break that you watched on Twitch in general. So, um... Yeah, we're going to be back in like two minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to be showcasing... I mean, I'm going to be preparing to showcase this set. Hey, Mo, want to see my new YouTube short? Hey, drop it, of course. Might actually be able to check it during the ad break. Was that a bow or a spear LMA or right? That's because of my ping difference. 
Um, he was actually closer than it appeared on my screen, basically. Kind of sucks when that happens, but it sometimes happens. Let me see. Let me see how I can uh, show this as well. Oh, with a werewolf staff. The werewolf staff is insane, man. The, look at that. F 250 damage on a Q. Look at that damage. Yeah, no, the werewolf staff is insane. That's the next thing that I want to try. Amazing. Um, like, I gotta try the werewolf staff. It's gonna be the next thing that I try after this. Yo! Let me see, let me see, let me see. Beerzid, thank you so much for the sub, man. I really appreciate that. Beer zigged. I hope I'm not botching your name. Thank you so much for the sub adventurer. Helps me out a huge bunch. Helps me out a lot. All right, chat. All right, chat. All right, chat. Well, well, well. Let me buy the food as well for this. Posted this on the YouTube stream, but wanted to ask here as well. Uh, would you say that yellow zone mists or corrupted dungeons have a higher profit chance? Trying to get some friends into the game and looking for a silver making activity for them. I would say that for starters, yellow zone mists are fine, but black zone mists do give you more profit. Yeah. Uh, however, the game is very much a, a little bit too much based on RNG. So. Um, your friends might get some amazing stuff from yellow zone mists they might get some horrible stuff from yellow zone mist they might get some amazing stuff from black zone mists they might get some horrible stuff from black zone mists as well so so yeah the horse skin is the new horse skin um whatever it's called the um, tracker skin i think it's called yeah tracker skin something like that it's a cool skin it's a cool skin all right well chat Let's get into the showcase itself. Um, yeah, let's let's get to it. Let me start recording it and I'll do an intro for this. I'll be right back in a second, chat. The Hellspawn Staff, one of the strongest staffs in the game, added on the new update, added with the new update, just got even stronger, chat. No, there's no buffs to it, there's nothing that actually changed in regards to the staff, but we figured out a really strong build with this. It's a tank set that can one-shot people whenever you get them low enough. It's incredible what this build can do. And even if you don't get them low enough, honestly, just by shifting into the imp Im Im honestly, just by shifting into the imp form, you're just gonna melt them down real, real quick. The build itself offers you three different types of playstyles. First of all, there's the kiting playstyle, then there's the brawler playstyle, because you can actually take quite some damage while you're in human form, and you also have somewhat the one-shotty playstyle. I'm saying somewhat because you cannot really get somebody from 100 from because you cannot really get somebody from 100 HP to uh, zero, like to 100, from 100% to 0% HP. Uh, so it's not entirely a one-shot, but you're gonna see what I mean when I'm saying that it's as close as one of those things will actually get one-shotting people because the damage is just wild. The build that I've been using goes like this. Cultist Cowl with the third spell first passive. Soldier Armor with those spells right here. This one doesn't matter. You can select whatever. So basically the third spell first passive. Uh, that's just for PvE when you're playing with groups and stuff like that. You want to have Hunter Shoes or Soldier Boots. Like either Leather Shoes or Boots. 
because the thing is you might want to have this ability if you care about cooldowns which i do care about cooldowns a lot because this is somewhat of a build that gives you a second chance uh, sorry let me say that again the reason i care about cooldowns more than about hp is because with this build you have a second chance to live as i will show you in a second but getting that second chance will put your main ability which is your e on a pretty long cooldown uh, which is why you want to try to reduce that cooldown as much as possible. However, a lot of people actually prefer to have HP regen on the boots just so that they can heal up after the resurrection. Again, you might not know what I'm talking about right now, but you're going to understand in a second. It's a very strong build. Again, play shoes or leather shoes, whatever you prefer. You want to have a Tedford cape, you want to have some beef stew and some healing potions on you. Alternatively, you might also want to carry some Gigantify pots in case you're fighting fire staffs Fire was a very hard matchup for, for me every single time. I've started breaking against Fire with this. And as for a weapon, you want to have the Hell Spawn Staff with a second Q, last W, third passive. Uh, you might also want to go with this option. However, I prefer this a lot more because this allows me to kite a lot better. Uh, there's a lot to say about this build, so I'm going to try to explain as quickly as possible and at the same time to not sacrifice on information. So chat, let's jump into the ability showcase. First of all, the Q. It looks like this. It has a pretty insane range. Even after the, the range nerf, it's still insane. And you're basically going to be doing a lot of damage with it as long as you're attacking the enemy with both Qs. Because I don't know if you noticed this, but hitting the first Q actually triggers the second one, which has a wider range and also deals a ton more damage. The first Q applies one shift charge on you, the second Q applies two. So after you finish with this, you're going to have three shift charges, except that is also the passive, which is also going to give you some shift charges uh, just by being in combat. That's why you want to have that, so you have infinite shift charges basically an alternative would also be this also very much work but yeah i prefer i prefer this one for all of my uh, shape shifting builds the w looks like this uh now showing this on a dummy which is kind of counted as a mob is not the best showcase but what this actually does to a player is basically transforming that player into a helpless animal so if the player is using let's say mercenary jacket and they're about to heal up you hit them with this and all of a sudden you just took them out of the combat they're not gonna be able to heal for 2.5 seconds uh, which is insane this is time in which you can by the way actually do damage to them if you've been playing world of warcraft and you know that uh, something sounds familiar over here yes this is very much inspired by the wow polymorph ability that mages have but contrary to how it works in wow here you can actually deal damage to the enemy and the ability itself also deals damage which is nice and, and it also does aoe damage by the way uh, if you read the, the third, oh no, the second paragraph over there, or the third one. The orb explodes on impact, dealing that much damage in a 4 meter radius. Keep in mind, this whole damage is on a 4.2 staff. Which, by the way, at this moment is the cheaper staff. Like, you don't find the 4 flat one. Then you want to have... Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna skip the E for now, then you wanna have us for armor, the soldier armor, which gives you this ability every single time you get hit while you have this buff on you, you're gonna apply a damage buff on you that stacks up up to 6 times, oh no, up to 8 times. Is that 8? Yeah, I don't see very well with those glasses, sorry about that. So up to 8 times, it stacks up and it gives you a lot more damage, making up for the fact that you're wearing plate. Plate armor usually does not have damage. This one is not an exception, but because of the ability, it actually gives you a damage boost. Then you want to have this, which if applied on an enemy player, you're going to curse the enemy player, causing them to take damage every single time they use an ability, no matter if it's an offensive ability or defensive ability. Uh, and then your F recharges your cooldowns a little bit, a little bit faster, makes the cooldown reduction rate go uh, by 33.3%, I think. Yeah, that's spot on, actually. Uh, and it also makes you move fast. Now, chat, let's go back to the parts that we've missed. Now, if while you are in human form, you're going to have to manage your energy because this build consumes quite a lot of energy, when you are shapeshifted, you don't care about energy anymore. Actually, your energy will recharge insanely fast. You will, you will, how, you will however, have to care about your shift charges that you will consume with almost every single ability that you use. Now, I'm saying almost because not all abilities require shift charges, but there are certain um, moments in which shift charges will empower your stats. Right now I'm speaking somewhat in general terms because what I'm saying right now applies to every single shapeshift. Every single shapeshift will require shift charges. However, there's always going to be an ability that you can use with zero shift charges. In my example, that is the Q. And uh, I think in all shapeshift forms, the Q can actually be used without shift charges. However, by having shift charges, you can activate the second stage of the Q, which looks like this. 
basically the Q deals damage with that little fire orb that flies around and then if you have one shift charge and you reactivate it I mean you can only reactivate it if you have one shift charge and that reactivation will cause you to teleport towards your uh, fire boulder let's call it like that so you deal damage with that then you teleport and deal even more damage with that we're talking about some pretty significant damage over there so uh, it's always a good idea to use this and it's only available to you if you have shift charges another ability that's only available to you if you have shift charges is actually the w which is kind of the bread and butter of this whole build so check this out right here you need three shift charges for this and it looks like this it's insane what you can do with this if you manage to make the enemy use their defensives before you actually get to the point in which you use that ability because if not and the enemy uses a reflect it's pretty hard to, to cancel this because you cannot cancel it by moving you the only way to cancel it is by repressing the ability i don't think you can cancel it by pressing s either i mean i'm not really going to be able to test that because right now i'm playing on wsd so for me s is a movement key as you guys can see right there uh, but yeah, I'm pretty sure you need to recast the ability, like to press on the ability again to finally cancel it. With that out of the way, you know how the abilities work. Let me at least boil down... How, uh, okay, sorry about that. Now you know how the abilities work. However, let me give you a little bit of a direction when it comes to the combo itself. When the fight starts, you want to try to stay at max range and harass the enemy with your Q. At some point, inevitably, the enemy will try to engage. When that happens, you have two options. Either keep on kiting, and you can do that by using your inform, as I will explain in a second, or get to brawling. If you decide to keep on kiting, you want to switch to inform, drop this towards them. Let's say at this moment they're right next to you, you recast this and you teleport away and keep on harassing them with your Q. However, if you decide to go into brawling mode, you want to activate, first of all, your jacket, I mean, your armor, you want to... Uh, curse them with this you want to polymorph them but here's the thing you don't want to use your helmet and your polymorph at the same time because you are cursing them whenever they use abilities and then you're basically disabling them from using abilities that's not a good idea but this is the order that you want to do things in so first of all you're activating this the stacking the, the, the stacking up damage on yourself then you are cursing them preventing them from doing further damage after this buff is finished so, so let's say you have this You've activated this on yourself, uh, they continue to attack, in the meantime you've also attacked them and stuff like that. You have 6, uh, six stacks or 8 stacks, the maximum, then you curse them with this. When you curse them with this, they're going to take a lot of damage, if they keep attacking you. If they don't attack you, well, you're going to be able to do a lot of damage to them. Then, if they keep attacking you, you can polymorph them, and you just go in brawling mode with your human form until you have 5 shift charges. When you have shift charges, here's where things get complicated. You want to get some distance from the enemy, and you can do that by dropping the Q towards them, taking some damage, it's something that sometimes must happen, and while you have the soldier armor buff on, you teleport away, and while they come towards you if they're a melee player you just harass them with your w so basically you want to try to burn through as many cooldowns as possible but you want to try to maintain a logic and the logic is kite the enemy or brawl the enemy you have to decide on what you're doing if you're kiting the enemy you do not want to brawl you don't want to activate this and then run away at the same time if you are brawling the enemy you don't want to use your f or teleport away, away with your q you want to commit to what you're doing when you are brawling you want to be in human form you cannot brawl in bad form you can go into bad form to get out of the brawl kind of like this let's say they're brawling right now you're auto attacking them as well you're doing a lot of damage with everything then you teleport away with your q as they are attacking you and then you start using your w and stuff like that to basically get into the the one shot side of things because here's the thing I know what you might be thinking. How on earth am I going to one-shot anybody while I'm, your, while I'm wearing plate? How on earth am I going to one-shot anybody while wearing plate armor? And that's a valid question. But here's the thing. The stats that your uh, actual character has are different from the stats that your shapeshift has. You see, while you are in the shapeshift form, look at my HP right now and look at my HP while I'm in human form. I am insanely squishy while I'm in the in form. So I gotta be very careful about managing my resources because if the enemy is gonna start doing a lot of damage uh, to me and I'm not ready for that, I'm not in the brawling mode, which is the human version of my build, then I'm gonna be taking a lot of damage. However, if that happens, you do have a getaway, but I highly suggest avoiding this as much as possible. Your getaway is in the fact that if you die while you are shapeshifted in the inform, you are actually gonna come back to life uh, with anything, with anywhere from 5% to 30% HP. 
depending on your shift charges as you can read in the previous to last paragraph right there so use that to your own advantage but at the same time try not to use that very often because it might seem like a very good idea on paper to just uh, basically allow the enemy to kill you so you have a second life but ultimately why allow the enemy to kill you when you don't have to do that it's just a save in case you're dying in case you're losing the fight in case the enemy is just as low as you and you just need a little bit of an edge to kill them you can shape shift into the inform just to save your life once but generally you want to make sure that you avoid taking damage while in the inform because man you're gonna take a lot of damage now i'm sorry for the longer explanation right here but there's a lot of things that can be said about this build and i did not want to let you go into the battlefield without being properly equipped uh talking about going on the battlefield talking about going on the battlefield chat let's go they did enough uh shapeshifters that fast oh no absolutely uh they changed some things about the q the q range is a little bit um a little bit smaller right now you guys were saying hi youtube yes yeah, sorry i was recording my my youtube uh, showcase and stuff Let me fix those. All right, chat. All right, chat. All right, chat. I'm doing uh, Black Zone Mists, and I'm familiar with that. But my friends... Oh, your friends are afraid of the Black Zone. That's absolutely fair. Like, they can absolutely stay in the Yellow Zone. They are going to be missing out on loot, but not that much. Like, it's not going to be anything insane. You know what I mean? And the thing that's the most important is the experience, in my opinion. Because it's not a good experience to go into the Black Zone and just constantly, constantly, constantly die. Hey, what's up? What's up, Tef? What happened to your mod role? Well, Tef, um, we had to find some more active moderators. Uh, nothing personal, but yeah, you know, moderators have to be able to be present on the stream, basically. So yeah, right now it's just me and my wife moderating, and uh, I think we're gonna keep it like that, to be honest. Sorry that I didn't tell you earlier, but I didn't have the chance. Like, it's the first time I see you in ages. Like, don't get me wrong, no problem, life happens. But, uh, yeah, sorry that I couldn't announce you earlier. And Firestaff, no nerfs. Firestaff is insane right now, yeah. No worries, man. No, absolutely no worries. Yeah, like, we decided to go, um... Uh, to start moderating ourselves again, because... That's the, you know, that's in my opinion the best way to go about it. Like, every single thing that we can do ourselves, we usually prefer to do it ourselves. We had a moment in which we couldn't do it ourselves anymore, and that's when uh, we decided to bring some mods in. But yeah. How does one get started with Black Zone Gathering? Well, <laughs> it might seem like a funny meme, but in all, in all seriousness, you go in the Black Zone, you gather. <laughs> like, just, I don't know, it's crazy. But you just want to go in the Black Zone, and you want to gather. <laughs> Yo! Beer! You just tipped $25! Thank you so much, man! I really appreciate that! Thank you! Means a lot to us! Chat, by the way, by the way, by the way, this is the perfect time for me, uh, like right when we started the Corrupted, to take a very short, the shortest toilet break that you can imagine, chat. I will be right back in a second. In the meantime, we're gonna be running some ads so we get rid of the randomly popping ads and stuff like that. I'll be right back, chat.
and we're back chat and we're back and we're back sorry about that oh perfect timing with the ad break <laughs> that was perfect timing All right chat so yeah oh tef actually doesn't know about the um, the stream revamp so tef we've basically revamped the stream we have new uh animations we have custom made um transitions and stuff and i wanted to revamp the character as well to go into the full steampunk aesthetic nasty bongo cat why you ignore me oh i don't ignore you absolutely no sorry nasty bongo cat so right now i'm multi-streaming uh, we're also on youtube live right now like both on twitch and youtube and uh, it's pretty hard to manage like uh, both streams and everything hope you like the dono message oh the dono message i didn't see it I don't know why the donations just don't show up like the messages but i saw that you are romanian so fellow romanian welcome among us i'm romanian as well hey, yo exiles thank you so much for the twitch prime twitch prime boy twitch prime thank you i really appreciate that helps me out a ton traveler helps me out a ton one week vacation and gog changes everything yeah yeah by the way tef much love thank you so much for helping me moderate and everything your help was really, really appreciated. And I hope I hope you don't mind the changes and everything. But uh, right now, if we need mods, we need to pick like people that can actually really attend the stream. Like like the no lifers. You know, they, you know what I mean? We need we need the no lifers for, for moderation right now. I mean right now we don't need moderators, but if we are to need moderators, we're gonna have to pick the, the no lifers. <laughs> like I still love you. I still love you. Oh, oh, oh. And the biggest, the biggest news. I'm so happy about this. You know what this is? Our new webcam. This beast right here, about five kilograms of awesomeness. This is our new webcam. I, I had to get a special stand so it could actually hold this. It's really heavy. We're gonna have to see if it actually works. Why do I have big eyes? So I can see how beautiful you are. Welcome among us. Oop. <laughs> Fitting name. Fitting name. He's a bug. Exactly. There's so many bugs in Albion that I, I decided to become one. You're weak holding it with two hands. No, I was just afraid to not drop it. I, I would, If I had three hands, I would hold it with three hands. You didn't see it, but I was also using my pee, -pee to hold it. Just, just making sure. Making sure I can hold it. Now, chat, the only reason that's over there and not over there is because I'm missing an adapter. Like this. This is a micro HDMI adapter and I need a mini HDMI adapter. At the same time it's not all bad i just borrowed the camera like it's my my um my dad's last camera so i'm not gonna lose anything if it doesn't work but uh yeah i'm definitely like if the difference is staggering and i'm expecting a staggering difference i'll order uh a dslr asap and i will stay with that until it arrives we've ordered the adapter it should arrive like tomorrow or oh no i, I don't think we've ordered it actually I think my wife is doing that. Oh, wifey. Oh, the adapter. M mini HDMI. You found it? Wifey, type in the chat. I cannot hear you. I have game sounds. Stream sounds. And music. I guess stream sounds and music are kind of the same thing. But let me complain. Oh, by the way, Tef, have you seen the new update? Exciting, exciting stuff, man. Exciting, exciting stuff. Here, we start a recording right here. Oh, 
come on, I hope that I was hoping that would get me in the right range. Oh, I messed up over there. I really messed up over there. See, I, I did exactly the mistake that you're not supposed to do. I did I just walk into that. I paired up this with this. So I paired up this buff, which basically, I mean, this curse, which basically makes him take damage every single time uh, he does something. And then I prevented him from doing anything. Man, I wish I was the Panther right now. If this was the Panther staff, oh man, this guy would have melted easy peasy. I'm sorry that I'm talking so much about the Panther form, but it's just my favorite. It's just my favorite. I'm gonna be honest, I'm recording this and I'm happy that I'm recording this. But the whole time I'm just thinking, man, I can't wait to play the Panther form. Double music. Oh, what? Sorry. You're gonna throw your grandmother at me like that! No, come on, come on, one more Q. I don't have energy. I'm out of energy. I was out of energy. No! <laughs> no! I was out of energy! Ah, I was out of energy! They're very energy hungry builds though. They're very energy hungry builds. Let me get one more set and then uh, I think the showcase is over, chat. I think we have more than enough clips right there. Boom! We bought all the shapeshifter staffs. That's why they're so expensive right now. <laughs> we bought a lot of them. KFC is playing. Welcome to the corner stream chat. The Kentucky uh, or corner corner Kentucky is that is that the name? I don't remember. Not gonna lie, this staff seems underwhelming. Well, to be fair, if you compare it with the prodding staff, I like the prodding staff a lot more, a lot more. The thing is, like the prodding staff just melts. The prodding staff just melts. Yo, man, good fight, bro. Good fight. That was great, bro. You got me with the with the dots so hard right there. Ah, you got me big time with the dots over there. To be fair, this build is very weak against dots and against fire staffs. So uh, I think I'm gonna be breaking next time I see a fire staff or a curse staff. Colonel? Oh, Colonel. Yeah, that's that's. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Exiles. Thank you, Exiles. So, yeah, chat. It's rough. It's rough. Against Fire Staffs and against uh, Curse Staffs, it's rough. Maybe I should just shoot them fight because here's the thing. When I'm in human form, yeah, no problem. I can tank that. But when I go to imp form, bro, I take so much damage from the dots and I cannot avoid going to the imp form. Because I'm gonna eat up all my energy. Like, I've tried that and you saw how it went. No, you gotta shape... I mean, you gotta shift your shape. 
Just a little bit was not enough to win the fight. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. I guess you're very weak against things that wither you down. Slowly but surely. Mogri, right? This man, he's giving away some free silver. Oh, what? Hey, what's up, Samedina? I thought I was on YouTube. Well, I'm on both right now. I'm on both right now. YouTube streams once a week. No, 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 no. Right now, we're multi-streaming. We're both on YouTube and on Twitch. Uh, basically, we don't care about the TOS anymore. No, I'm joking. <laughs> the TOS has changed. Right now, you can actually stream on both YouTube and Twitch. So, sorry, did I miss a message? Scream Silk. Mog replied this man. He's giving away some free silver. Scream Silk. I'm sorry if I missed your message. It's pretty hard to manage the chats right now. Let me see. Where, where is his message? Yeah, I don't see it. Yeah, I don't see it, I don't see it. I scrolled up quite a lot and I still couldn't see it. So yeah, Samedina right now, YouTube and Twitch streaming is um, a thing that you can do at the same time. I'm also gonna be probably streaming on Kick. Like, why not? Might as well, it's the same effort. I want to give you all my items because you he's quitting Albion? Yo, Scream Silk, are you sure about that? What made you quit? I mean I'll take it if you want to give it to me, but are you sure? Because it might be useful for you when you when you return. Yeah, they changed it in um I mean, whenever they had the TwitchCon a few days ago. A TwitchCon it changed. It's so weird, Samedina, because you know what seems to be happening? Everybody uh, sees that I'm live on YouTube and like 90% of the YouTube viewers just jump on Twitch. So Scream Silk, all right. Well, if you're sure about that, the day in which I refuse free silver is not yet, up yet upon us. Bro, sorry that I didn't see it. Uh, okay, let me explain myself. Because it's like, oh, Mogdan, such a jerk. You didn't see this. No, no, check this out. This is how my screen looks like. Let me explain a little bit what's going on over here. So, this is a projector. This is the chat, combined chats. Those are the stats. This, don't think this is not important. No, no, this is the voice changer for the hat. This is very important. I should actually place it like that. This right here, those are the YouTube stats. You see, those are the viewers on YouTube and the chat over there and things that I might not be able to show. This is the OBS screen. Let me put it right here. Um... Let me move this here. This is the Twitch preview. This is the chat. Uh, I need to place this right over here so I can see when the ads are happening. Here's when I see an ad notification. And here's where I see the alerts with the Twitch viewership and everything like that. What I'm trying to say is it's a lot. I, I, I probably missed a lot of messages and I'm sorry about that. None of them were intentional. It's just so much to manage. It's my second day of doing this. And um, yeah. I need to get used to this. <laughs> Looks like my screen when I play old school game. <laughs> oh man, you like the YouTube streams? Hey, that's fair. For everybody that wants uh, YouTube streams, you can absolutely watch us on YouTube. However, Twitch is going to be the main priority. And it's definitely not because um, Twitch is forcing us to say that because of the TOS. No, no, I would never. I would never. <laughs> No, Twitch? No, I just really feel like Twitch is the better live streaming platform. So we're going to be making this uh, the main thing. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> they are for real asking us to do that. But that's fine. <laughs> yeah, Jump on Twitch, y'all. Uh, quality over quantity, yeah. Yeah. Well, the thing is right now, it's not hard to manage. But I cannot manage the alerts. And I cannot see uh, pings and stuff like that. Because my chat is not the classic Twitch chat right now. I have a combined chat in which I can see everything. Oh, let me snooze the ads. 
So, well, Scream Silk, if you want me to free you off of some silver, I am ready. But why are you quitting? I'm really curious about that. What made you quit? Oh, Scream Silk is right here. Oh. Okay, he, he has one of those bears. That's gotta... That's gotta be something. Chat, we're getting some stonk. We're getting some stonk. I'm, I'm sad that he's quitting, though. I wonder why you cannot see everything. <laughs> oh, yeah, and I have the glasses. And I have the glasses. I forgot about that. Focusing on school. I mean, to be fair, that's a smart decision. Honestly. That's a very smart decision. Trade cancelled. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I... I Wait, I think I've done a mistake. Yeah, sorry about that. I I wanted to untick that and I've ticked it. Instead of unticking it, I've ticked it. Yo! You are not joking. What? Man, I'm gonna be heavy. Wow. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'm not that heavy, actually. Let me equip those. That is... Again, I'm sad that you're quitting, but at the same time... At the same time, I'm not that sad anymore. I'm not that sad. <laughs> hey, am I selfish? What? Bro, how much are you giving me? <laughs> that is really nice. Chat. I think we're going with 8.3. We're gonna be going with 8.3 in the open world with a uh, prowling staff. I'll buy like an 8.3 prowling staff and stuff like that. It's gonna be nice. Look at this, man. So much silver. Yeah, and I'm still not heavy. I'm still not heavy. Mom, can I get 300k of it? Ah, no. No, it's all mine. <laughs> not sharing. I'm joking. I'm joking. I mean, it's all mine, but... <laughs> but yeah. I'm gonna be more diplomatic at refusing you, Weber, you know? <gasps> I love you. I love you. I'm 100% using this. Yo, I love you. This is insane. How on earth did you get an 8.3 one? Who has 8.3? Oh, wait, what? He said something. I'll come back for more? There's more? Boys, we're going with this. We are 100% going with this. Let me bank everything. Nah, we're rolling with that. I'm buying like an 8.3 assassin jacket or something. And we're going with that. We're going in the mist or something. This is huge, man. This is my favorite weapon. How much damage do I do with, with a Q? <laughs> 600 damage! 600 damage with a Q! I double Q a person and I wipe them down! Yo! That is huge, man! That is huge! But how did you get your hands on a tier 8 artifact? Like, I've been farming this update non-stop. I don't think you can farm it more than I've done. I mean, at the same time, just 8 hours a day, yeah, that's kind of casual numbers for Albion. But what? If you are thinking of quitting Albion, your friendly chatmate here is offering his services. <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna... Uh, I actually prefer the um, Gallant Horse. Mom, I'm on YouTube. Can I believe? <laughs> yeah, it's, go it's gonna be on YouTube for sure. Bro... Okay, how do I make people believe that I've actually got that 8.3 staff and it's not just a clickbait? I mean, I don't clickbait usually. Does that help? Huge silver because I told you to reply. Bro, I cannot believe that I missed that. I cannot believe that I missed that. Nice. I have a bunny. Wifey. Wifey, you gotta, you want, you're gonna want to look at this. Look, look at what I have. Can I? Oh, you cannot play Albion because the laptop broke. Yeah, that sucks. Bro, this is so awesome. 
Wait, let me snooze the ads one more time. This is amazing. Hippity hoppity, get off my property. Look at this. There's more? Yo. I really appreciate that. Nice mom. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Bro, how much are you giving me? Wait. You gave me like more than 100 mil. Thank you so much. Bro, I really appreciate this. I really appreciate this. Stream Silk. May you have a good journey ahead of you. Both in life and in the game. May you have a good journey ahead of you, sir. Over 90 mil. Yeah, that, like a lot. This dude is a legend, man. This dude is a legend. Everybody say GG Stream Silk. GG Stream Silk. You are a legend. You are a legend. And you also gave me the mount that I wanted to use. That's perfect. Boys. Boys. Yeah, this is so nice. Thank you so much, Stream Scream Silk. I really appreciate this. You're a legend, man. You are a literal legend. Right here, we have 74 million silver. 74 million silver. That's such... This is going to help so much with the content. Chat, you guys know me. I never cared about silver. What Stream Seal gave me right now, it's not silver. This is content. And it's content that's going to entertain me, that's going to entertain you, that's going to entertain hopefully everybody. All of this, you guys know me. Give me a month or two and I'll just go through it but content will be amazing scream silk you are a legend you are a legend wow vip him i mean to be fair is that gonna be is that gonna come to zarin t if i vip him no i just want to vip him i just want to vip him that's such a nice thing that's such a nice thing honestly I just want to VIP him. Honestly, this is just a very, very, very nice thing. Very nice thing. And I really appreciate that. It's awesome. <laughs> Pay to win VIP easy clap. <laughs> exactly. No, but for real. For real. This is such a nice thing. Because right now, it's amazing. Like, I don't have to worry about making silver. Which, don't get me wrong. If I go with the prolling staff, we're printing silver. But I don't have to worry about that. I can just do content. This is so awesome. This is why I sometimes swipe chat. Because I don't want to care about, oh, do I have enough silver for that? Oh, is this enough? Ah, did I make enough? No, it, just swipe. Just swipe, man. Just swipe. You know, I wouldn't recommend that to you guys, but that's what I do. That's what I do. Yeah, exactly. Beer, you're, you're awesome for gifting. You're awesome for gifting, you know? What you've gifted might actually cover for the laptop repair. <laughs> for real. Like, what you've gifted might actually cover the laptop repair. Okay, this guy is awfully confident. What on earth is... I don't know what his plan was. I'm running the bear for PvE. To be honest, Exiles, I want to start running the other weapons as well. But I have a problem. I am in love with the prawning staff. I cannot stop playing it. I cannot stop playing it. The prawning staff is just... Hard to match. Hard to match for me. I, I'm so in love with that, that if they nerf it, I, I don't care about the damage nerf. I just want to be able to be perma invis. As long as I can be perma invis, I'm happy. If they remove that and they triple the damage, I think I'm going to be so mad that I'm quitting the game. Like, honestly, I love that weapon so much that if they remove it, I might quit the game. Like, it's just... Honestly, honestly, I love that weapon way too much. They can nerf the damage, cut it in half. Uh, make it a quarter of what it is right now. As long as I have Perma Invis, I'm happy. I love that in games. I absolutely love that. I hope that you're gonna like this Dono message. Oh, wait, what? Yo! Thank you for the $30. I just saw that. Bro, thank you so much, man. That's so nice. That's so nice. <laughs> That's so nice. 
Thank you so much. Bro, you guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. <laughs> you know, I'm laughing at myself. Because I feel the same exact happiness. Both when I receive stuff in game. And when I receive stuff out of game. Like, <laughs> it's kind of messed up. Because I should be happier for the thing in real life. But I'm just as happy. I believe that a laptop can live again. Oh, yeah, the laptop will live again for sure. No, like, we would have repaired it either way. But uh, now it's easier. And I think I thank you for that. I thank you for that. I really appreciate that. Tomorrow we shall bring it to the repair shop. I think my wife will need to go alone, unfortunately. Because I'm probably going to be streaming at that time. Mm, maybe I start tomorrow's stream a little bit later. So I can bring the laptop to the repair stop. I, I keep saying repair stop. I'm thinking about pit stop. That's why I'm saying that. Repair shop. I believe that a, that a laptop can live again. It will. It will. It's probably something wrong with the battery. Worst case scenario, it's going to have to be replaced or something. Or maybe it's a cable. I don't know. It shouldn't be something uh, very expensive. The laptop was free. The laptop was free. Uh, I had a, a company, basically. And we got uh, European funds. And because it was a music company, a music company, we needed laptops. Like, we genuinely needed laptops. And we used those laptops. But then we've upgraded. And right now, the laptops were just sitting there. So I was just like, hey, my laptop. Because <laughs> it's my company. I can take my laptop. It is what it is. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's mine. So, yeah. <laughs> it's nice. I don't mind if it breaks. But at the same time, I really hope it doesn't break. Because I don't want to buy a new laptop now. I, I just bought my new PC. Like, in the last month, we spent so much because we went on honeymoon, me and my wife. Then I've upgraded my PC. Then I surprised them with a new phone. I mean, that was not necessary necessarily, but I wanted to do it. And right now, if I need to buy another laptop, nope. No, I'll play on a potato if I need to. And the ads just kicked in. Guys, are you guys affected by the ad break? I'm really sorry about this. I will record the fight and show it to you afterwards. It sucks. I'm sorry about the ad experience right now. Ah, oh, that sucks. Yeah, don't worry. I will uh, try to delay this fight as much as possible. Hopefully, it starts um, after the ad break. That would be ideal. I don't think it will, though. And if it won't, I will basically just show you the fight um, uh, in a recording afterwards. I'm really sorry about this. Give me a second, give me a second. Give me a second, chat. I will try to get to you in a second. Okay, we have 50 seconds remaining from the ad. Hopefully I can delay this long enough. That would be great. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I think most people are back from the ad break. For those of you guys who are not back, I'll try to delay it. I'll try to delay it. 30 seconds. All right, that's good. That's good. That's good. Stopped on the wall over there. <laughs> this guy is panicking so much. <laughs> Let me give him a good reason to panic. I think I got him with that. <laughs> okay, that's bad. That's bad. That's really bad. Ah, they changed the range. Bro, I keep on accidentally switching to the EM form whenever I'm supposed to be in another form because I'm used to the Panther one. Ah, come on. Come on. 
Oh, we had two playlists on. I'm sorry, I didn't see that. Ah, man, I come on. Hey, to be fair, chat, at least you didn't miss a good fight because of the ad. I'm sorry for the ad. It started randomly. I would have delayed it more, but it didn't give me a notification this time. So I started it totally, totally, totally randomly. How much is this? 1.98. It's cheaper. Let's go. Let's buy some food here. I messed up over there. I keep on making this mistake. I accidentally brawl when I'm in inform. And I know I'm not supposed to do that. Uh, but yeah, I still do it. I still do it accidentally. Kind of sucks. Let me do one more one more fight with this. Maybe two more fights and then that's it. That burst damage from Dagger Pair is insane. That's the thing. It's actually not insane. But it basically affected me as if I was a cloth user. That's the thing. Because when I switch to the in form, I'm basically even squishier than a cloth user. I'm like a naked, a naked uh, person with like a cloth helmet. That's kind of kind of how much damage I can tank, which is nothing. Mog, you're the only reason why I don't do corrupt things. I'm sorry, man. Okay, let me see. Samedina said something. Sorry, I'm at work. I keep breaking the conversation, but yeah. Restream.ao supported uh, Rumble. If Restream.ao supported Rumble, I'd get on it. I don't like Kick or Twitch, for that matter. Because it has no VOD content. Uh, well, the way I do it... Wait, but what is Rumble? I don't think I've ever heard of that. Rumble. I, I guess it's another streaming platform or something, but I've never heard of it. The thing with the VOD content is that um, by streaming on YouTube, you will be able to get access to that um, VOD monetization that Twitch is missing out on. Monk, did you do the collab with Burn? Uh, well, no, but at this point I'm ready. As far as I know, he's gonna come online in about 2 hours, or 1 hour and 20 minutes to be more precise, yeah. 1 hour and 20 minutes. In that time, I want to finish off this guide right here. Then I want to do a tracking guide, showing you what you need to know about tracking and stuff like that. Showing you how to track, giving you some tips and tricks for tracking itself. And yeah, I need to, to get recording, man. I need to get the recording. Oh yeah, with uh, 10 stacks from Ambush and full Q and fully charged E. You know what I was hoping to do, but apparently it cancels it. I was hoping to be able to polymorph him as he jumps, because the polymorph has a little bit of, an uh, of a ramping up period. So he uses Shadow Edge, while he's in Shadow Edge, that ability ramps up, and the second he's right next to me, he's a squirrel. That was the plan. But... Apparently, it doesn't work like that because if he iframes the ability, he does not actually get polymorphed. Did not know that. Did not know that. Did not know that. And I, I was a little bit overconfident in that last fight. I did not know that. I gotta be honest, chat. Um, Because I know you guys will say this as well, and you're absolutely right in my opinion. This staff is not as good as the prodding staff. Yeah, I very much agree with you. The reason I'm still showcasing it is because the prowling staff is not for everybody. You see, most of the weapons that I'm showcasing are not actually weapons that I like. I mean, a lot of them I like, but not all of them. And I would say most of them are weapons that I don't really like. But I'm trying to separate what I like from what you guys need. Because, okay, yes, I don't like quarter staffs, but some people want to play quarter staffs. So let's play some quarter staffs. I don't dislike it, like, don't get me wrong. It's not like, ah, oh, poor Mogden has to play quarter staff for a living? That's a pitiful existence. No, it's fine, it's great, it's awesome. But I would play, let's say, Dead Givers more. Or right now, I'm playing the Hellspawn. Ah, oh, poor Wizard has to play the Hellspawn staff? That sucks. That sounds like an existence worse than hell. No, it's just that I would rather play Panther Staff, but this is fine. This is fine. So, yeah. Yo, Melania. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Are they expensive? Oh, yeah. This set is 2 million silver. This set is 2 million silver. But right now, I'm trying to showcase this so I don't mind burning to a little bit of silver. Especially because we had an awesome donor. Um... St Scream Silk that basically gave us a ton of money. He left Albion and uh, yeah, I was the beneficiary of that. <laughs> I was the beneficiary of that. Kind of sorry that he left, but at the same time, life happens. Sometimes life happens.
That last fight, I, I know, I'm, I feel like I'm playing horribly with this build. I feel like I could do such a better job at playing with this. Definitely not as strong as uh, Panther. Oh, yeah. Yo, R2D2 Enjoyer. What's up, man? By the way, YouTube chat. How are y'all doing? I haven't heard from you in a while. <laughs> Welcome, everybody watching this on YouTube as well. Have you tried Rootbound in Corrupted Dungeons? Uh, no, but I kind of want to. Hey, Just Flow. Welcome. I like your glasses. But you see exactly what I see when I play on my phone. <laughs> You're spot on. You're spot on. Uh, I mean, after I placed my glasses on, I basically just started playing with my eyes closed. I might as well. It's basically the same thing. I just open them whenever I get into, like, a tough situation. So, like, in the last few fights, I had my eyes opened. I had to. Because this is a build that I'm really not comfortable with. Yeah, I'm wearing them because I have a radar hack on those. And I, I can basically see... That, for example, there's some gathering nodes over there that you guys don't see. Yeah. Dr. Disrespect style. I mean, I'm heavily inspired by Dr. Disrespect, but um, the glasses idea, even though I know he wears glasses, was actually not from Dr. Disrespect. You know why, where it was from? Look at this. I've had this steampunk jacket. Wait, let me show you. So I had this steampunk jacket for the longest time. And I was like, huh, maybe you look for some steampunk glasses, actually. By the way, am I too dark right now? No, it's fine. Biker jacket. Oh, shut up. By the way, wifey, could you please bring me some uh, some little glass wipes? Because I really cannot see much right now. The glasses got uh, got hazy. Yeah, whenever you can. I'm not going to be able to use them now regardless. So that's fine. I know, I know. Oh wait, I'm getting very low and I just realized that. Oh, he's right there. What are we using? Very interesting. Start panicking right now, mortal! Start panicking. Bonky, be free! You don't deserve to see bad plays. You better than that, Bonky. You better than that. Yolo Khan, spot on. Let's go. Easy clap. It was about time. This is a tough build to play. They deflected my W. Ouch. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, they reflected with... Um, uh, what was it? I think it was the Inferno Shield from Mercenary Jacket. But the thing is, if I died while uh, having my W deflected and stuff like that, it wouldn't have been the best, the, the biggest problem. Oh no, wait, what did they use? Oh, I think they used that. I, I never saw him use Mercenary Jacket. I thought it was Inferno Shield, man. Chat, give me a second, I need to, I need to wipe.
And we're back in business. We're back in business. We are back in business. All right, chat. Man, I don't know about you, but this music, like at least the start of this song, did you guys notice that it, it sounds like an incantation? It's <laughs> she did throated me with bread. <laughs> She deep throated me with bread. <laughs> she was like, <laughs> No, no, oh, come on. <laughs> she was holding in the chicken laugh. That's the worst part. Wife's gonna kill me, man. <laughs> Wingardium Brediosa. Exactly. Okay, what is that? Oh, wait, no, no, it's the wrong screen. Give me a second, chat. You know what's the funniest ch part, chat? So I was dying, and instead of taking out the piece of bread, I placed it deeper. Because <laughs> I, I was afraid of dropping it. I was like, no, I don't, I don't want to drop bread. Bread is good. Bread is good. Can I need to fix my... Um, my everything at this point. I forgot to activate the shrine. Ah, uh, it's fine. I might get invaded regardless. What's my favorite shape shifting weapon? Oh, that's gotta be the prodding staff. By far. By far. Like, it's not even a fair comparison. By the way, chat, an ad break shall start in less than one minute from now. Uh, sorry for the annoying ad breaks. We're trying to make them as bearable as possible. We have an ad break every 20 minutes now. Previously, we used to have an ad break every six minutes, which was kind of insane. I'm sorry that I've done that, but I've realized my mistakes right now. I, I now understand why you guys were getting so many ads. It was actually also from us, not just Bezos being greedy, but also Mog being kind of greedy. Sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, right now we have an ad break every 20 minutes. Should be much more bearable. So take a breather, stretch out a little bit. We're going to be back in two minutes once the ad break starts. Not wasting food, <laughs> exactly. Not wasting food while choking. That's a power move. The thing is, I didn't even think about wasting food. She she gave me something sweet. It's like a, a jam. And I was like, no, I'm not dropping this. This is amazing. I'm not dropping this. I'll die with it in my throat if I need to. I'm not dropping this. It's goodness. And the funniest part was that she was basically crying, laughing right next to me. <laughs> Okay, so I was so I was wiping my glasses. Is a solo dungeon still a good money maker? I wouldn't say like I, I wouldn't say that. Now, nowadays solo dungeons are pretty worthless, unfortunately. 
because they're fun they're fun to to play around with and stuff but compared to everything else that you have in the game solo dungeons just kind of fall flat that's the problem you know that's the problem uh, do i have the right lighting yeah i do i want to double check that I want to double check that chat because i'm gonna be honest i don't see very well with those glasses on so uh sometimes i have to take them off and make sure everything's all right because i played around with the lighting a little bit god willing in about two days we're gonna be having a new camera i really hope everything works out oh man i really hope everything works out in terms of the repairing of the laptop and uh, the usb thingy actually working for the camera because it's something that's not supposed to work but i'm a smart dude and um usually i find workarounds i find a lot of workarounds <laughs> very humble as well <laughs> that's what she's <laughs> oh. <No. laughs> mo can you play elden ring when you're bored of this update oh man elden no no i shall never be bored of this update as long as i have a shapeshifter that allows me to stay perma in this when they drop the expansion when they drop the elden ring expansion like before the expansion i'm definitely going to be jumping into elden ring yeah thing is chat i want to start getting into variety i feel like it's going to be a very healthy thing for the channel and uh, everything considered finding workarounds in life is the romanian spirit shining through you yeah pretty much pretty much we romanians are such crafty people man we're very creative especially when we want to drink we can make alcohol out of anything including but not limited to boots mattresses fruits apples uh prunes um dogs i feel like honestly I, I feel like if we try hard enough we could probably make some pretty pretty good dog alcohol i don't know exactly how that would work but i trust my romanian brothers that they will figure out a way proning staff is busted overpowered yeah met on one of the uh, met one in the abbey yesterday did everything right reflected his cue took him down 30 percent hp and then lost because proling has insanely high damage with zero cooldowns almost yeah and chat i have some news scream silk gave me an 8.3 prowling staff among a lot of other cool things there was also an 8.3 prowling staff and i don't know about you chat but i'm 100 gonna be using that <clears throat> yes we have an 8.3 prowling staff i don't even know how that was crafted like i don't know who on earth got a tier 8 artifact because i mean i understand like it's rng but what kind of rng is that i've been farming 24 7 today is the first day of the update in which i'm actually doing some different stuff testing some different builds because i want to do some showcases i didn't get even a tier 6 one let alone a tier 8 one. I mean, right now I did. Right now I did. Thanks to you, S Scream Silk. That's so awesome, man. There's no tier 8 artifact. Then how do you get it? Wait. Wait, am I dumb? Wait, 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 no, no, wait, 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 no, there's no way. No, you need this. Yeah, I'm not dumb, look. Two tier sevens, I mean, yeah. Still, a very high tier artifact. No, initially I thought, I thought that you need to use uh, tier threes, like more tier threes. And then I realized, oh no, wait, it's a tier 7. It's still the same thing, basically. It's just very hard to drop. 
very hard to drop. That's basically what uh, what I see when I'm saying tier 8. Something very hard to drop. I didn't even get a tier 6 one. Not even a tier... Oh. Okay, the inform cannot tank a single number of damage. Nothing can be tanked by the imp. I try to tank a little bit. Nah, there's no way I get... It's like... Uh, it, again, it's worse than if I was a cloth user. I'm like a naked person with a weapon. That that's how that's how weak this is. No, heal! No! I don't want to die now. Okay, nice. Oh. Ah, that was rough. Man, I'm so... I, I got so used to the prolling staff. This feels so weak. It's not weak. It's just weaker than the prolling staff. Man, you already have 100 specs. Oh, yeah. The second I got my hands on the weapon, I spec'd it up to 100. And the prolling staff, I'm gonna get that to 120 for sure. You can transfer the lower artifact to higher artifact. Wait, what do you mean you can transfer animal remains for the artifact? No, no, you cannot. I I'm pretty sure you cannot. For this, you cannot. Uh, for, for the artifact, you need souls. Or relics, or depending on what artifact you're using. But for this, you cannot, you cannot uh, craft this. Not with animal remains, not with anything like that. Uh, you could craft it from a higher tier artifact. Yeah, it it only goes downward. It only goes downward. I'm pretty sure about that as well. I wasn't sure about it initially, but then I uh, I remembered. Because that's what I thought as well. I thought that you could craft from animal remains, but no. The only thing that you can do with animal remains is craft the reagents that are used to enchant potions. My bad, sorry, no worries, man. No worries. By the way, chat, if you guys on Twitch are wondering who on earth is Mogden speaking with, well, there's a person on YouTube, Chrono. I'm streaming both on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. Twitch is the primary platform, but uh, I want to start streaming on more secondary platforms. Been seriously thinking about streaming on Kick as well. I don't like Kick, they're doing some shady stuff, but so is Twitch. So, might as well. Might as well. Twitch is still going to remain the primary one. But might as well stream everywhere. I also kind of want to stream on Facebook Gaming. Like, for real. Oh, what's going on? Am I lagging? A lag spike over there? Are we good? Yeah, we good. Perfect. Yeah, we had a little bit of, uh, of, of um, a lag over there. My glasses are coming out? What do you mean? Oh, they are. <laughs> oh, wait, you're not memeing. You're not joking. Oh, man. Yeah, we had to improvise something because the original glasses are incredibly uncomfortable. So I basically placed a pair of glasses under this pair of glasses. Because they're pretty big, so they fit. That's reducing my view... Uh, my... Uh, visual capabilities even more i'm playing on like a 90 degrees field of view right now chat it's not ideal <laughs> six size yeah basically six size oh no did i keep on missing that
I wish that Q actually did a Wii damage, but I think that would have been a little bit too powerful. No, 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 that's this the one. Perfect. I accidentally used the wrong thing. I wanted to use the Q and I used the W. Come on, let's get this. Nice, finally. Finally, chat. Finally. Alright, so let's switch to this and uh, let's see what type of damage we can do here. If it's a melee player, it's mostly GG. If it's a ranged one, I've noticed that it kind of struggles this build against ranged players. Especially with a Q nerf. It's kind of not ideal. It's kind of not ideal. At the same time, it's not too bad either. Oh, I, th I thought he would um, be baited by that, but nope, no baiting in that one, chat. Oh, he's right there, what are you using? Oof, oof, this is rough. Oh, that's rough. Oh, come on! Look at the range! No! No! He got me over there, bro! The range on that thing. The range on that thing, man. Wow. I never got the chance to actually use my W max range over there. Wow. All right, chat. One more shot with this. And then we're doing, um, doing some open world. I need to showcase this, chat. I really want to showcase this. It's a good build. It's a good build. It's a really good build. Um... I just much rather would play the prolling staff. I would much rather play the prolling staff. This is me using great nature against great nature. Yeah. The mercenary jacket, man. The mercenary jacket is a good play here. Yeah, yeah, yep, 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 yep. Hey, it happens. You cannot win them all. You cannot win them all, chat. The thing that I don't like about this, but again, it's a valid option. Like, if people want this build, it's very much a valid option. We we won a lot of fights with this. It's just pretty weak against other ranged weapons, from what I've seen. It's just pretty weak against other ranged weapons. Oh, what is going on? Am I lagging? No, I'm not. Okay. Then Albion might be lagging. Something is lagging, chat. Something is lagging. I'm rubber bending. Oh, I, I've done a mistake here. Let me open this up. Make this more perfect. Oh, what is happening? Yo, game, can we play? The collab is going to be starting in about uh, 45 minutes from now. About 45 minutes from now. I want to do this one more fight. I want to win... One or two more corrupted. That's the plan. Oh, I thought I had the wrong, the other W. Oh, yeah. 
come on, just get away. And <laughs> I'm still an imp. This is appropriate. This is appropriate. Absolutely makes sense. How do you get the light color without buying it? You have to craft it. It's either buy it or craft it. Or kill somebody using it. Oh, come on. They're avoiding the lava trap right now. Usually they went through... Mercenary jacket might be a good idea with this, but I prefer I prefer soldier armor. Mercenary is situational. Soldier armor, you kind of have it anytime. I mean, mercenary could also be. I guess I guess yeah, you could replace soldier armor with mercenary, but I think you're gonna be missing out on some tankiness. At the same time, in in form, there's no tankiness. By the way, chat, uh, there's gonna be an ad break that starts in about one minute from now. Come on, can I wipe them? Yes, I can. Perfect. There's going to be an outbreak that's... Oh, wait. I'm going to delay it. I'm going to delay it. Delay it yet. Delay it yet. Boom. Outbreak delayed. Perfect. I wanted to snooze it because the fight started. I wanted to let the outbreak go initially because I thought it would be finished by the time the fight starts. But that was not the case. That was not the case. So there's going to be the outbreak after this fight is over. After we murder the opponent. Yeah, I'm going to buff myself with the food and everything. Thank you. Let me use this. Boom. Let me get spotted by this. <laughs> exactly. Make sure you eat your vegetables. Your beef stew. <laughs> My favorite vegetable is pig, chat. I love that. Alright. Nice, nice, nice. Melee users are melted by this. As you guys shall see in a second. setting we're going for full reset let him reset let him reset that's fine that's fine that's fine he can deflect my w oh no he cannot he cannot he can dodge it with his w but deflect it no oh oh you mean the hunter hood yeah that um i need to be careful about that i need to make sure that i bait that Why is he resetting? I do I didn't hit him. He took damage from the reflect. I did I did not hit him. High infamy? No. Usually it's uber high infamy or uber low infamy players that are resetting. This one is an uber low infamy player. He's full resetting. He took one damage from the reflect. He took one damage from the reflect. Bro, you're swimming in mud and expecting to not get dirty? Come on, get here and fight! He's popping all bro. bro, look at this guy! Oh wait, I won't be able to do that. I want to teleport over the, um, the cliff here. 
but apparently my Q on the inform is the only Q that doesn't work with terrain. Did he change something? No. pixel away doesn't go through walls man it's the only queue that doesn't go through walls bro look at him <sighs> he doesn't have reflect anymore yeah he doesn't have will to fight either he has mercenary jacket he has everything he needs to brawl but he just doesn't want to do it Last time he went for a full reset because because I reflected some damage. Full reset number three. Bro, this was such an annoying fight. I'm so happy it's over. The loot is kind of good, man. Nothing broke. Nothing trashed. Can I have this trash rate always, SBI? That'd be great. That would be great. In chat, the long-awaited ad break starts in 30 seconds. In 30 seconds, yeah, what a fight. What a fight, chat. What a fight. It was, this was good. It was good. How much we have? 200 or 700? 200. I cannot see very well with those chat i'm gonna go for a very short toilet break in the meantime i'm gonna leave you guys with some ad breaks um sorry for the annoying ads we try to have an ad break every 20 minutes so that we can well eat it's nice to eat you know <laughs> see you guys in a second i'll be right back
how on earth do I always forget to turn on my microphone, man? How on earth do I always forget to turn on my microphone? That's beyond me. I've been doing this for a long time, Chad, you know? But I always forget to turn on my microphone. It happened in the first day of streaming. It happens in the last day of streaming. It always happens. It always happens. I don't know either. Yeah, yeah. It's beyond me as well. It's beyond me as well. Let's go bank chat. Um, then we're gonna go and do a tracking guide. How can I use my channel points? Well, we're gonna be adding blurps until tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna have blurps on the channel. So, uh, so yeah, you're gonna have a use for channel points. We're also going to be doing a giveaway today with uh, Premium. Oh no, actually tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to do a giveaway with Premium. And people will be able to participate based on channel points and stuff like that. It's going to be nice. It's going to be nice. <laughs> you are awesome. Hey, Azure Gaming. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. I really appreciate that. <clears throat> well, chat. Let's do let's do a tracking guide. Buffalos live in forest. They are not local from where I am. So I don't know. <laughs> Let me see. Usually in desert like biomes. I feel like uh, they live in savannas as far as I know. I feel like they live in savannas. Buffalos and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure about that. Like steppes, savannas, stuff like that. Desert like environments, yeah. Well, can I have 200k? I will give it back. <laughs> no. No, nothing shall be given to Mo by Mog except premium codes every once in a while. <laughs> All right, chat. Well, um, let's get some upgrades going. So I want this. I want this. Might actually go with this. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to go with that. I'm going to go with this. I need to be uber careful about this. Because, man, I'm going to be such a target. <clears throat> the rest we shall buy. The rest we shall buy. The rest we shall buy. I'm really happy about this. I'm abnormally happy about this, to be honest. Fiend cow. Let's go 8.3. Uh, maybe 7.3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just a strong. That's just a strong. That's fine. That is fine. This. And assassin jacket. I'm going to be a huge target for most people. So I do have to be pretty careful. I do have to be pretty careful. Uh, let's go with a tier 6 bag. Double bladed staff. It doesn't even matter.
Oh no, actually invisibility potions. Invisibility potion. Reset the parameters. Let's go with those. How many? Six, I need more. Let's get like this, yeah. Perfect. Perfection, perfection. Nice. All right, chat, let's make a guide on uh, tracking. Let's make a guide on tracking. Oh, I won't be able to wear tier 7 yet, but I can go with tier 6. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Yo! Ashur, thank you so much for the 27 sec. I like your style. Thank you so much. I'm not, I'm not sure what currency that is, but I really appreciate that. How much is the build in total? Oh, I, I'm afraid to check. 24 million silver. This is 24 million silver. 17. Oh man, this is rough. This is this is rough. This is rough. This is rough. How is the lighting? I want to make sure that I look good while wielding this chat. I want to make sure that I look good while wielding this. I'm going to do this for a guide. Give me a second. I just need to make sure that the lighting is on point. Wifey, will you tell me if the lights start flickering or messing around and stuff like that? We messed up with the lights today. Is that the e server? Maybe. Yes. You shall never know. Oh man, this is going to be great. Mog, that's half my net worth. <laughs> it was a gift. Everything for content, Epic Dragon. Everything for content. And as long as I can make basically infinite silver by doing my content, that's perfect. Not bad. Um, you know what? I'm actually not going to use this portal. Yeah, I'm actually not going to use this portal. I'm going to go back to... Uh, what was it? I think Tedford. Can you just simply wave hand for me to make my day? And I will remember that for the rest of my... I mean, of course I can wave my hand, but... That's a weird thing to remember, man. That's that's a, that you kind of weird, man. <laughs> Parasocial relationships intensify. <laughs> I love you, man. Be right back, meeting. All right, man. All right. Good luck with the meeting. I want to make a guide on tracking right now. Okay, this requires me to wipe my glasses clean. Because guess what? I need to see very well here. Man, there's so much light here. Wow, there's so much light. Yo, Ashur Gaming, thank you so much for the 30 sec, man. I, again, I'm not sure what currency that is, but I really appreciate it. Donated through YouTube Super Chat. That's awesome, thank you. And guys, if you're wondering, no, I'm not insane. I'm also streaming on YouTube right now. So check us out over there as well. Check us out over there as well. Hands doing a fist bump. Hey, that's great. I'm in a bad period of life at the moment. That meant so much. Oh man, what happened? If you need, uh, if you need to talk about it, we can absolutely talk about it. Because you know, sooner or later, or at some point in life, we've all been there, and sooner or later, we're all gonna be there. No, it's important that we get out of there. Alright, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, I think I think we fixed everything. Let me refix my hat. It's really hard to clean those. I have to do it very, very rarely. Because otherwise, I have to readjust the whole thing and it kind of sucks.
Let me open up the map here. I will need to see this. Man, I cannot wait for the little adapter to come here. By the way, Wifey, did you manage to order it? Okay, so Thursday or uh, Wednesday. Not bad, not bad. Two days from now, that's fine. Tomorrow a new light appears, which is going to be a little bit softer, making us look a little bit better. So, yeah. Alright chat, so the first tip that I have for you, whenever you're running around and stuff like that, try to make sure to check all of the wisps. Now, I know you don't want to do mists, because no, those creatures do not actually spawn in the mists. However, you want to try to look for an uncommon or higher rarity mist, because inside of it, you're always going to be finding an unstable portal. Unstable portal that might lead you somewhere next to Deadfoot. Or somewhere in the yellow zone, somewhere in the blue zone, or very deep into the black zone. It's a random portal that can honestly take you anywhere. So make sure you take advantage of that information as much as possible, as much as possible. Uh, so yeah, I'm not saying that you should go in the mists. I'm just saying that you should check them out very, very, very carefully. Because if you find an uncommon one or above, you want to go in it and you want to take advantage of that unstable road portal just to get yourself deeper into the black zone. Because right now, Staying right next to the to the map, I mean, uh, because right now staying right next to the portal area, it's pretty much dead sentence. It's pretty much a dead sentence, as that guy is gonna learn very very soon. Come on, buddy, where are you? Yeah, I think he got away. I think he got away. Second tip that I have for you, just as important as the first one. Whenever you are tracking, especially if you go with expensive gear, try to bring your on yourself try to bring on yourself a double bladed staff, blood letter, and mist uh, mist collar. I mean those are the options. Either double bladed or blood letter and mist collar, whatever you prefer. Minor work boots would be ideal, or at least a soldier helmet. You want to have at least the double bladed and the soldier helmet, or the double bladed and the minor work boots. If you can have all three of them, that's perfect. But uh, yeah, you need to have some mobility, and again, that mobility can come from the double bladed, can come from blood letter with mist walker, or can come from uh, the minor work boots. Uh, but yeah, you also need a high mobility weapon, so bring one of those. Uh, you know what? Let me say that again. I kind of, I kind of went the. I kind of stumbled upon my words over there. So as I was saying, the next tip that I have for you is just as important as the first one for survival. If you have an expensive set, try to carry a double-bladed staff, a soldier helmet, and ideally you also want to have minor work boots on you. I didn't want to change that much about my build, but if you want to have minor work boots, that's going to help you a ton with surviving. Uh, alternatively, you also want to carry some uh, invisibility potions to help you escape a little bit faster. You can pair all of those items together. You get away by using your double bladed staff E. Uh, alternatively, you could also use a blood letter with a mist. mist uh, sorry. Alternatively, you could also use blood letter mist walker com to um, get away from players, but yeah, you don't necessarily need to go with that. 10k points to remove glasses, Mog. Now I'm not gonna remove the glasses. First W. No, first W is gonna only, only gonna be good for PvE. Uh, the W that I'm using right now here is gonna be great for PvP. Alternatively, as I was saying, you can also use a blood letter and a mist uh, mist color combination. I keep I keep wanting to say mist walker for some weird reason. 
But yeah, double blade staff works just as fine. Look at this chat. First tip, achieve. Then look at this. If you go in an uncommon mist or above, you're going to find yourself one of those unstable road portals. And man, that's going to take you so, so, so deep. And it's awesome. And again, as I was saying, the next tip that I have for you that might save your life is especially applying to you if you have an expensive set. Carry with you a high mobility weapon like a blood letter or a double bladed staff, a soldier helmet and some mobility boots. The best would be uh, minor work boots, but you can also go with something that I have right now like uh, any boots on the second spell. Soldier boots on the third spell will also work. You want to have as much mobility as possible paired up with some invisibility. Yes, even if you have a perma invis build, you still want to be invisible when like you see this build that i have right now yes it allows me to be permanently invisible but not when i have enemies around so that's why i want to have the assassin jacket that's why i want to have the invisibility potions so i can actually be invisible whenever i want to not whenever the game allows me to you know it's pretty important Where did the meme with removing the glasses came from, chat? He cannot see the chat. No, no, I can see the chat. I can see the chat. But I, I was just looking and wondering, where did that start? Removing glasses for points. No, man, if I remove my glasses, my eyes are going to burn. I need to keep the glasses on. <laughs> my eyes are going to burn from the fact that I'm playing Albion rather than League. So it is what it is. <laughs> Another tip that I have for you, if you want to stay safe while tracking, it's very important that you are map aware. You want to look not only on your map, but also on the world map to see what's around you. For example, right now, I have this node right here, which is going to be a hotspot in one hour. Gang squads and parties are going to start showing up in the next 30 minutes here, so I might not actually want to hang around too much in this map, because I'm also a pretty valuable target at this moment. So... Um, that basically makes me uh, have to decide if I want to risk it and stay in this map or just move in a different map and stuff like that. At the same time, you might want to stay here if you're looking for PvP or things along the lines of that. You also want to pay attention to the world map. For example, I was moving in this direction, but in this map, as you can see, there's an enchanted static dungeon. And it's the closest static dungeon to Deadfault. So I might actually not want to go there because there's going to be a lot of players that are going to try to go either to gank the static dungeons or to do the static dungeons. Both of those situations might be important for you. So again, if you're looking for PvP, then go there. If you don't want PvP and you want to just focus on uh, tracking and stuff like that, then you might want to stay away from that. So be map aware. That will be my next tip for you. <clears throat> I give you a hard bargain of 61k. Oh, that's tempting. That's tempting. My eyes are going to pop if I play in league. Nada. <laughs> I'm just going to become more toxic. Toxicer. Is that a word? It's going to be a word. It's going to become a word. All right, chat. Another tip that I have for you is also in relationship with mists. This is more of an escape tip rather than anything else. So, whenever you go in the open world and you randomly stumble upon a mist, you don't want to do this. Why would you pop it? If you don't want to go in, you do not want to pop it. Because if I keep going ahead and I meet with a gang squad, I am escaping with my good mount, the next place that I'm going to is actually this mist so I can escape the gankers. Because guess what? The time it takes for you to get back your cooldowns, after you dismount it, like the enemies, after they dismount it, the time it gets, uh, the, the time it takes for them to get their cooldown so they can attack you is actually much longer than the time it takes for you to actually go into this mist. Uh, that tip might save your life. Instead of popping the mist, remember their location and go back there if you're going to, uh, if you run into a bad situation, basically.
Now, once you got yourself deep enough into the black zone, because guess what? That's the other tip that I have for you. You want to get yourself as deep as possible into the black zone. And again, to do that, you have multiple options. First of all, the mists. The mists might help you a lot with this, especially if you go in... Um, those unstable portals that you can find inside uncommon or rarer mists. They also spawn, as far as I know, in common mists, but it's much rarer. In uncommon or above, they spawn every single time. The random, like you might get teleported in the blue zone, you want to check before you go into one of those, but random means that it can also spawn you in the middle of the black zone, which is ideal. The places that I would recommend you focus on are those places right here, this place right here, this place right here like the furthest away places you want to kind of stay away from the middle because those areas are usually controlled by guilds at the same time there's a lot of other areas that are controlled by guilds so you cannot really apply this to every single side of the black zone and by the way i'm only talking about the west server right now i don't know how the dynamics of the east server are playing around in terms of guild content but yeah, once you got yourself deep enough, you're good to go, you can get on tracking. And if you want to know how to track effectively, well, you might want to check out that video right there. It's going to help you out a ton. Chat, that was a nice segue. That was a nice segue over there. I, I want to do a tips and tricks video for tracking and a tracking tutorial. And I'm recording them kind of at the same time. I, I, I need to get a tracking shot right now. Yo, Amun, salute, salute, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's time to eat a gustare. It's always time to eat a gustare, to be honest. There's never a bad time for a snack. There's never a bad time for a snack. I, I can tell you that. And now I kind of want a snack. But I've been eating too much, so no snack for Mog. You mean in the game? Oh, I, I want a snack in real life. <laughs> no, no, no. I was talking about real life snacking, man. Another tip that I have for you, even if you don't need those mists, even if you're deep enough, keep them. Because let's say you are in the deeper side of the black zone, you're right over here. But all of a sudden a gang squad shows up and you start seeing blobs all over the place. This is your way out. Not only it's a mist and it's by default your way out, but it's also an uncommon one, which means that you can actually step in a totally different direction. Because guess what? There's also going to be an unstable road portal. The other tip that I have for you is uh, something that I like to apply whenever the monster that I'm hunting is in the final stages of life. Because I don't know how many people notice this, but this outer ring in which you can actually fight the boss gets bigger the less HP the mob has. I guess the idea is so that players don't actually get the chance to steal your mob. If a zerg shows up, you're going to be able to see the zerg and the mob will be able to run away before the zerg steals your mob. Whereas right now, it's not that big of a deal, so nobody can steal your mob right now. Like if a zerg shows up and I manage to escape, they kill the mob, they're not going to steal it, they're just going to move my mob in a different spot and I will be the only one knowing that. So, uh, but still, you might want to be aware of this. In case you are afraid of dying, try to position yourself. Okay, th this might be somewhat controversial because you're literally surrounding yourself. But trust me, if you are map aware, position yourself on the edge of the circle. The edge of the circle that... Uh, does not give the possibility of players to come from that side so right next to a wall and stuff like that and fight the mob here because in the final stages of the mob's life again this is more something applied to that stage that i'm talking about right now this circle will be huge so you will actually see the mob running away before you see the enemies approach you even if they're invisible that's very important so yes you are in a way cornering yourself but if you know what you're doing you are actually going to be able to escape this quite quite easily again now it's not really something that you want to apply in the early stages of the boss's life because look at this circle like it's not that big of a deal but in the final stages i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna try to get this mob lower and i'm gonna show you exactly what i'm talking about when i'm talking about that and you're gonna see exactly what i mean and why that is a good idea i should have changed my w
have the wrong W here, chat. I have the wrong W here. Right. Oh, I was recording this whole thing. I mean, to be fair, I might actually want to remain on uh, on this, on this staff with this um, W. Whenever I'm fighting the mob Z, uh, even because when somebody attacks me, I can polymorph them and kill them before they get a reaction. Because I'm running 8.3. Tracking is really bad money right now. It is. It is pretty bad. But it's not going to be like that. So you want to spec it up as much as possible right now. Because when they remove the extra added mobs, which they should have done that, it's going to be amazing money. And group tracking. Group tracking right now is absolutely top notch. It will be worse as more time passes. I think it will actually get better. I think it will actually get better. I think the prices will increase once they decrease the amount of mobs. But I might be wrong. But I might be wrong. I've been wrong about uh, market play before. And this is kind of market play. This is kind of market play. Oh, come on. This is a long hunt. I don't like those. They require me to risk it, chat. I don't like that. How to get high tier artifacts from low tier monsters? You cannot, as far as I know. You need to kill the high tier monsters. Uh, oh no, actually I'm wrong. You can get high tier. It's a random chance, but it's lower. I'm fine. I'm finally trying test server on mobile, but nobody's there. Yeah, not a lot of people know how to how to get it on mobile. But there should be some PC players. Uh, you might not find people right now because there's neither maintenance nor an upcoming update. Usually people are there whenever they have to test things. Nobody plays. On you might find Swarp Benji if you look hard enough, actually. But other than that, you're not gonna find a lot of people that play on the test server. <laughs> it's a harsh truth, chat, but it is what it is. Nice glasses, Moga. Hey, thank you so much. I appreciate that. See, chat? People like my goals. As they should. Man, I cannot wait to be able to upgrade the camera. The adapter should arrive the day after tomorrow or the day after the day after tomorrow. So, um, Wednesday or Thursday. It's gonna be nice. You're not tempted by that by that 5.4? Uh, well, not really, not really, because look at what I'm wearing. Oh, come on, I need to get this monster lower. Nice, perfect. I was hope this time I was actually hoping that he would disengage because I want to showcase the uh, the size of the circle at the end, like in the final stages of the imp's life. It gets so much bigger. That's so much out of praising your glasses. You guys don't like my glasses? <laughs> Doesn't matter. I need those goggles. They're the anti-cringe goggles, chat. You've seen what happened on uh, Albion in the last few days on YouTube. I need to wear those. I need to wear those.
Okay, so look at this. You saw the initial ring. Look at it right now. <laughs> it's a big difference. It's a big difference. And when the ring is so big, position yourself in a spot in which you cannot really be ganked. Like nobody can come from this direction. They can come from there and from there. And pull the mob over here. Yes, you're surrounded by walls. Yes, it's going to be somewhat tough to actually kite the mob and stuff like that. But if anybody comes here, before you even see them on your screen, you're going to be able to react to them. Which, in my opinion, it's really, really important. Especially right now with how many gang squads are in the game. And are in the black zone, I should say. Not just in the game. But straight up roaming around looking for kills. Now again... It's going to be a little bit more difficult to fight the mob over here. But it's also going to be a little bit safer. Because again, before you see them, before they appear on your screen, before they even get the chance to approach you, you're going to be able to see that they're coming because the mob will run away. Now, if there's just three people coming, so the total number of players does not exceed four, well, then the monster will not run away. So you have to be very careful about that and still play carefully. Just because you're surrounded by uh, that invisible wall or that invisible barrier that you see does not mean that you're safe. You're just a little bit safer because at least you can somewhat fight one or two people, but there's no chance you fight them. And this trick uh, helps you avoid that 10 man parties that are just roaming around everywhere in the black zone. Uh, what do you think about the combat balance in this update? Reality Fisher um, or Fissura, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, got a range reduction. I feel like it's fair. This was a very strong ability and as much as I like it, I'm using it as a main ability and stuff like that. The range was a little bit too wild. The range was a little bit too wild. Oh, pa Panther, let's go. Alright, well, to get into tracking, first thing that you need, you need to read a little bit of what's going on in the Destiny bot. To open the Destiny bot, you want to press B. A lot of people ask me about this, so I want to take it from step one. Like, I'm going to assume you're an absolutely new player and you know nothing about the game, so I'm going to try to explain everything. To open the Destiny bot again, this is the Destiny bot that you see right here. To open it, you want to press B. You want to try to follow this purple line right here. This purple line is the tracking line. Uh, you're going to be able to see the stats, the specs, whatever, whatever you got going over here. But initially, none of those will be lit up. Not even this one, as far as I know. To unlock this, you need to get yourself a tier 3 tracking toolkit, which you can craft at any toolmaker. The toolmaker is this guy right here that you can find in any cities. To make your life easier at finding the toolmaker, you just go, try to look for one nearby, click it, and then you can look to see which one offers the cheapest prices. Uh, there is also a city in which tools are crafted. I think that's Brazilian or Kalian. Is it Kalian? Uh, it might be Kalian. Yes, Kal there's also a city in which tools are crafted, but this city is surrounded by red zones. So you might actually not want to go there as a new player, though how you're quite safe. Like, honestly, you are quite safe if you go there. However, if you're just crafting like one tracking toolkit, it shouldn't matter. Just buy it from anywhere. Yes, the prices are lower. This guy sells... Um, I mean, offer services for a fine of uh, 390, like for a tax of 390 silver. Whereas if I go in Limhurst, I think it was, let me see what's the cheapest that I can find here. As you can see, the prices are uh, much, much bigger here. But again, it's not going to be a big difference. You can even buy it from the shop. You just want to get yourself the hands on a tier 3 tracking toolkit. And you might ask yourself, okay, what now? I have the tracking toolkit. I've crafted it. What do I do now with it? I cannot use it. Yes, because you did not pay attention. Check this out right here. It's pretty... I mean, I know that it's here because I know how the game works. But for a new player, this is not going to be as obvious. What you need to do, equip... Uh, sorry, what you need to do is just have the tracking toolkit in your inventory and kill any mob. Now, a misconception is uh, among players right now. Now, there's a misconception among players right now that says that you need to kill the gatherable mobs. So, uh, not the heretics or stuff like that, but actually a lizard or something like that that you can actually end up gathering. That's not actually true. The easiest way to unlock that is to just get yourself in the black zone, 
and smack any of the humanoid mobs this right here because you need like 900 fame and one of those mobs easily drops that easily drops that whereas those little mobs right here yeah they're not as good for that that's not uh, they're not as good for that once you do that you're gonna have this unlocked and you can start tracking now if you are a pc user to track by default you just have to press the u key on the keyboard just press u uh this animation will start playing out right here and you will start the tracking if you're on mobile i'm not sure if there's a hotkey for it or a button special button for it but you can click the item in the inventory by the way you can also do this on pc and press use now the only difference as far as i know between tiers is the radius of the circle so look at this right here there's a, oh and, and the types of mobs that you can actually see with the tracking oh let, let's actually see this because maybe i'm wrong about this i felt like it was the radius but i think this is affected by spec actually i might be wrong about this you're a cooker. Hey, what's up, Spadif? <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> Alright, let, let's check this out. So, the radius was pretty big with that one. How much bigger is it going to be with this? Yeah, okay, yeah. I, I saw that huge radius and I was like, man, there's no way it gets bigger than this. But no, uh, apparently that's the difference. Yeah, it, the radius is much, much bigger. My chicken, let me say that again for the video because I kind of stumbled upon it and I want to project a little bit more confidence on this, you know? <laughs> So I've been using the tree. I think I've been using the wrong tracking toolkit because the circle so far was much smaller than that. The only difference in between the tier three tracking toolkit and the tier six one that I have unlocked right here is basically the range or the radius, I should say, of the circle. This is the circle with the tier three tracking toolkit. Just wait for it. Boom, that right there. And you can see two mobs right now like this and this. And give, me a, a, and give me a couple of seconds and I'll show you the radius with this one right here. Now, of course, depending on your spec, depending on different things, you will have an easier time finding different mobs. For example, right now I have quite some spec in panther uh, hunting. So panthers are going to show up on my map than on your map. Okay, let's get this. This is the tier 6. This is the tier 6 uh, circle right here. And as you can see, even though those two things were in my radius, I couldn't see them because I'm not as effective with a tier 3 tracking toolkit. So it's the radius and what you actually see on the map. What you see on the map is also affected by the fame uh, or by the spec, I should say, that you have in the um, tracking itself. Because if you scroll down a little bit over here, you're going to see that each individual mob actually has a specific... Uh, node that you can actually level up so you can actually have an easier time finding the specific mobs another thing that you need to know is that the more fame or the more spec you have in each specific node the more chances you have at the mob actually dropping an artifact so if you want to pursue a specific mob and you start hunting that mob and only that mob and only that mob you're actually going to get more artifacts out of that mob than a person who just started hunting it Again, the definition of what tracking efficiency actually means, it's still quite vague. But boil down, you're going to have an easier time finding mobs. Whether that means you're going to find them on the map easier, or maybe that means that uh, the artifacts are going to drop faster or whatnot, you're going to have an easier time acquiring the desired resources. Alright chat, let's do this and let's start the tracking again. I want to make a guide on this. Uh, oh wait, I think I've... Um... Now, the higher the tier you are, the easier of a time you're going to have to actually find those mobs. Because one, the bigger the radius of the circle, I mean, the bigger the tier, the bigger the radius of the circle that you're looking at. There's the tier 7 circle radius right here, and the tier 3 circle radius is much much smaller than that as you guys will see in a second that's the first thing the second thing is that on the tier 7 or on the tier 6 tool there's a lot more mobs that actually show up than on the tier 3 but you can still hunt see this is this is where it gets somewhat uh, somewhat weird you can do almost everything that i'm doing with a tier 3 tracking toolkit you're just not going to be as effective because a you're not going to see that much b there's not all the mobs that are actually going to show up c um depending on the spec that you have um i mean no that, that's about it that's about it b and uh, a, a and b i'm messing up my words here chat i don't know why i'm so um so distracted today let me let me find one of those tracks oh let's get this first 
So what do we do today? Well, right now we're recording, I think, the fifth guide of the day. <laughs> I have to record a lot of different guides today because uh, it's one of those days in which our a, a lot of problems appeared, basically, and uh, we have to solve them by compensating somehow. Okay, once you reach some tracks, you want to just dismount and click on them. Now, you can find those tracks by just randomly stumbling upon them. You don't have to use the tracking toolkit to uncover them. The tracking toolkit just pinpoints them on your map. Uh, however, you're not going to be able to interact with them if you don't have a tracking toolkit with you. So you want to carry this as much as you can always with you. Once you do that, you want to get yourself in the targeted direction. Uh, this is basically kind of like a quest. You want to go in certain spots and you want to try to find the mob. It's kind of like you feeling that the mob is nearby or around this area and you just go there to investigate. Sometimes you find the mob, sometimes you find other tracks, kind of like this time right here. Now, for this particular activity, you're going to need to have A, a very high tier build or B, a very good PvE build. Uh, the high tier build is very much an option when it comes to this because if you have high tier, anything goes. Like, you're going to be able to kill those mobs regardless. But if you have a good PvE build, you're also going to be able to kill them pretty, pretty fast. And you can go with much, much lower IP. Now, what you're going to find whenever you reach the uh, circle area, this is uh, something that a lot of people ask me about. Like, hey, Mogden, am I going to find the creature over there? Well, maybe. It's not a guaranteed chance. Again, you can find anything between tracks some mobs protecting some tracks some tracks left alone in the wild basically some treasures sometimes there's some uh, elite mobs that drop uh, some pretty cool stuff again mobs that are protecting the tracks or simply the beast itself you're always going to find something you just don't know what sometimes i was lucky enough to find the mob uh, sometimes i was lucky enough to find the monster in the first try sometimes i had so much bad luck that i had to run around the whole map to finally find it once you find the mob, you're going to notice this big circle right here. This big circle represents the area in which the monster detects people. So let's say there's a zerg, a zerg in this map. If the zerg is right here, the mob will not run away. But if at any moment a zerg shows up in this circle right here, the monster will run away depending on the amount of people that show up. This monster, because it's a one to three people uh, activity, like this... Uh, okay, let me start from the beginning actually. So... Now, something else that you need to know. There's two different types of tracks. There's a solo slash duo track for one to three people. And there's a small scale type of track for four to eight people. Now, I am doing the solo one because this is the only one that I can actually do. I cannot engage with a big track as a solo player. That's very important to, to take note of this. You cannot engage with a big track as a solo player, nor can a group engage with a solo track. Not because it's hard to do, because it's actually impossible to do. So you want to make sure that you target the appropriate track. Now, what that means is that this mob is only made for one to three people. So if at any moment more people show up, well, the mob will run away, but it won't run away if just one person shows up. So let's say I'm with three bodies right here with three people in total. If a fourth person shows up, the mob will not run. But if a fifth person shows up, that's when the mob runs. Similarly, if you're doing a group mob and you have, let's say, eight people with you, if the ninth person shows up, the mob is not going to run. If the tenth one shows up, that is when the mob runs. The logic behind this is basically the... Um, solo ganker that's finding a group imagine spiders you know spiders are very good spots to to find 1vx fights because the enemy that you're fighting is most likely also fighting a spider at that moment and because of that they're struggling more, more often than not to actually do the spider and because of that while you are a solo player and you wouldn't really have much chances to kill a group because they're also struggling with the spider you can actually kill them similarly to how it works over here but if you bring a party against the party that's already doing the mob, the mob will run away. The party is still there for you to kill, but you won't be able to actually track the mob because you lost it. Yo, what's up, Kobe? Uh, so the two weeks drops, the, the double drops are only on Twitch. Yeah, the double drops are only on Twitch. Uh, drops in general are Twitch locked, basically. 
something else that you need to know this circle that you see over here i mean it seems kind of bugged right now but i'm guessing the intention behind it is to make it bigger the lower the mob gets so when the mob is at full hp the circle should be somewhat small and with some mobs that's actually the case the lower the mob gets the bigger the circle becomes now i'm not sure exactly what's up with this because with this mob at least the circle was just as big since we started like it was exactly this big but but yeah maybe it's just a bug right now after you kill the mob you have a chance to win multiple things first of all you can win silver bags you can win rare animal remains uh those two things you always get sometimes you get some black market loot like certain boots and stuff like that and sometimes you might get the actual reagents if you want they're not really artifacts that you might want to get to be able to craft those weapons i'm talking about this thing right here which is not an artifact by the way it's just an extra reagent that you need and sometimes if you're lucky enough you might also get the artifact nice i'm happy about this this is great steampunk master mage mogden welcome peter welcome 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 is a 2k uh two times drop only for people that have premium oh no no no, no. the two the double drops are basically uh, something to do with Twitch. So on Twitch, if you go right now and watch us on Twitch, because by the way, you guys watching on YouTube, we're also live on Twitch. If you watch on Twitch, you will get Twitch drops. And Twitch drops for Albion, they're different items, different vanity things and stuff like that that you might just want to be interested in because they're, they're cool looking. Mostly aesthetic stuff. Mostly aesthetic stuff. Okay. Oh, let me see if Burnstone uh, dropped me a message. Because I need to start the, the Burning Stone collab. Okay, I have a question, Morgan. Yeah, of course. I'm actually... You know what, chat? Oh, wait. Sorry, 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 sorry. You know what, chat? I actually kind of want to take advantage of the fact that we're recording all of those videos while live. So if you guys have any questions, maybe your questions will also be asked by people that are going to be watching this video. So what else do you want to know about the tracking system? Just, just let me know in the Twitch chat or in the YouTube chat. Because yes, we're, we're live on both platforms right now. And by the way, also for you guys watching this later on, on YouTube, we're also probably going to be live whenever you're watching this. We're live every day except Saturdays. But you look at chat too late. Well, usually I look at chat after I finish like the little presentation and stuff. I have never seen you in 8.3. Well, yes, but it's a prolling staff. I had to. I had to. Which right do I lost? You can sell that skin back or I mean salvage it uh, at the repair station. What build is good for solo tracking? So the build that I would recommend for solo tracking, that is actually an amazing question. The best build that you might want to use for solo tracking is this one right here. It honestly slaps. And it's also very cheap. It's also very cheap. It's the build that I've used in the first day and I've never died with it. Except once in the second day actually. But that's the second day in the first day. Zero that smog. Right, uh, 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 thank you so much for the segue. That was a great segue for YouTube. The build that I'm talking about is the Druidic Staff Set. You want to use Druidic Torch, uh, Assassin Jacket with Soldier Helmet. I know it's weird, but trust me, it works. And Minor Work Boots with Invisibility Potion. It slaps. Not only you can kill anything, but you can also run away from anything. All right, Burnstone is ready. Let me, let me jump on Discord for uh, Burnstone is waiting for us, chat. That was such a good segue. Thank you so much. It's 10% return. Ah, oh, that sucks then. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what else you might want to do with it. I think that's the only thing that you can actually do. Let me find this code so I make Burnstone hearable. Alright, oh, perfect! Ah, but that sucks, man. Should I contact- Yo, yo, Mog! 
Yo, what's up, Burnstone? How are you? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Bro, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Had so much fun with tracking. Been roaming right now with a prowling staff. 8.3, baby! Yes! <laughs> what? what? Yes. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got an 8.3 prowling staff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. I'm unkillable, man. Nobody's getting me. <laughs> I've had the... Uh... No, I'm in the black zone. I'm in the black zone. Oh, shoot. You're in the black zone. 8.3. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> actually, knowing how many people know about that, I'm actually going to journey back right now. <laughs> oh, man. It's yeah, 400k. Please, please what? Wait, journey back is really expensive right now. I, I went too deep, man. I went too deep. How are you doing? Welcome. Um, I'm doing pretty good. I'm excited to do this uh, this thing. I've been wanting to do this for a while now. This like podcast type content. That's a great idea, um, to be honest. Because, yeah, I remember when when we accidentally did something like this. Remember when premium was like 40, 40 million um, at one point? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. BMU. Oh, I remember uh, that. I yeah, I checked it out. Yeah, it was actually pretty cool. Um, I, I like the idea. I just didn't know how to implement it. And Ancient Raccoon, you know I feel like I it's worth I a shot to try to message SBI about it. Maybe maybe they can help you with that. Let's just, let's just give it a shot, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, to me, it's a great idea. It's a great idea. And I feel like and people will enjoy it. it. Yeah. Sorry, what was that? Uh, I feel like people will enjoy it. Basically, chat, what Burnstone is trying to do, he's trying to do like an Albion podcast in a way, which which is a really cool idea if you think about it. It's like that that chill thing that you listen to whenever you're doing like chores in the house or, uh, you know, while your wife is screaming at you because you spend the whole day on PC and right now you're staying on the phone instead of spending time with her. It's a great thing to be able to watch, basically. No, my wife never does yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Basically, yeah, like... It's like a radio station-ish feel, is, is what I'm Kinda, trying yeah. to get at. Yeah, you don't really have to watch it, but like listen to it and um, you'll get information. You'll probably get um, caught up with the happenings in Albion Online while oh, you're yeah. doing your IRL stuff. Oh yeah, exactly. By the way, little Jimmy, take your hands off of your pants. We see you. <laughs> we, we're not talking about that type of stuff. There's a serious <laughs> podcast, little Jimmy. The, uh, the burn, Burnstone might not see you, but I'm an all-knowing wizard. I see what you're doing over there. Twingling with your wingle while we're speaking. Sorry sorry about that, Burnstone. I had to call little Jimmy out. I had to call little Jimmy out, man. He was... excited. Yeah, I'm really excited for this. <laughs> but don't be that excited, little Jimmy. Yeah, exactly. All right. Um, you're journeying back and um, we'll start oh, yeah. tracking in the black zone or red zone. Uh, let's do it in the red zone, so we, we can actually uh, not pay that much attention to the gameplay so we can get into <laughs> conversations and stuff. Let me see, I think I got closer to an unstable road. Right, I'm, uh, I'm gonna get ready here and then try to explain what we're doing. Alright, that's perfect, that's perfect. I'm gonna journey back. Paying 500k to journey back! Yo, I have a gang squad on me. No cap. I have a gang squad on me right now. Right. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, yeah, I'm running. I'm running big time. They saw that I'm in 8.3. Oh, no. As I was journeying back. As I was journeying back. No, no. It's fine. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. But damn, the timing. <laughs> that's, that's scary stuff, dude. That is scary. To be honest, yeah, but I'm not that scared to go with this because I can be perma invis. I don't know if you tried this in the open world. It's oh, insane. Yeah, I have tried it in in the test server, and yes, you like you are perma invis. Can you be stalker hooded? I don't know if that's a term. Yo, am I getting stream sniped? I might. Ooh. They surrounded me without knowing where I was. Oh no, this is kind of bad. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I think oh, I've escaped nice. them. Yeah. One of them is following me everywhere. I'm the I'm probably the highest priority target right now. Okay, okay, okay. I have an unstable portal right here.
Okay, I think I escaped them. I think I escaped. I juke them with a with a mist. Damn. Oh, easy. No, no, I mean, I mean, I didn't go in the mist yet. Did you? See, I saw a clip of um, one on an 8.4 frost staff, seemingly getting bullied by. Um, the new legendary shapeshifter weapons i mean Whew, i'm yeah, out perfect like... oh yeah oh yeah shapeshifter weapons are insane right now every single one of them is just way too strong <laughs> yeah, basically all right perfect we're safe safe and sound Let me get my set and I will be there in a second. Uh, we're meeting uh, Kellyan, right? Yes, yes. Oh, that's perfect, that's perfect. And I almost, I almost cancelled the invitation, I'm sorry about that. I've had a day in which people just invited me randomly in parties and stuff and I was like, oh, it's that guy again. Oh man, it's that guy again. <laughs> there was like a blood little guy that... No, I see why people are running 8.4 in yellow zones. Yeah, the journey back is insane. I mean, I got pretty deep, to be honest, as well. Okay, I have no sets here. By the way, what's your favorite uh, shapeshifter class so far? Or shapeshifter weapon, I should say. Hmm, my favorite. I haven't tried... Well, I tried it on the test server, not yet on the live, but I'm partial to the imp. I the imp? The, the proper terms. Like, I call it the bear, I call it the wolf. Oh, yeah, same, it, same. The, the <laughs> yeah. So I, I, I'm partial to the imp, I would say. It's amazing. It's really strong. Uh, for me, it's the prowling staff. Like, 100%. I'm loving that. The perma invis. I think you were talking about um, the assassin playstyle. Yes, this brings it back. Staff. This, like... Uh, it might be heresy what I'm about to say right now, but I honestly feel <laughs> this is better than the Assassin playstyle ever was. Like, Dead Givers were not so good. Mm. The OG Dead Givers and stuff, they were not as good as this. It's insane because you basically get to be invis as unless they're like close to you, like really, really close to you, cannot invis. But who's going to be that close to you yes you exactly yeah and also if they get close to you you transform it you just mangle them to death exactly so, exactly what do you do pick your poison you're going to die but you get to pick your poison <laughs> yes no for real like it's really 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 strong i want to try a weird healing build very curious to see how this works are you going heals? Uh, I kind of want to... Yeah, I want to go with the root bound staff. Yeah. I've never properly went with this, and I'm really curious about this. Oh, you're going to go with a shapeshifter? I'm going to go with shapeshifter too. Oh, that's perfect. I want to see, I want to see, I want to see. Yeah. I don't know how it's going to work. This is going to be my first time using it. Um, But yeah, let's, let's do it. I feel like you're going to love it. The shapeshifters are amazing. I highly recommend... Uh, I mean, try try the Imp, actually. You might really like the Imp. I'm going to try the, the Primal Staff for now. because. Oh, the Primal. Oh, it's That's amazing. I uh... you, know, you know what? I'm, I'm going to go with this. It's just a weird... Basically, it's my Fire Staff build, but with the Primal Staff. Let's, let's give it a shot. Give it a shot. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Let's go, let's go. To be honest, you have different stats on the primal staff, so it's not it's not gonna matter that much. Oh, that's true. Actually, it's true. You're right. It won't matter. I went with the weirdest build, but I genuinely feel like this will really work. It's a really weird build, though. All right. <laughs> 
All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Call it out. Perfect. I'm ready as well. Whenever you're ready, I'm waiting in uh, like overworlds or open worlds outside of the bank. Please. You oh, you're here as well. Perfect. We go here? Oh, yeah. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. This is just the typical one. Oh, I forgot to get uh, a tracking toolkit. I forgot about that. I'll be right back oh, in a shoot. second. Oh, yeah, I shoot, totally same. forgot. <laughs> oh, you forgot as well? <laughs> I totally <laughs> forgot. I have one on me at all times, but I forgot about it right now. Oh, by the way, uh, on a different note, I forgot to tell you this. Did you hear about the Twitch changes? Yes. Right uh, now, live on YouTube at the same time. It's yeah. great. It actually is amazing. How's... um. How do you think this is going to change? Because they have a weird rule still. They do have weird rules, yeah. They do have... Like, um, you cannot really promote YouTube. You yeah. you need you to pretend that YouTube... Like, oh, join YouTube, right? Yeah, exactly. Interesting. Uh, and also, there's this weird rule. I don't know if this is only, like, um, uh, an interpretation of a website that I I read the article from. But it says... You're not allowed to interact with both right carnage, yeah, at yeah. the same time. Oh no, oh, you can, you can, absolutely, you can. Uh, the thing that you cannot do, you are not able to show both chats. So like right now, I have people chatting on YouTube and I have people chatting on Twitch. I need to show only the Twitch chat. I cannot show the YouTube chat. Basically, Twitch is asking us to pretend that YouTube doesn't exist. Like, I don't know why. It's like, uh, what's YouTube? Guys, what's, what's you? I see a weird red icon right next to your name. I wonder where that's from. I never seen it. What is that? Is that it's Facebook? Weird, no? it is weird. Facebook? Do you mean like those weird people that stream with books on their faces? And what, what's that? Yeah, it's kind of weird, but what's it's a step in the right direction. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Like, I, I love this. Let me, let me make my mount more stylish. Where is it? Where is it? No, it's not this one. Yeah, there we go. I don't know which one. Oh, okay, I think this one fits more. I should have probably went with a surf claw too, no? Probably. <laughs> yeah. Right, here we go. Oh, we have one. The Sylvian. It's there my brother. It. It's my mother-in-law. <laughs> 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 oh, that's right. You're a Sylvian right now. <laughs> exactly. Let's get it. Ooh. I like this new function as well where it's faster <laughs> when you're tracking your boats. <laughs> Like when you're interacting with it sorry at the same time. my wife was like Mogden because I said it's my mother-in-law <laughs> it's like Mogden <laughs> caught in caught in 1080p I've been caught in 1080p <laughs> all right yeah it, it's nice it's nice and it's a, uh, by the way did you see the last hotfix they've made it so group mobs right now always drop the artifact i mean not the artifact sorry the crafting oh, reagents nice. and yeah i mean based on the wording that's what seems to be the case yeah it's oh, kind of oh, worded yeah. in a very weird way but oh the primal staff is the bear i thought it was the panther i always confuse them it's the bear is this yours? Well, how do I know? It's a green, okay. Oh yeah, no, no, this is uh, this for me. Yeah, this is awesome with Judicator armor. Look at this. Oh, this takes time to get used to. Oh yeah, I'm oh yeah. Looking more the right, like on my skills more than anything. Oh, you want to dodge that? Yeah, that's gonna do a lot of damage. Don't worry, I got you, I got you, I got you. <laughs> with 80 HP per second. <laughs> but, hey. Eh? Actually, insane. You know what's nice about this? Check this out. Boom. You're invincible. You cannot take any damage right now. It's so nice. Yeah, and right now it is engaged. All right, here we go. All right, so so we've, we're talking about, like, um, the update in general, but let's... Um, Let's start off with the first topic, Mog. Officially, with the first topic of All right. this podcasting that we're trying to uh, to make work. 
Um, oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, we've been talking about it uh, already, but what is your overall thoughts uh, on the update? Uh, what are the things that you like? Uh, what are the things that you think should be changed? And overall, the state of meta in Albion Online because of the new changes. You know how I kind of feel about this? I feel like this sums up my, my thoughts on the update quite well. Uh, when we are all kids and we go into the kitchen and we see like a box with cookies. We look on the on the cap of the box, like on the top of the box and we see cookies. Man, they look great. They look amazing. But we open the box craving cookies and there's some, str uh, there's some like, uh, uh, you know, weird things like a, a, a pair of flyers something like that like just weird okay. things that are household items you know like some um um i don't know how you call this um things for stitching up clothes and stuff like that like just yeah, random yeah, things yeah. you never find exactly what you are expecting that's kind of how i feel about this like it's not bad on the surface but if you go and dig deeper i feel like it's quite shallow especially for an update that has been in development for one year that's the biggest problem that i have with this uh on paper, I love all the systems. I really like tracking. I really like the shape-shifting weapons and all that. I like the systems involved with the update. But at the same time, if you go and look deeper or if you spend more time doing it, I feel like they all kind of fall flat. Because, for example, look, right now, we've been tracking this mob and it was fun. It was great. New mechanics, new stuff. We, we have the new stabs. It all feels awesome. We're trying new builds out. It's great. But ultimately, we just spend like 30 minutes or 15 minutes to get a mob and we both got 10k out of it. Like, it's not really the thing that uh, would appeal to a lot of players. At the same time, uh, all of those problems, I feel like, are easily fixable. Because those problems are caused by the special launch setup. I'm not sure if you heard about this, but basically for the launch setup, they've made it so two out of three mobs will not be able to drop a single item. They, they won't ever drop the artifacts, they won't ever drop the special items. Because uh, basically what they've done, so let's say in normal circumstances, there would be just one mob that spawns. But because of the special launch circumstances, they've added two more mobs on top of that. So right now, instead of one mob spawning naturally, there's two more added mobs. Those two added mobs have a 0% chance of dropping anything. So that basically means, like just to put things into perspective, that's insane in my opinion. It's kind of like you right now, let's say we go together in the black zone and we hunt a mammoth. We have higher chances of getting a mammoth first try, which is insanely low like that the chance of that happening than to actually get an item from those mobs that are meant to drop items that's my first and biggest problem with this update that's my first and biggest problem with this update okay i have more problems is... with this yeah okay, that is that's very interesting because yeah uh, they talked about it being all right we want this update specifically for tracking we want this to be a thing that people do but at the same time they sort of took away the reason why people would want to do it it's oh yes as if they said all right tracking is a new activity do tracking but also there by the way chat sorry that i'm not going to be that interactive with the chat but burnstone is doing a podcast and i'm trying to pay tracking, more attention though. to that a little bit so sorry for neglecting you a little bit chat they're trying to do uh it's kind of a weird thing it's kind of a weird uh, a weird thing because on one hand, like, like again, it's very hard for me to judge this because I have a very strong bias for this update. Like, I love shapeshifting, I love perma invis, I love the idea of monster hunting and stuff like that. I love all of this. Uh, so my bias is kind of telling me, ah, oh, this is great, what are you talking about? There's no problems. But when I look past the things that I absolutely love because I just love those things, I see a lot of different problems. This is just one of them. The Awakened Weapon System. The Awakened Weapon System, um, I feel like all of us, whenever we reacted first to the Awakened Weapons and we learned about them, or actually when we learned about legendary items first, everybody was excited, everybody was hyped up, and then when we started to think about it with a cold mind, we all had the following fear. Man, I hope it's not just a weapon with boosted stats. And that's what Awakened Weapons are. They're just weapons with boosted stats. They're cool, they're flashy, you can combine stats, it's cool. But at the same time, it's not so cool. It's not that cool. Like right now, I feel like it's harder to get your hands on a normal weapon, because that is what shapeshifting is. Like, shapeshifter weapon lines uh, is basically in 
in between all other hunter weapon lines so it's not it's not a special weapon it's just another weapon it's like uh, the newest weapon similarly to how gloves were the newest weapon at some point like there's nothing special to them yes they're cool yes they're flashy but they're not meant to be rarer than legendary items yet they are rarer than awakened items they're, it's harder to get your hands on one of those than to get your hands on um, an awakened item and i feel like that's a very big imbalance that the devs should absolutely work on fixing do you think that though that um that change right there or that bad thing quote unquote bad thing is just um because it's new uh what do you mean in terms of the uh so right shape-shifting now, yeah, yeah so right now you said that the the new weapon lines are more well rarer than the legendary items which it should be the other way around oh yeah absolutely um, yeah that is true that's absolutely true do you think though in the long run and this is just um this right now it being rarer than a legendary item will be will fix itself will actually fix itself in the long run because it will be given more time and as you said right Probably. now there's a, a special event where two out of three don't even give us you know the ingredients to create a new weapon to be honest in the long run probably but i feel like if uh, there's poor decisions made i mean okay yes it's very important how every single change will affect the game in the long run but the game is in a pretty weird spot right now so the devs in my opinion should focus on the short term yes of course you want things that are going to be lasting in the long term but uh you know what i mean like if, if the game was in a perfect spot and everybody loved it and everybody felt great about it and it wasn't dropping like crazy nowadays then yes the devs could have had an update that flops today but works amazing tomorrow but the problem is that the game is in a pretty weird spot like this update in my opinion needed to be something that works day one like boom you jump in it you enjoy it and i've actually had multiple polls with the members of my community with like chat members and stuff and uh, almost everybody disliked this update whenever it dropped almost everybody disliked this oh, update really? yeah very few people said that they they liked it uh in the next following days people started to like it a little bit more um so yeah but in the first day like the initial impression what on earth is this update because most people went in the black zone they tried to get some tracking done and stuff like that not only did not get an artifact but actually got ganked more often than any like any other day um which for me doesn't matter that much but for the average person getting ganked it's a really bad experience it's a really bad experience and if you get ganked over and over and over again that does not make a good experience and even for me in the first day i've been tracking for five hours uh and i've got one weapon in five hours i managed to craft the um, crawling staff yeah five hours just one just one and okay. non-stop tracking and focus tracking like i was fo at some uh, initially i was tracking everything but then at some point i started tracking specific mobs because i was like all right let me focus on the panther and that was the one that i wanted to get mm -hmm. so i just tried to focus on it as much as possible that is so, yeah. interesting um but yeah i agree with uh, with the fact that they kind of dropped the ball with this tracking thing um they wanted people, in my opinion, they just wanted people to be out in the wild, do this tracking thing. And I think they had good intentions when it I feel like it, yeah. increasing the drop rate or the spawn rate of, of these uh, new activity creatures. But I think where they dropped the ball is uh, exactly what you said. They added um, extra, but it was like a placebo extra. Like, yes, you get to do the tracking, but no rewards. Yeah, in that's the mind, thing. They kind of did that because they just wanted people to be out in the open. Like, Albion Online is always going to be and will be pushed as an open world activity game. So they just wanted to fulfill that sort of um, know, activity with people all over the world or all, all over the open world. But I think, yeah, I agree that they kind of dropped the ball with, um, with it yeah. being super, super limited. And the weirdest thing, uh, what you said right now, that Albion is always, uh, was always about open world and stuff like that. I feel like this was the design philosophy up until I don't know what happened. Like something happened at some point and basically the devs 
started dividing the player base for the first time ever. Uh, for example, the mists. The mists were basically like, okay, let me start from the beginning. So the idea is that initially Albion just had the open world. So everybody was together, everybody was playing uh, on the same spot. Yes, you had solo dungeons and stuff like that, but you still had to go to the open world to find them. You still were somewhat locked in the open world. Later on, they've added the roads. The roads of Avalon are great, mm. but the roads initially were meant to be like a small alternative if you want to have some fun, if you don't feel like going in Zergland, or if you just want to involve yourself in new type of content, go in the roads. But then the roads actually became the hotspot for solo and small scale players, because nobody wanted to actually deal with the Zergs of the Black Zone, uh, and would rather deal with a smaller party if they have to deal with a party or maybe nobody or another solo player because you have higher chances to find a solo player in the roads than uh, in the open world, for example. Uh, then, because the devs saw the demand from solo players and because they thought it would be a good idea, they've also added the mists. Now, the mists themselves are amazing. The problem is that the mists were actually meant to, f to add a full stop to the statement of SBI in terms of dividing the players. Because if the roads did not quite divide the players that much, well, the mists were about to divide the player base in three. Right now, we have the open world for Zergs, only for Zergs primarily. Like, okay, yes, you can go uh, solo, but going solo in the um, roads, I mean, in the open world, sorry, is kind of like just cutting your own arm. Like, okay, you can do it, you might enjoy the challenge, but it's gonna be a huge challenge and it's gonna be unnecessary. I've had moments in which I went solo in the open world and I made like 5 million silver and then I went with a group and we've made 40 million silver or something like that. The same the same effort, say, oh no, actually less effort, actually less effort because we were with a group. As I like to say, it, the higher the group members, like the more group members you have, the lower the IQ can be. So, and that was very much true, like we basically just went full monkey mode and made 40 million silver doing the same thing, not risking a single bit. And because of that, most solo players don't actually want to get involved with the roads, so uh, with the open world. So they go in the roads. But right now, why go in the roads when there's nothing for you? The roads right now are very much focused on the hideout places. Because in the hideout places, you can find those raid areas that are actually good. But outside of that, you don't find anything. So the roads are right now separated permanently, or for the moment at least, for small scale players. And then the mists, the mists are basically the open world for solo players. And it's kind of weird mm. that this update that was said to be meant for solo and small scale players, instead of dropping in the solo, that being the mists, or the small scale, that being the roads environments, because those are the environments made, they've designed those environments in the last few years with small scale, respectively solo players in mind, instead of this update dropping over there, they dropped it in the only land that wouldn't actually fit, which is the black zone. Because it's kind of like, so I take yeah. something and I develop it. I make the open world for Zergs. I make the meta for Zergs. I work on adding objectives, so I encourage Zerg play. I work on adding incentives so that people would actually go and do Zerg play and stuff like that. And after I'm done with that, after I created the perfect environment for Zergs, I go and dump some solo players in. You know what I mean? Like, it's not exactly what should have been done. Or at least, okay, do it in the roads, but I mean, do it in the open world, but also do it in the roads. Do it in the mist as well. Because again, those are the environments actually meant for solo players. Or for small scale players. Or if you do it in the black zone, give us high loot. Because we're risking a lot. It should be high risk, high reward. Yeah, this has always been like the, um, the weird thing about um, SBI's Albion Online, as I noticed. It is supposed to be high risk, high reward. Oh yeah. It always should be like that. Um, similar to like economy stuff. If you want to make a lot of money, Carleon is the way to go, but it's surrounded by red zone. Yeah, red zone exactly. And gankers most of the time. High risk, high reward. Uh, what I noticed though, in like specifically in Slayer Corrupted Dungeons, let's just call it that, uh, to not really deviate from, deviate much. Um, Slayer Corrupted Dungeons, you are risking a lot. Oh yeah. But in terms of like chests, in terms of like loot and rewards, not really that much. You're not getting a lot to a point where uh, Stalker Corrupted Dungeons right now gives you more competition because not not everyone, especially with the introduction of the mist, not everyone wants to risk that 8.3. Oh yeah. Get into like quote unquote fair fight and you know get a higher chance of losing your gear. 
might as well just go to uh, the mist with your 8.3 and bully basically everyone. So oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So it, it killed the Slayer Corrupted Dungeons and it goes back, it ties back to the concept of high risk, high reward where Slayer now is high risk, low reward. Oh yeah, high absolutely. More than anything. Absolutely, absolutely. And it's a problem because um, this like the devs could make this work very easily in my opinion what should be the case like what should be done to actually fix this is add all types of content everywhere so okay mists have open world camps add some open world camps open world ish camps to every single map that basically allows zergs so let's say okay in the mist you can go you see the camps on the map you go right next to the camp it starts highlighting uh, itself on the map you know exactly where it is you go over there and you can clear the contents of the camp as a solo player in the roads of avalon you have a similar concept because okay you don't have the camps themselves but at the same time you do have the chests which are kind of like camps so you have them in the mist you have them in the roads but you don't have them in the open world what if you would actually have those in the open world and it would actually be worth doing now i know people would say oh wait but you have the um, the castle system that allows you to get chests and stuff like that yes that's true but at the same time it's a limited system compared to mist in the mist you can always go there and you can always go and find chests uh, not to mention that the castles are more tied to pvp rather than anything else so basically what i'm trying to say is that by adding all types of reasons all types of content that people are doing in the mists in all other places players actually have the option to choose because right now you're right if you want to be safe in uh, the black zone as a solo player mists are the way to go but i feel like they should add some safety features in the black zone itself so for example uh, let's look at solo dungeons solo dungeons before used to be gankable they would never close a lot of people preferred it like that but in reality there's a lot of problems with that system because okay if i go and do a solo dungeon and i just want to do the solo dungeon itself i don't care about pvp and stuff like that and all of a sudden a 20-man party shows up that's not a fun gameplay experience but at the same time uh this is another extreme like and uh, the options are not just the extremes like okay one extreme is you close them, nobody can go in. The other extreme is that 100 people can go in, there's no limit, they, there can be ZVZs in solo dungeons. That's the other extreme. And I feel like the best the best hotspot would be somewhere in the middle. So, okay, uh, they have systems that could be used to prevent this. For example, the, um, what's, it, what's it called? The disarray system. So what if, instead of removing solo dungeons basically and making them ungankable, making them close after 90 seconds, you would actually use a system that's in the game, which is the disarray system, to discourage that behavior. You see, it's, it's this type of design philosophy that kind of slipped in in anything else and in everything else. Because, okay, why design the open world to be a friendlier place for solo players when you can just make the mists? Why design the roads to be a friendlier spot for solo players as well, because that was the biggest problem, when you can just add the mists? Why focus on the roads when you can just add tracking in the open world? Like, they're, they're kind of forgetting about their old content. You know what I mean? Yes. And it's a shame they're doing that. It's a shame they're doing that because Albion has amazing content. For example, right now they've done a visual rework of solo dungeons. There's some really cool new rooms and a new way of generating the rooms, so it's a little bit more random and stuff, which is awesome. But the loot is still bad. And I feel like the devs have forgotten what game they've created. They've created a game for rats. If they give people the option to rat, no, but for real, like if I if I'm given the option to make 10 million silver while investing. 50k of course i'm gonna take it you know what i mean yeah, or if i get the option to execute an 8.4 player that's low of course i'm gonna execute you know what i mean like it's the same thing with this if i get the option to be safe into the black zone and make a ton of money while wearing my 8.3 set aka the mists absolutely i'm gonna take that and now uh, here's the thing I'm not saying, as a lot of people are saying, oh, just to go on this example a little bit, oh, mist should be IP cap. If you IP cap the mists, all problems go away. Except that they don't actually. If you IP cap the mists, then the 8.3 sweat lords are going to be doing exactly the same thing that they always did in, in Slayer Corrupted Dungeons, which is abuse mm -hmm. still higher IP power than other people and just basically find a way to abuse this system. You know what I mean? Like IP caps wouldn't work. I have another idea for this if you want to go, uh, go into that. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're going... Okay, perfect. So my idea for mists, yeah, and I I feel like this would fix the mists. So check this out. Right now I'm pressing U. Check what happens on the map whenever I'm pressing U. 
Just look on the on the minimap. Oh yeah, yeah. Boom! That circle. That's what I see. All all other spots in the map are close to me. I don't see a single thing. So if I'm an 8.3 sweat lot looking to go in the mist, I can only see what's around in this circle right here. And maybe, just to make it less tedious, this circle is actually something that's locked around me. So I don't have to use a tool, I just automatically have it unlocked around my character. Kind of like a field of view, if you want. Like the map is blacked out, kind of like in solo dungeons, but I have a little ring that moves with my character across the map, and maybe the map is also centered on my character, and I can see only what enters that ring. So, what would that solve? Like, what, what, what would that, uh, how would that make the system any better? Well, think about it. Uh, if you are an 8.3 sweat lord, you don't care about doing the miss camps. You want to do the miss camps because you know that's where the low IP players are. And as an 8.3 player, let's be real now, you are not there for a fair fight. If I go 8.3 in the open world, I, the last thing that I want to fight is another 8.3. You know what I mean? The last thing that I want to encounter is another 8.3. Sure. If I find them low, I might fight them, but otherwise there's no reason. Like if I'm fair fights, I go in corrupted. You know, or and I get it, That's the meta true. is boring, that's a different discussion, but still, no 8.4 or 8.3 player wants fair fights in the mists. So, what they want is to find low IP players, and the low IP players are actually located in those camps, and in those uh, hotspots on the map that they can actually do. They know they cannot do the chests, they know they cannot do those things, but they know they can do some things, which are the camps, and that's where they are found. Now, the problem is... Uh, as an 8.4 sweat lord or 8.3 sweat lord, you just bypass every other aspect of the mists. You don't care about the chest, you don't care about anything, you just want to care about fighting players because that's how you get your money back. Like if you spend 50 million silver on your build, you want to get your money back. Like you don't care about, uh, uh, about camps at that point, you care about stuff that can actually get your money back. Uh, so the gameplay for an 8.3 sweat lord is basically open up the map, locate the camps, which right now you can see very easily, go to the camps, camp them. If you had a system that would prevent people from actually seeing everything, okay, they could still camp the camps, but it would be an extra step. They would have to search for those camps, which again, it won't take long, but it takes longer than it does right now, uh, which this is what you want to do. Like you don't want to say remove 8.4s. No, you want to allow them to dominate, but you want them to have to pick their battles because right now they're dominating on finding the camps. Everybody can find them instantaneously. They're dominating on fights. They're dominating on objectives. They're dominating on getting away. They're dominating on chasing. They dominate on everything. And I'm not saying that they shouldn't dominate. They should, but they shouldn't dominate on everything. Because hear me out. The other part of the idea is that the circle gets smaller the more IP you have. You can still see. You still have a circle. But if you are 8.4, 1700 IP, the circle will be small. You can still win every single fight. You don't have a disadvantage, but you just don't see that much. And this would also make sense from a, a roleplay point of view. Because think about it, you are in the mists. Like, you, you don't see everything, you're surrounded by haze. You're in the middle of the mists. Mist. Yeah. Exactly, how are you seeing the whole map? You're in the mists. That's true. Uh, and uh, yeah, this, this could be a system that would basically prevent players from winning on all fronts. An 8.4 player could still gank you could still just look around, see where the camps are, and camp those. But it would be harder and it would require extra steps because that's what you want to do. You want people to be able to win, especially if they've invested more into the game, but you don't want them to win everything. For example, okay, if I go with a 30-man squad and I attack one person, I'm going to get disarrayed. Or if I have too many allies in my, uh, in my area, I'm going to get disarrayed because, again, I already have a lot of people I cannot also be insanely strong because that would be winning on all fronts and that wouldn't be fair. Mm -hmm. See, like, it, it's those little systems that the devs should just spend some time and tweak, basically. People are saying, oh, what if you create a separate area of the mists, like a, an IP capped version of the mists? Okay, everybody's gonna play there. Everybody's gonna play there. Yeah. Because why, like, again, keep in mind, uh, they're saying, oh, add an IP cap version and a non-IP cap version so that the 8.4 players can actually go in the non-IP cap and fight themselves. But they're missing a point. They don't want to fight themselves. For real, like, I'm, I'm a big fan of a lot of big streamers that are using 8.3. Check their murder ledger. They're only fighting 4.1, 4.2, 4.3, 4.5. Oh, I mean 4.5, that would be great. But you see what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, just yeah. very low IP players. They're, they're never, almost never. 
like though if you look at the the, the other side of things and this is a, a good discussion uh, to have if you look at the other side yes it's rare to have 8.4s 8.3 fights is it because they don't want to fight at all or is it because there's just not a lot of 8.3s and 8.4s to fight mm, well i feel like what it's a little bit of both I, I kind of feel like okay if we're talking about the um, the streamers they will probably try to fight every 8.4 or 8.3 because that's just amazing content but for the average player if i'm investing 30 million silver into a set i'm investing that because i want to have an advantage like nobody's buying 8.3 just to fight fair fights you're, you're buying that because you want an advantage the second you're not getting that advantage you're either not gonna buy that anymore or um oh wait i forgot about that attack you're either not gonna buy that anymore or you're gonna buy it but it's just not gonna be as um like you're not gonna be able to use it that often so for example uh, kind of like uh, 8.3 players in uh, slayer corrupted dungeons when they used to do that and i feel like they still do that or better example high ip players in stalker like players always want an advantage nobody goes in stalker with 1200 ip because they want a fair fight they go there because they want an advantage and uh, when you take that advantage away from them by either a ip capping the mist b adding two versions of the mist or something like that well they're either going to stop playing that content or they're going to look for other ways to get an advantage and i feel like the best way to go about this is making them choose what advantage they want think of it this way if you could choose a superpower what would you choose see that's a fair question the game should offer you a superpower if you are an 8.4 sweat lot but right now the game offers you all of the superpowers like you're super powerful in terms of finding players you're super powerful in terms of getting away from players you're super powerful in terms of ch uh, chasing players fighting players you are just super powerful on every single front and if you would add yes. something like the field of view idea that i've had for example okay yes you would still be super powerful in terms of fighting players if you run into somebody you can chase them you can run them down you can mess them up real fast but now you have to find them and it's going to be harder for you to find them than for a 4.1 player because you're going to actually have to pay more attention what if for example uh the field of view that you have uh would actually help you also see the name tags of the player or what if uh, this is a separate idea but I, I i this just came to me so it might not be the best of ideas i, I just thought about it what if uh you would basically still be able to go with 8.4 but every single time you get a kill you would show up on the map for 10 seconds so that way you can kill everybody you can absolutely just go bonkers and kill everybody but if you kill that 4.1 andy everybody's gonna see where you are and everybody will collapse on you and everybody will see that you're running high tier because that only shows up when you're running high tier uh, again i'm not entirely sure about this idea i'm more i'm more sure about the field of view idea but yeah yeah that is that is an interesting um interesting thought um again i always like when when having these this, these types of discussions so look um like the devil's advocate what is like what would the other players because in this case we're kind of nerfing if you will or discouraging in a, in a in a way using high tier weapons um, but at the same time, it is a fair point because right now, if you want to go in the mist, you have two choices. You either go with 8.4s, 8.3s, and bully people, or oh, yeah. be a rat. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Anything in between is just losing. Always like the thing. Oh yeah. yeah. It's not even worth it to do it if you're not one of those. Which is, um, I don't know if that was like how it was designed. But I want to circle back to one of the things that you said probably like 30 minutes ago is that SBI is great when it comes to creating new content. I think no one can uh, can argue with that, I think. Oh, um, yeah. There's no, they're pretty good. One thing that they do, they forget about the content that they create after creating it. For a while. Yes, yes. Sometimes that actually happens, yeah. It's a constant thing as well. Look at Corrupted Dungeons. When they um, brought up or they gave us Corrupted Dungeons, it was great. It was honestly one of the things that excited uh, veteran players, new players, because they get this 1v1 area where it is legit 1v1, 
Oh and yeah. Gags, and it was be a fair fight. Um, a year later, it's pretty much like oh, normal yeah, bowl. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, normal oh, bowl. <laughs> Just normal bows. <laughs> Hunt the food online. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and yeah. they, they kind of forget. They kind of forget uh, what they have created and they move on. Like, new is better. It's, it feels like their philosophy is new is always better. Which, in, in some cases, yes. Because uh, the werewolf, the ship, shapeshifters, they are noteworthy. They are... Wait, where did you go? Oh, sorry, sorry. I, I thought I went in the wrong direction. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go back. I'll go back. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, it's a noteworthy um, addition. You get people talking about it because it's a new thing. But at the same time, it's like, where are the changes or the upgrades for other content? Yes, we yeah. have been seeing a lot of um, weapon balances. But like the activity itself, where where's the changes for that? So yeah, I feel like it would benefit SBI as a whole if they just take a year off, like no new content at all, no no new mist, like no new mist type, no new weapon lines, no new activities. But take a uh, take a deep look look at the current content. So mist, crafted dungeons. All of the things that they have introduced in the past three years, take a good look at those um, changes and like rebalance, refresh, and just overall give us a, a better experience in existing content rather than adding another content that in the next year, it's almost sure that we are going to see this uh, new tracking system and be like, oh yeah, remember when that was a new thing? <laughs> yeah, exactly, it exactly. Lose its, um, its value similar to how the rose of avalon basically lost its value it's like oh it's a new thing it's actually awesome you know Two, what three months later everything is like consumed everything is uh pretty much um covered by like small scale guilds and all of that and yeah it's pretty much dead after like a month or uh, three months yeah i absolutely agree with you I absolutely no. agree with you no, I feel like they should do something like this, but in, at the same time, I feel like they could do this in parallel. So right now, you said something that kind of s sparked a spark for me, uh, and it's a great idea. You said that you brought up uh, weapon balance changes and stuff like that. What if, instead of just having a weapon balance change every single patch, they would also have a content balance patch? In which they modify yeah. slight things like all of a sudden okay solo dungeons have uh, an increase in drops because you guys have complained about it. how hard can that be like you don't have to revamp the system just see what the people don't like about it and try to fix it uh now with pvp content like corrupted dungeons and stuff like that this is going to be more complicated and this might be my controversial take but in my opinion the only way they fix this and the only way they fix the broken corrupted dungeon meta and stuff like that is if they add separate balances so like uh right now you're playing the primal staff yeah the primal staff should work a certain way in the open world and a totally different way in corrupted dungeons now i know like people will be like Oh, that's going to be really complicated to learn. It's going to be so hard. No, it's not. You're going to pick up your weapon and ask yourself, what do you want to do with this? Oh, I want to do open world. Perfect. That's what you need to learn. It's exactly like it is right now. And when you want to learn uh, a new role in Corrupted Dungeons and stuff like that, you just relearn some things. It's not going to be a totally different weapon. Just more damage or less damage or stuff like that. All right, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes. That is actually the dream. We oh, talked yeah. We about this last year. And uh, that was the dream. The thing that for me is that would completely make Albion Online the perfect MMORPG, in my opinion. Oh, if yeah. They can do balances based on content and categorize it as open world, maybe Mist, Corrupted Dungeon, Arena. It is going to take a lot of effort though a lot of effort on the I... side of albion on, on sbi i don't know to like be honest insane amount of effort in the beginning only in the beginning though i feel like i'm because not sure actually rebalance everything they have to rebalance uh, basically the entire game which i'm pretty sure it's not easy to do I, mean, well... I don't have any experience in game development 
That's not going to be easy to do. It's going to hurt. Not really hurt, but it will take a lot of effort in the short term. But in the long run, I feel like it is going to make Albion Online not even like arguably the best, probably, at least for me. It's going to be the best MMORPG, or it, at least it has the potential to be the best MMORPG. Yeah, I see what you mean, I see what you mean. Well, to be honest, if they were to do everything in one go, like just today we're rebalancing the whole thing, yeah, it's probably going to be a nightmare. But I feel like they should do it step by step, because check this out, they've already kind of done this. Like the system is already kind of there. For example, look, if I heal you right now, I heal for around 70 HP. If me with the same build, with the same IP, oh, and you with... Right. If I go in a corrupted dungeon, I'm going to heal less. Yeah. If I go in a Hellgate, I'm going to heal less. That thing is the first oh. step. Right now, also make Hunter That's would true. reflect less. Like, they already have it. And they don't have to do it like in one go. They basically can go, let's say, okay, what's strong right now? Hunter Hood, where is it strong? In your open world? No. In arenas? No. Uh, in corrupted dungeons? Yes. Perfect. Reduce the... Uh, the thingy. I just step by step, step by step. You have to... Okay. That is actually interesting, yeah. Because they already kind of do this, but not really. Yeah, not all the um, way. That's the thing. It's not all the way, but it is in a way possible. And it is doable. And it's not impossible to do, basically, is what I'm trying oh, to yeah. say. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Interesting. That's right. I mean, yeah, we talked about this. This was like a, a dream um, last year. If they could just create separate stats. For oh, that would be great. It, it would be amazing. I think it would. And I feel like they need to do that. How amazing would that be, though? I'm just thinking. I'm sorry. I'm just thinking of like how great it actually can be. I don't know. I don't know if we can track this. Oh, uh, we might be able to. This is the toughest mob as far as I know. Like it's going to do a ton of damage. It's a group one. Oh, it's gonna be tough. Oh, it's because it's a group. Yeah. Do we do we give up on it? On it? I just this is theirs anyways. It's not ours. Yeah. Let's let's let them have it. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, that got me excited. How how do you think that would change um, Albion Online? If they have exactly like different stats for different categories and how do you think how difficult is it to balance because now that i'm thinking more about it in the again in the beginning i still am of the opinion that it is going to be difficult to it's gonna take some adjusting for sure in the beginning yeah, yeah. like it's gonna be oh beginning. so much but at the same time, they can take it mm. step by step. I feel like in the long run, it's actually going to be easier to balance. Easier. Because think about it. Right way now, easier. way easier. Yes, because right now you have to think, okay, I want to change Hunterhood. Because it's strong in the mists. But how will Hunterhood mm. change in the open world? How will Hunterhood... Yes. Or, or let's say Normal Bow. I'm fairly certain that they want to nerf Normal Bow. But how do you nerf yes. Normal Bow so you make it playable in other types of content such as open world where normal bow is not popular like or, or let's say you yes. nerf galantine pair because galantine pair is really strong in zvz's okay but that's gonna mean that nobody plays it anywhere else and i know some people are saying okay yeah but that doesn't mean that all the weapons can be played everywhere i understand there are certain weapons for certain roles but wouldn't it be great mm. to have all weapons everywhere like just play your favorite weapon yeah. wherever you want to play it like, I understand about class identity and stuff like that, but isn't that one of the main things that we all liked about Albion? The fact that it's not really about your class? Exactly, you can just yeah. pick your class, you can just forge your path. Well, you can forge your path, but your your path will go straight into the dumpster if you don't wear Hunter with Incorrupted. Like, that's your path. That's your path. You, you forged it. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's a weird, weird thing. You, you talked about something. Um, um, yes. <laughs> Both. Hey, thank you for the for the oh compliment. Dominic. I appreciate that. By the way, chat, sorry that I'm not so active in the chat. I'm paying attention to the podcast. But they don't want another case of the broadsword. If you played Corrupted oh, Dungeons yes. last year, broadsword was dominating the thing. If you're not using the broadsword, you're not winning as much. Oh, yeah. But look at what they did. They actually just slightly nerfed. I wouldn't say it's like a big nerf to the broadsword. But they s nerfed Broadsword. And where's Broadsword now? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nowhere to be found. 
that's another home. thing. It's like it's been vaulted. Yeah, no, that's another problem with SBI. SBI has the bad habit of just nerfing. All the nerfs are substantial, all the buffs are minor. And it's a big problem because ultimately, if we just nerf and nerf and nerf and nerf and nerf, yes, we're going to have balance. But the balance is going to be in between weapons that feel and play the same. Look, for example, at Dead Givers, the OG playstyle of Dead Givers, Assassin Dead Givers and stuff like that. It was amazing. It was very powerful. They nerfed it to the point in which daggers right now are pointier war gloves. They play exactly like war gloves. They behave like war gloves. Yeah. They're just pointier. Like, that's the only thing. Uh, and it's a shame and it's a shame like in my opinion uh, and this is the main priority like okay yes the game needs to be balanced it's very important that it's balanced but it also needs to be and in my opinion it's the main thing fun every MMORPG yes. needs to be fun and if you if you have to choose between balance and fun pick fun because that's what's going to keep people there nobody's going to play this game and be like oh it's so balanced no, it's going to be, man, this game is so fun. This game is so awesome. It's, it's amazing. Yes, of course, the end game players and the veterans will need that balance. We will have to have balance. But I feel like we would all prefer to sacrifice on a little bit of balance to have cool, uh, cool feeling weapons. And I feel like the devs can actually see that play out right now. Because look at what we're right both now. playing. Yeah, look at what we're playing. Look at what everybody on Twitch yeah. for the most part is playing. Look at all the videos made. People are loving this weapon yeah. because it's strong. That's why people love it. It's strong. Perma Invis, yeah, you could have Perma Invis with Invisibility Potion, Spectre Hood Assassin Jacket, uh, what was <laughs> yeah, it? Right. Spectre Shoes and Undead Cape. You could have Perma Invis. Why, why we were not playing this? Because it was not fun. It was not strong. It did not work. And uh, look, for example, at games like World of Warcraft. I've never properly been into WoW, but I've heard some amazing things. And uh, in the first like month or something that I've played in Battle for Azeroth, I've got to test some things. And brother, hear me out. Uh, World of Warcraft has a rogue class. The rogue class can be permanently invisible. Not only that it can be permanently invisible, but it can go invisible while in a fight. So let's say we're fighting right now. I feel like you're killing me. I go invisible and I remain invisible. I'm out of there. You know what I mean? Or I just restack and re-attack you. That sounds overpowered, doesn't it? But you know why it's not overpowered? Because the Warlock can summon a literal raid boss. Like, uh, hear me out. To summon that raid boss uh, as a Warlock, you're basically creating a dark ritual. And you're, you're involving five people in total. Uh, one of them is you and other, like, four other people. One of those five people will die. Now, if that person is the healer, the party is dead because the mo the demon that you're going to summon is actually a strong demon and you actually need to fight him before you enslave it. If the person that dies is the warlock, that's bad news because that means there's nobody to actually enslave the demon. If a DPS dies out, it's all good. You can enslave the demon. It's all good. And that's actually a raid boss. Like It, it will kill the whole party. It's actually tough to beat as far as I've understood. Now, think about it this way. The enslavement spell that you cast on the demon will not last forever. So if you don't pay attention, if you're not careful enough and stuff like that, the demon will become your enemy again. Oh, I got the artifact. Nice. Yo, tier, tier 5 artifacts. It's the first time I get one of those. I only got tier, uh, tier 3 so far. That's awesome. So yeah. Um, and again, that sounds overpowered. Like being able to summon a raid boss and it's a literal raid boss. Like you, you ask that thing to attack a player, it nukes the player down. It's, it's amazing. And it nukes the mobs down. It's really, really strong. But that's not overpowered. And it's not overpowered because mages can see, see you for one minute. You can be locked, unable to do a single thing for one minute. Which sounds overpowered. But it's not overpowered because death knights can summon 50 mobs to fight on their side. Which sounds overpowered. But it's not overpowered because druids can actually fulfill all roles. As a druid, I can be a DPS, range DPS, healer and a tank at the same time. Which sounds overpowered, but it's oh. not because of everything else. See, that's what I mean. Like, instead of nerfing things, you need to buff those things up so they're all amazing. Like, okay, right now we have a normal bow meta. Instead of nerfing normal bow, they've done the right thing right now by adding a new weapon line that actually feels much cooler to play than normal bow. When this weapon line becomes too strong, you could nerf it or you could make it much cooler. Yeah, or, or make another weapon line, I mean much cooler. You could bring back the assassin playstyle of dead givers or of daggers in general. You could do a lot of different things to make the weapon lines that are not being played feel cooler rather than make everything feel um, worse. 
Like they should so stop nerfing. Is, make everything kind of OP. Make so everything kind of OP. OP. Exactly. Everything's cool. Exactly, exactly. Because there's basically two ways of achieving balance. Let's say you have 10 items in the game and one item is strong. Now the easy way out is to make the strong item less strong, to nerf it. That's the easy way because then you have to work only on one item. The hard way is to take all nine other items and make them just as strong. Now again, you have to work nine times more because there's nine times more items. But ultimately, it's going to create a better game. Because right now, think about it like this. Yeah. Almost all of the games, I mean, almost all of the weapons in Albion kind of feel the same. And in Corrupted Dungeons, this is more obvious because basically, if you're playing a certain weapon and your enemy plays another certain weapon, if that weapon counters you, there's not much you can do. Yep. Like, if I go if I go with a Hellspawn staff, the Imp staff, against a Fire staff user or a Curse staff user, I'm dead. Like, it doesn't matter how good of a player I am. It doesn't matter how much I outplay my opponent. It doesn't matter. I'm dead. You know? That's true. Mm. Somebody it's, it's more about counters, really, rather than being better. Somebody said say. something really interesting in uh, in my chat. And Lopius, that's a very good point. If everything is overpowered, nothing is overpowered. But that's good, because you don't want overpowered stuff. And you can achieve mm. non-overpowered stuff by nerfing everything to the point in which nothing is overpowered. Or you can make it, uh, let's say the current weapons are overpowered. You can make the, uh, you can make um, those weapons be less overpowered and be more balanced by making everything else overpowered. Because you have so many things and so many options and so many cool things that you could do that you basically have to choose between cool things. Right now we have to choose the thing that works. Like that's how the meta is established. You have to choose, okay, nothing works except this. So I'm gonna play that. Nothing works except this. I, I'm just going to play that and I'm just going to engage with that. Yeah, that's true. And and like the player base is not at fault as well. It's like if you're using, if you want to use something else other than the meta, that's just, you know, Corrupted Dungeons. You want to create something cool, uh, except uh, and you don't want to be a meta slave, as they call it. Oh yeah, you are going to have a very difficult time. It's not, absolutely. It's not. We're not saying like you're not going to win. You're going to win much less. You're probably going to have more fun, but you're going to have like a twenty percent win rate rather than a 60, 70, 80 if you're using the meta. But you are unique, though. I have the best yeah, example for this. Two or twenty percent. Oh yeah, no, I absolutely agree with you. I have the best example for this, and you know it because we've done it together. So do you remember when we did Hellgates with Iron Root? And when I swap to, to Holy for the first time. So chat, hear me out. Why don't people play Iron? It's because it's weak. It's because the Holy is stronger. No, hear me out. To pull off your rotation with Iron Root, here's what you have to do. You have to pre-stack on the ally two stacks. Not three stacks, two stacks. Pre-stack on yourself the same two stacks. Now, you don't want to do QQ Burnstone, QQ Mogden. No, you want to do Q Burnstone, Q Mogden, Q Burnstone, Q Mogden. It's very important that you maintain this order. After you've done that, uh, you want to hold your E spell on the ally player. So, uh, because if you do that, it's not actually going to have a cooldown. Now, why the ally player and not yourself? Because if you choose the ally player first, you're going to be able to target yourself with Alt E. If you choose yourself first, you're not going to be able to target your ally with F1 or by clicking on his name. You're actually going to have to manually target the ally. Okay, if you get into a tough uh, fight, you activate your E that's on your ally, you drag it on yourself, you activate another Q staff, or Q stack, uh, sorry, Q stack on the first person that you've stacked up, then on the second person, you wait for those stacks to somewhat run out, and then you press W, which is the cleansing W that cleanses the third stack right before it runs out, and you can basically reapply it, thus healing the ally for a lot. Now, all of that to achieve some pretty nice heals. You know what you need to do for holy staffs to achieve the same exact thing or even actually more heals? press q you just press q like, that's all you have to do you just press q and it's stronger than what i've said so far it's much stronger than what i've said so far you see what i mean <laughs> like, and that's a that's a problem with the entirety of the game and and to had add to check, your had point, to point um with the uh, hey thank you so much grand they can just join us on twitch we're doing a podcast you. right now and that's it 
He uh, just bought the link. If you're linked, he did all Oh, the they just bought... Exactly. And they just bought you. Just bought yeah. it. And like, yeah, that's it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> like, the effort, that's it. And you know why, what I think is the root of the problem? And this might... Uh, okay, this might stir up a controversy in the chat, but hear me out. I, I, I feel like I have a good point for this. So the root of this problem are mobile players. Not actual, the, like not actually the players themselves. I love the fact that Albion is crossplay. I feel like all MMOs should give you the option to play even on your smart fridge if you want. But the problem is that this game was designed with mobile in mind. And you can only do so much on a mobile device. You can only have so many accessibility options on a mobile device. You can only have so many inputs on a mobile device. Think about World of Warcraft designed on mobile. It wouldn't work. And it wouldn't work not because the game is complicated, because the game has in-depth features that actually require multiple different keys, multiple different things, multiple different actions. Yes. I'm talking about retail World of Warcraft. I'm talking about the classic version, which was a very simple game. You just see the boss, attack the boss until the boss dies. If the boss attacks you harder, you're gonna die first, so you need a healer. Healer heals you up so the boss does not kill you. It's a very, very easy and straightforward game. But it has depth. And it's a type of depth that mobile games cannot have by design because there's only so much that a mobile graphics card can pull through there's only so much that um, a mobile game can do for pvp there's only so much now i feel like with the last update and this is my favorite thing about the last update i feel like they took a step in the right direction because i, I don't know okay hear me out you right now you're playing with uh, a mouse to move right yes can you switch for a second to WASD for the next boss fight and tell me how you feel about this? W I tried it. It was weird. It was weird with the staff? It was really weird. But isn't it much easier for the staff? No, it, it was weird. No? I tried it again, like a couple of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. For it's me, not, it's not a night and day difference. Of, not because of the, the system itself. Because I'm not really... It's like a, a skill issue for me. Like I was, I was just oh, totally maybe you're used really... to, yeah, I see what you mean. No, I totally get it because for me, I'm the opposite. Like, I'm used to WSD, but I'm curious about okay, people in the chat, if you tried to play the new shapeshifter weapon line with mouse to move and then you swap to WSD, don't you feel like this weapon line is made for WSD? Like, when I tried to play it with mouse to move, don't get me wrong, until they've added WSD, I only played with mouse to move because that was the only option. Um, and uh, like, I know how to play with the, with mouse to move. But this weapon line feels almost unplayable with mouse to move because there's so many things that you need to manage. There's so many things that you have to pay attention to. There's so many buttons that you have to press. It's basically impossible to play this with mouse to move, like with click to move or on mobile. Now, of course, they can add some accessibility features like auto target and stuff like that. But what I'm trying to say is that they've designed a weapon line that has that depth built in. And therefore, it's very hard to play it on mobile or on uh, mouse to move. I guess it very much depends how you're used to this, but for me, like, whenever I tried to play this with mouse to move, I couldn't hit a single thing because you have to move everywhere. While on WSD, it just feels like second nature, it's so easy to play this. I'm really curious if people in the chat want to try this and if they're somewhat used to WSD, I'm really curious to see their, uh, their perspective on this. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm trying to say, like, they, they try to change the design philosophy, which is this game should be playable on mobile, and actually added something in depth for PC players, a weapon in which skill actually levels uh, levels up your gameplay, a, a weapon that can kill anything. There's nothing that can actually mess up this weapon if you're a good player, because you're gonna know how to manage your cooldowns, you're gonna know how to manage your um, um, resources and stuff like that. Look, I have a lot of people in the chat that are saying they're on mobile. How do you feel on a scale of 1 to 10 about the difficulty of playing this weapon? 1 is just as easy as normal bow. Uh, 10 is unplayable. How do you feel about this? Like, if you tried any of the new weapons? <clears throat> I'm really curious to see, to see this. But yeah, and I feel like it's a step in the right direction because <clears throat> right now the game is a little bit too tethered towards mobile players, which again, it's not bad. It's really not bad. They should have a good game and Albion is an amazing game on mobile. But at the same time, I don't think, I don't think that should mean sacrificing on depth. And I feel like they are. Sacrificing on, on death. That's an interesting uh, interesting take on... Uh, Again, I might be wrong about this. Yeah, I might be wrong about this. Maybe it's just my subjective opinion on this because I love WSD. I'm trying to separate my opinion on this, but at the same time, 
might not be successful at doing that. I, I'm willing to change my mind. But for me, it feels like um, the last weapon line was designed to add more depth to the game. That's kind of what it feels to me. It was designed to, yeah. to just make, uh, give a reward to players that are playing on PC. While not punishing the players that are playing on mobile. Like, it's basically... Uh, they're adding depth into the game, not by changing the game that's making it unplayable on mobile, like it would be World of Warcraft. They're changing the game by adding some device-specific items, if you want. You know, like some items. And if you think about it, it always, it, it was always like that. Like, we've always had weapons that are easy to play on mobile and easy to play on PC. Uh, the weapons that are easy to play on PC might be hard to play on mobile. The weapons that are easy to play on mobile are very easy to play on PC. Like, normal bow on PC is incredibly easy. Uh, dead givers on PC are eh, decently hard. Dead givers on mobile are unplayable for the most part. Like it's very hard to pull to pull it off. While normal bow on mobile is very easy to play. But right now they seem like they fully committed to this. Like they fully committed that actually adding more depth into the game, and I really like that. I spent a total of two hours of this game. You can uh, no, you can you can tell me your opinion. I'm yeah, actually very curious very, about that. Very interesting. Um, th these are like great discussions, and to someone who is just you know listening for the very first time, it may seem like we hate the game. <laughs> oh, absolutely <laughs> not! Don't. I love this game. I love this game, <laughs> we especially. Absolutely don't. This is the only game that allows yeah. me to stay perma invis. I love this. I'm never gonna hate this. It's amazing. <clears throat> There you go. And uh, again, to those who are just listening, we, there are a lot of like suggestions and to some ears, it may seem like complaints. But I think you resets it and start. Hey, yes, see what I mean? Um, in this but game, normal bow? We, we love playing this normal bow is much easier. Every single day for hours on end. Yo, what's up? We, we stream it. Uh, we <laughs> Welcome fellow Romanian. We just want this game to be uh, to reach its full potential, I would say because I feel like everyone who's playing MMORPG should give M uh, Albion Online a shot. Oh yeah, Albion is a great game. It actually, it's really good. For real. Like, Albion is an amazing game. And um, uh, what people need to understand is that right now, we basically became more than players. We're more invested into this game than the average player. We're content creators for this game. Yes. Uh, we have this game tied into our career future and stuff like that. We very much care about the health of the game. So whenever I'm criticizing the game or uh, Burnstone is criticizing the game, we're always criticizing it from a place of love. Uh, my take on SBI yes. and of the company that makes this game, in my opinion, we're blessed to have an amazing development team. Now, they make a lot of mistakes. They make a lot of stupid mistakes but so do we. If I was a developer, I would be the one making the same stupid mistakes or even worse mistakes. And I feel like what matters is that we understand that SBI loves this game and, and is passionate about this game. And hear me out, it might seem like something's more, but that word, passion, is something that's not really present in modern day MMOs, unfortunately. And this MMORPG, mm. with all its problems, with all its shortcomings, with all of its stupid mistakes that the devs are doing, still has that. We still have passion in Albion Online. We still have passion among SBI. And in my opinion, that's amazing. And you see that type of passion. Like, you see how they're trying to fix different things in the game. You see how they're dropping hotfixes after the hotfixes. You know, uh, there's two different types of developers. There's Blizzard developers, which are just trying to squeeze as much money for as long as they can until their, their game inevitably dies. And they're kind of gave up on their game, unfortunately. And then there's No Man's Sky developers, which, yes, they messed up. Yes, they lied. Yes, they basically absolutely just made up the whole presentation about the initial game. Initial No Man's Sky launch was absolutely horrendous. But look at them now. And I feel like that's closer to SBI uh, than, um, than it would be to compare them with Blizzard. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I, I love this game. I genuinely love this game. And do you think um, with all of these, with all of these updates, because we always have to look at things from different perspectives. Oh yeah, uh, oh yeah. Blizzard and other companies that you just mentioned, they have more developers than Albion Online. Oh, uh, for sure. I heard SBI has 150 employees. Not developers. Wow. Not, not um, content creators or anything. 150 employees. Yeah, they need to fix that ASAP. And, they need to fix that ASAP. Yeah. That's the biggest problem. 
Yeah, so if you think about it though, all of the updates, all of the game changes, everything that we've seen done by 150 people, that includes HR, I'm assuming, that includes audio design, that includes the janitorial staff, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah. All right, 150 employees making this game run and run as it is right now is amazing if mm. you think about it. To be honest, like with, all, with all of the changes that we've seen, with all of the patches that we've seen, with all of the new ideas that we've uh, experienced right now, truly is uh, amazing if you think about it. With, to, with that perspective, that they only have 150. To be honest, I kind of disagree, uh, and I'm gonna use an, an analogy to to tell you why. So I used to be in a band. I used to be in a music band. We used to do like uh, concerts at different weddings and stuff like that. So, so let's just say somebody calls us. Uh, I can actually tell you a true story. So we went and had to play in a club. And in the club, we realized that our drummer was not coming. Like all of a sudden, the band did not have a drummer. And the drummer is the central piece. We managed to pull it off and stuff like that. But let's just imagine we didn't pull it off. The people wouldn't be like, ah, oh, poor guys, they didn't have a drummer. Man, at least they tried. Such a good uh, band. They, they would be like, no, this band sucks. Oh, but wait, wait, don't I say see. that. The, the band did not have a drummer. No, I don't care. You had a job. You didn't do your job. Uh, your band sucks. Now, I very much agree that for the team size, it's impressive and nice. But at the same time, what does SBI have to do? Uh, they have to make a good game. If they cannot make that good game because they have 10 people working on it, okay, get more people working on this absolutely get more people working on this now i know that might be something that holds them back for financial reasons and stuff like that but ultimately i feel like albin is producing quite a lot of money nowadays uh so i feel like oh, they could I, I feel like it yeah absolutely and even if it's uh, oh. i mean uh, le let me see i think i i think i googled this at some point and i was able to find it uh let me see sandbox interactive Let me see, Sandbox Interactive. Um, uh, okay, so I found, ah, but I'm, I want to find like a monthly or something like that. Let me see. Oh, maybe I need to look for, um, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, so check this out. Sandbox Interactive, what, oh no, wait, this is uh, the steal from the acquisition. I see that SBI was purchased for $130 million. Uh, but I want to see... Actually. Yeah, there's a lot of money. Mm, let me see if I can find this. Maybe I should look for a steel front. Oh yeah, maybe maybe they have it on their. Because um, steel front owns uh, SBI. Revenue report. Okay, so in 2022, steel front made 47 million dollars. In 2022, just one year. Let me let me show this on the stream as well the in case. Thing? The yeah. entire company? The entire company, like Steelfront, uh made um let me, let me open it up on the stream as well. Kinda low, no? Oh, uh, I don't think so actually. Because the primary game that they have is actually Albion. Oh, like really? if you go yeah. They have the 
Oh, I thought Albion Online or SBI with the acquisition of Stilford was like like an additional thing, not like the main thing. Oh no, look at this. So this is uh, the featured games, the featured games that they have. Albion Online, Big Farm Mobile Harvest, Beat Life, Conflict of Nations, uh, Good Game Empire, Hollywood Story, Home Design Makeover, Imperia Online. Yeah, like uh, I've never heard of any of those games. No. Never. Like, the only big game that they have is Albion. So, I would, again, I'm not sure how many of their funds are actually going towards Albion, but a good business decision would actually be to invest more in the main game. And I think the main game right now is Albion. Now, again, somebody in chat is raising a very good point. Uh, the money that I've talked about, like $47 million in 2022, is actually the whole money that they've made. This is not the profit that they've had. Yes. Like, they, they had to invest in different yes. games and stuff like that. But then you got to understand that Albion is one of the things that actually consumes from the profit. So, so this is one of the things that they actually... Like, one of their monthly... Um, uh, spendings one of their monthly spendings has to probably go towards albion online so what i'm trying to say with this is that on paper at least albion should have the budget for stuff like this albion should definitely have the budget for hiring more employees and stuff like that now the only reason why that might not be the case and i totally understand because again they're not the only ones doing this might be corporate greed and again i get it i i still very much feel weird about the fact that albion is tied up with mobile harvest you know what I mean? Like I, I didn't, I, I didn't even think about Mobile Harvest last time I played Albion, but I mean, it is what it is. I, I don't blame SBI. Like I totally understand why they, why they sold the the company and stuff like that, and the game itself, or actually the company, because I feel like Sandbox Interactive was uh, was bought. Uh, yes. But at the same time, I do feel like they're sorry about that now. I, I don't know, but I do feel like they're sorry about that decision now. Oh, you think so? I think so. I think so. Yeah, because I feel like most of the decisions that are made right now might actually come from the point of the big boy uh, steel front group is not giving us enough money to actually create the updates that we need because the money is there. Like 47 million. Okay, how much can you spend on actually developing the game? I get it. It's a lot. But come on, how much? Like 47 mil? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's it, they no, probably made see, way see. more than they actually spent. Because otherwise, they wouldn't be doing it. Like, if it's not profitable, they wouldn't do it anymore. I don't think they're making Albion a good game just so that they can uh, be like, Oh, look, we made a great game for free. <laughs> you know what I mean? A good game for free, look at this. Yeah, exactly. We, we're not winning anything out of this. We're actually paying ourselves. Nah, I don't believe that. <laughs> it's clear that it's profitable. That is interesting. Hmm. Somebody in chat is saying 2.4 million a month. Oh, wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? Let me see. Wait, no, this is like 47. 47 is like that per month, I think they're saying. Albion is not a passion project. Oh, no, I do think Albion is a passion project. But Albion Online made from Sandbox Interactive is a passion project. Albion Online bought by Steelfront. I don't think it's any more... Uh, I don't think it's any longer a passion project. Right now, it's a money-making thing. For SBI... Albion will always be their baby. You see the passion in the development of the game itself. But for Steelfront, it's just another money maker. Like, again, you gotta think about who we're talking about. If we're talking about Albion, uh, I mean, uh, SBI, I think Albion is their baby and is their passion project. But if we talk about Steelfront, Albion is just one money maker that they will ultimately drop if it doesn't make enough money. Because Steelfront is not passionate about the game. Uh, not Steelfront, sorry. Oh, no, yeah, Steelfront. SBI is passionate about the game. Steelfront is just, they've just acquired this. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They definitely saw the value, but I, I get what you're saying um, that they're not going to be as passionate as oh yeah as SBI is ever going to be. Not even close. And Which ultimately, is, you know, and ultimately, if if they are making the decisions for the game, well then the decisions are not going to be very passionate. Now I don't think they are making the decisions. I think I think basically the way this works again, I have no idea. It's just basically okay. You do your thing. We just bought you. Like, okay, we're going to do the big calls, but you still develop. It's still your project. You do whatever you want. But ultimately, if we want to pull the plug, we can pull the plug because it's our game. You just work for us. Like, But you're still doing your thing. Uh, because that's usually how this type of thing works as far as I know. As far as I know. So it's still Albion. Um, uh, it's still SBI in charge. But the money is probably all coming from Steelfront. And ultimately, okay, you might be very passionate about something, but passion will not create a good game passion with money will create a good game 
You know what I mean? Like passion alone won't be enough. If I'm passionate about my job and I have five viewers, okay, passion won't feed anybody. You know what I mean? Like it's just, okay, yeah, it's nice that I'm passionate. It's nice that I love it, but it's not all that needs to be there. And uh, yeah. That's interesting. So, so what I'm trying to say uh, and uh, what I've been trying to say with uh, this whole little rant and stuff like that, I I'm saying basically that, okay, it's nice that SBI has 100 employees, but it's clear that it's not enough. Or maybe it would be enough with some, uh, I, I don't know, different things implemented so that it would be enough, like some better management or something, but it's not enough. Look at the decisions that they've made on the content creator side of things. Look at the decisions that they've made on the game side of things. Get me started with that. Yeah, like that's what I mean. Like so far, point one good decision in the last year. And I, I'm genuinely thinking about this. I, I don't know. And I'm saying that from a place of love. Like I, I love this game. It's a shame. But there's not a single actual good decision made in the last game. Who's gonna read YouTube chat? I'm gonna read YouTube chat reading more. I see both chats. I, so I really, um because we definitely have um balancing is a beast of its own oh yeah absolutely we have the develop development point of view they have the oh yeah roadmap. they see it as developers oh yeah but for sure the nice thing about this is uh i have actually personal experience with this with the creator side and develop not the developer side but i was playing a game called battle bay and we were that was a small company oh that's well, awesome it was made by rovio rovio but like the the angry birds thing. oh i see oh that's it awesome like that. yeah it was a game under that company and we met with the developers uh, we talked to the developers and it was clear like we met them irl it was clear that they were looking at this from a completely different point of view like completely oh yeah As oh a yeah developer, it seems like you don't see the game as or how the basically the the players see the game oh yeah it's absolutely a different world absolutely that's why i think there is this disconnect there's this disconnect between let's just say players developers and even in the eyes of like content creators oh for you know sure I mean? for sure it, it, it's different and I, I think that is why there is this disconnect like players would say like i would say personally i would like oh I, I like corrupted dungeons i love corrupted dungeons i play it every single day there are maps for everything solo dungeon group dungeon hellgate oh yeah there yeah exactly where is the corrupted dungeon map it's, yeah i technically it shouldn't be difficult to create oh yeah why are they not creating corrupted dungeon maps they may have reasons like okay if you create corrupted dungeon maps will it um be fun it will be fun <laughs> we cannot have that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <but> it would... <laughs> not go with their open world idea of the game will it create um or take away uh, players from other contents that they want to prioritize in the game but as a player i'm like corrupted dungeon maps yeah That's exactly easy way i feel like ultimately they should just like okay I, I don't know about developing like i i don't think oh, and this might be another hot take but i do think that developers should absolutely not listen to the players because players have no idea what they're talking about like okay if, if i hire a plumber and the plumber starts asking me for my opinion i'm gonna be like bro i don't know you're the plumber like you just do your job you just, i have no idea what you need to do you know like uh, we have the tendency <laughs> no but for real like we have the tendency to say oh man we are the players they should listen to us no they should take into consideration what we're saying evaluate it and come up with an answer they shouldn't just be like oh yeah the players said that let's go for it uh the players voted oh, on that let's go for it they should like i don't don't want you to get me wrong maybe i said it in a very straightforward way like they shouldn't ignore us but they shouldn't just take everything we say at face value but that goes Absolutely. both ways so for example okay we have content managers and we love our content managers they're great people but i'm just saying why is a person oh let me use another example um there are zvz players in the round table or there were zvz players in the round table that were basically designing the meta for corrupted dungeons why not have corrupted dungeon players yeah yeah you didn't know that 
the the um, yeah. round table this is the most surprising thing it blew my mind when i learned about it because i didn't know about it either until a while ago so in the round table okay. the people making calls were zvz players that's why all the corrupted dungeon things were actually bad because they had no idea what they were doing like, it's kind of like i do the meta for um uh, Hellgates. I don't play Hellgates. Like, I'm not supposed to be the one doing the meta for this. That's why recently they opened up the round table to everybody. And right now everybody can uh, can be there for the most part. They want people from all different types of content. Now, the thing is... I forgot to apply to that. Oh, I don't want to apply to that because if I do, I'm going to have a very hard time not revealing everything that I learned over there. Okay, I'm a, actually... Yeah, it's going to be very hard. <laughs> Uh, and the That's same thing, revealing, but like talking like, about oh, it, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly, yeah, or making my speculation videos, pretending that I don't know what's yeah. coming, like, ah, maybe there's a necromancer staff, I don't know, oh, I, I really thought it was a necro, post, yeah, this. <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting, okay, mm. uh, and the thing is, uh, the same thing applies to other things, so for example, look, we have content managers, who would be a better content manager than the most popular content creator? No, not content manager, sorry, um, community manager. Who would be the best community manager except the most popular content creator? Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. Gankers. Gankers, 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 gankers. gankers. Yes. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, they're going on you? You good? Oh, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. You're kind of shizzy, actually. Oh, that's perfect. So who would be a better match for the content manager role than a content creator? Like the biggest, con the most loved content creator. You know what I mean? Like uh, for the same reason, I wouldn't be good at balancing Hellgates. A person that's not engaging with the community on a daily basis would not be good at managing the community. You know, and it's not yeah, like, true. it's not because he's a bad person. It's not because uh, he doesn't know what he's saying. No, it's just because you don't have the experience. I, I, I mean, I'm not a good plumber. Not because I'm an evil guy, because I'm not a good plumber. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Who, Fakturka, Jack, content manager, really? No, hear what I'm saying. The most love content creator. That's the thing. The the most love content creator. So uh, I would be thinking about, let's say, Coco. I would be thinking about Equat. Uh, uh, not the most watched content creator. The most loved content creator. The one that represents the community the most. And it can be a. Uh, 50 viewer Andy or a 900 viewer Andy. It can be anybody. But mm -hmm. the person that is most loved by the overwhelming majority of people. And how do you determine who's the most loved? You let people vote. You let people vote. The most popular. Oh, I said the most popular. No, I meant most popular in like the eye of the people, not in terms of the numbers themselves. Sorry if I said the most popular. I meant popular like loved, not popular like um, a lot of people. Because anybody can be popular. You just you you just embed <laughs> install like straight up install the twitch tracker uh, uh, no the twitch stats by stream charts add-on and you're gonna see so many embedders in albion category like no numbers don't say a thing right now you need to have yeah, the people's true. love i think they they sbi did um did a good thing with the round table though like opening it up to um to other SB, uh, um, so you probably, probably win. Yeah, well, the thing everyone. with that is that they Where could choose. Like SBI has the freedom uh, to choose. So they could be like, no, not this guy. Can come together and influence. Not really like make decisions, but like influence how SBI's uh, game is going to move forward in the future. Hmm. I, I guess yeah. It's kind. Of, it's kind of a weird thing. Like I'm really curious to see. Um, who exactly is making those decisions? Because look, I, I, I'm about to drop another hot take. And again, nothing against the person. I'm just uh, commenting the role itself. We have a person right now doing the balance for the game. Now, is the game balanced? Has it ever been balanced in the last two years? Mm, At which no. point do you pick another person to do the balancing? Because oh, it needs to happen. Okay. Like, it needs to happen. It's clear. Like, again, it's not no hate towards the person, but I'm just like, okay, if uh, going back to my example, if I, I guess I just love plumbers. If I am a plumber and I break every single pipe, at what point do I stop being called a plumber? Like, at one point, am I like, okay, Mogdan, you're a plumber, you're doing a great job, but you see, you broke a lot of pipes, it doesn't work. If I'm an architect and I keep on crashing buildings on top of people, at which point do I get revoked the right to be an, an architect? You know what I mean? 
Mm. Like, he's just, okay. I have, a, I have a counterpoint to that. Um, because we talked about this uh, in the past. All right. What if the game itself, the game itself right now, is... I mean, again, it can be retro, man. It can be anybody. I'm not talking about the person. I'm talking about the role. The person is great, but the role is not being fulfilled. He can to balance the game the way that he is most definitely like limited to. Okay. Because yeah. No. Of course. Talk about real balance. Let's make it different stats for different content. And oh yeah. We'll have an easier job balancing it. So I'm thinking, what if this guy, whoever this guy is, it whoever this guy is, whoever is like in charge of balancing things, is like doing his best and he's the best for the job. It's just that the game itself cannot be balanced in a in a sense that everyone or like majority of the players are going to be happy. Well, to be honest, I'm going back to my to my band analogy. We messed up the concert because the drummer didn't show up not a single person blamed the drummer everybody blamed us everybody was like okay yeah i understand the drama didn't show up it is what it is but it's your fault it's your band you should have done it i mean again we pulled it off that didn't happen but if it did happen if if we did actually not have a backup plan and if we actually did because that was a situation that would absolutely messed up would have messed up the concert but we didn't because we have a backup so we if we didn't uh prepare for that everybody would blame us like okay yes i understand there's probably different circumstances and balancing is not just something that you can do in the balancing uh, client let's say you it's related to all different aspects of the game but at the same time whose job is it you know like okay let's say i i am hired so, so hear me out let's say that all of a sudden i receive a letter from nasa being like mogden we want to hire you i've never applied i have no idea what i'm supposed to do uh, I, I i don't know anything if i accept a job well i need to do it or i get kicked out of it if i don't do it nobody's gonna look at me and be like oh man but he's trying oh man yeah man he's trying his best you know he's really no i need to i need to build a rocket <laughs> if i build a rocket and it explodes it's on me and i can be like yeah but you gave me the wrong fuel you should have checked yeah but i'm not qualified you should have said so you would have hired somebody else oh yeah but you see it's harder than it looks we know it's hard like again i'm not saying that like i i, I want to make this clear i wouldn't do a better job i would be a thousand times worse <laughs> at doing this but that's why i'm not hired that's why it's not me because i know i would do a horrible job and i'm like no i couldn't do this either because the game is unbalanceable or uh, i just wouldn't do a good job or whatever other reason because it it comes down you know like survival of the fittest that's it and i'm not saying that we shouldn't have empathy like again i feel like the guy that's doing this or the the team that's doing this is honestly doing this from the praise of love towards the game but love affection sunshine and rainbows won't make the game good good systems would make the game good and they need to add those good systems because we cannot just you know what i mean like we cannot be like ah, i imagine that the game is balanced no i don't want to imagine i want to see it <laughs> you know what i mean I want to see it balanced. Yeah, it's the, <laughs> yeah. I, it, it, it gives me another... another yeah, the game shouldn't be in a perfectly like balanced example. state. No, absolutely. Uh, but not as unbalanced as right with, now. With hair. Okay. And you were tasked... The task of balancing the game can be similar to or compared to... All right, a ball as hair. Imagine a hairy ball. Not that kind of ball. Nice. Ball. A basketball. I have and those. You were tasked. <laughs> you were tasked to comb all hairs at the uh, like around the ball, basically, in the same direction. It is mathematically impossible to do that. It's something that if you comb the the, the hair in one direction, there are always going to be like a point where it is not um, the same as the other parts of the ball. Well, so yes. I'm thinking maybe I'm not saying that it, like it's that impossible to balance SBI. We basically have an idea already. I don't know how difficult it is to implement, but we have an idea already of creating different stats for different types of content in this game. And it will 100%, I would say, will balance the game oh yeah oh yeah get close to like balanced 
like far from where what we have now but what is stopping sbi from doing that is there a system that the hairy balls <laughs> sorry so i had to say that the hairy ball theory <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I totally see what you mean. I totally see what you mean. That is preventing them from doing it. You know? Is well, there a system that's preventing them from doing it? Probably there is. Because I do feel like they want this balance. At, at the same time, uh, we don't need perfect balance. Like, okay, hear me out. I, I've, uh, I've had some fun with this analogy lately. You know uh, about the Swore Benji Ban situation? Not gonna drift yes, into that direction, yes. but but yeah. So people were like, "Oh wait, no, 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 wait! Uh, he was uh, banned for PVPing in a PVP zone. Oh, oh, stream sniping. What constitutes stream sniping? There was there was a whole debate on my stream to what actually constitutes stream sniping. Like, okay, can a streamer just say right now, "Hey, I've been stream sniped," and the person gets banned? And I was like, okay, hear me out, guys. We do need to establish some clear rules for this. Kind of like, let's say, all of a sudden, we're all like, okay, you cannot have shop objects anymore like that's a law passed on the whole planet you can no longer hold sharp objects or or objects that you can hurt people with that's a better example you can no longer uh, hold objects that can hurt people with okay what's an object that you can hurt people with well there's the obvious ones like the guns the daggers and stuff like that but you can hurt somebody with a spoon so do you ban that Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, you can hurt people with a f with a spork uh, that also deals emotional damage because what on earth is a spork? It's an abomination, basically. But uh, you can hurt people with that. So do you ban that? Like there there are some nuances that come to this. But at the same time, right now, okay, while we're discussing those nuances and everything, my dude Swar Benji is wielding a rocket launcher. You know what I mean? Like he made a Discord for stream sniping. Okay, I understand. I don't know if you can hurt a person with a spoon or a spark or something, but you can surely do that with a rocket launcher. So, okay, we have that discussion after we ban that guy. You know what I mean? And it's the yeah. same thing here. It's the same thing here. Like, okay, yes, there's always going to be that little hair on the ball that just doesn't want to get combed. And it also kind of hurts, but it is what it is. Uh, the thing is... <laughs> the thing is... <laughs> the thing is if we have just one hair that's fine but right now if you go on murder ledger and you check out the stalker meta bro there's just hunter hoods and hunter hood that's not even the worst part blade boots blade boots are worse everybody's using blade boots yes like everybody was paying attention to the hunter boots or the hunter hood but if you actually go and look at the shoes every single person in the meta is using let me show you this 9.9 percent yeah, and this is insane, like, uh, again, uh, it's very much something appropriate to talk about, like, different nuances in the balance and stuff like that. But right now, we're so far away from that. Look at this. It's insane. So I go into build stats. I get shown an ad. <laughs> oh, wait. While you're already uh, looking at it, uh, Look at let me just run to the washroom. Like, wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. Sure, 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 sure. Oh, and by the way, uh, before that, uh, when are we going to wrap up? Oh, I think he ran. Burn doing a big PP right now. And burn chat hearing me when I say this. It is what it is. Listen, you can almost hear him. Shh. Yeah, that's nice. Wash your hands, Burnstone. I see you. Nasty. Alright, sorry about that. <laughs> so look at this. It's only played boots. Only played boots. Like, yeah, Hunter Hood is bad. But look at the boots. <laughs> it's so bad. And again, there it's worth discussing nuances and stuff like that. But right now, it's played boots online, Hunter, uh, Hunter Hood online. And uh, soon enough, it's going to be Shapeshifter online. So, yeah. You know, I'm very happy that uh, SBI made an exam. I mean, no, wait, I'm not happy about it, but it's what needed to happen. It's what needed to happen. I'm back, I'm back, sorry. Welcome back, welcome back. Did oh, hi. Did you look at the murder ledger? Oh, uh, yes, yes, it's plate boots online. Basically, plate boots online. And again, like, it's worth having discussions about, let's say, the nuances of the balance and stuff. But right now it's played boots online like there's not a single other pair of shoes that are actually being used 
And um, and it, it goes back to your point. It it actually does go back to your point with like the balancing and like changing things, because this still comes after they nerfed plate boots. They actually did, but there's no other option other than plate boots. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh my god, I'm getting smacked. Right? There's no other option that gives you um, a better playstyle than the, the plate boots. I feel like, yeah, that's the problem. Because they nerfed everything so much that right now the only viable option are basically plate boots. Yeah. Again, it goes back again to your point earlier. Like, if you nerf everything... Yeah, exactly. Everything is going to be boring. The way to go. Like, buff everything, make everything OP, so nothing is OP, but everything's fun. That's the thing. Like, they need to keep it fun. They really need to keep it fun. And uh, look at even what we were doing so far. So we've done this for like one hour, one hour and a half. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I did actually, yeah, I actually did make some money. I have 700k on me, but still 700k per two hours. It's not that great, but you have 180k. Oh, man. 180K. Oh, wow. And no artifacts. So, yeah, I think they dropped the ball in that specific... Um... That specific decision where, yes, they increase the the tracking activity mobs, but no artifacts, kind of... Eh. Yeah, it's a bad decision. It's a very bad decision. I, I, I thought they would go the same route as they did with, uh, with the artifacts of the mist, mist artifacts where every single one is guaranteed yeah that should be that should be it for the group ones i think that's the case right now but only for the group ones oh really for the group ones yeah i feel like uh they've made like a eight? yeah yeah they made a hot fix um right now they removed the extra mobs so the extra two mobs that were added on top just to populate the area they, they got removed and on top of that They've made it so that every single mob will drop creature-specific uh, uh, resources. That's what that's what they call them. Uh, and as far as I know, the creature-specific resources do not refer to the animal remains; refer to the um, like what we call artifacts, basically. You're robotic right now. Is it is it me or? Oh, what? Sorry. You you sounded like a robot for like ten seconds there. For... Oh, for real? Uh, no, am I good? Is everything alright now? Yeah, it's, it's still right now. A little bit. Oh, uh, I'm not sure why. I don't know if that's me or... Let me let me uh, rejoin in a second. Not for the stream. Yeah, on the stream, people are saying that I sound fine. Maybe it's on a Discord thing. Let me let me close it and open it again. That's the classic Romanian way of fixing things. <laughs> All right. Is there it fixed? Oh, <laughs> oh, works like a charm. <laughs> Works like a job. <laughs> Close it and open it. All right. Go. There we go. Uh, Burnstone. By the way, I might not be able to stay live for for much much longer because today. Oh wait, oh, yeah, somebody yeah, yeah. raided. I just noticed that. When did that happen? Wait. Two minutes ago. Yo, somebody raided us two minutes ago and I didn't notice. Thank you so much for. Okay, uh, uh, give me a second. I need to give them an explanation for this. <laughs> Welcome chatters, welcome raiders. All right, I need to give you an explanation. It's a pretty straightforward explanation. Chat, this is my second screen. Look at this. <laughs> Let me explain what's going on. I'm right now multi-streaming on Twitch and YouTube. Here is the YouTube side of things. Here is the Twitch side of things. Here is the combined chat. Here are the OBS stats. Here's a window that's, by the way, separate because I want to see things in real time. Whereas if I look over here, it's actually going to have a delay, as you can see right there. Here, don't think this is meaningless. No, 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 no. Uh, where is it? This is voice mod that helps me keep track of my voice changers and everything. What I'm trying to say, I didn't see many things today, man. I'm so sorry about that. Thank you so much for the raid. And right now I'm doing also a podcast with Burnstone. Uh, thank you so much for the raid. And yeah, I really did not see it. I really did not see it. I really appreciate that. I see that you raided me three minutes ago. I drop you a whisper or something. I'm, I'm really sorry about that. I cannot believe that I missed it. Check this mother ledger. It shows turbo balance. Uh, what's the what's the mother ledger's uh, like the player's name? I'm kind of afraid to click links. I hope you understand. 
All right, Bernstein, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. I had to show them my second monitor, which is going insane right now. Because I'm also streaming on YouTube at the same time. And there's so many things and so many stats that I have to keep track of and everything. Yeah, the multi-streaming thing is the greatest thing ever. So, yeah. Uh, it's, like, overall, if I were to sum up, like, what I think about the update and everything, I really like it. But from a selfish perspective, like I am the 8 point, I mean, nowadays, the 8.3 bully that's running around in the open world and hunting people while I'm also hunting beasts. I mean, to be honest, I didn't actually get to run with the 8.3, but I was running with the 8.3 and stuff like that. I am the guy who's just uh, tracking people more than tracking beasts. I love the idea of ganking people while they do those creatures. I see groups of players doing different uh, mobs. And I know the mobs are strong, so I just go and engage on the groups of players and I, I do like 1vxs and stuff. So for me, this update is amazing. But from a new player's perspective, from the perspective of a person who just started playing the game and wants to get into the new cool weapon line, bro, it's impossible. And it's, it's really bad for new players in my opinion, because think about it. This update did not give anything to new players. And uh, when I realized that, it really, really struck me, because think about it. Oh, Mogden, but wait, you have the islands. No, you don't. It costs 26 million silver to level up an island to max level. Okay, maybe you don't level it to max level. It, then it costs 15 million silver to level it to a decent level to a point in which you can actually do some stuff with it. Oh, but okay, uh, we didn't have that, but we have the uh, tracking. Tracking is amazing. No, it's not. It's not available in the yellow zone and blue zone, which don't get me wrong. I don't play in the yellow zones and blue zones, but whether we like it or not, most players do. And if we want to target the new players, we got to also target those areas. So for a new player to go into the red zone or into the black zone, we know red zones are not that scary. We've been in the red zone this whole time and had zero problems outside of that gang squad trying to gank us totally unsuccessfully. That one time. Yeah, exactly. So we know it's not risky, but new players have no idea about that. So new players uh, avoid going into those... Um, uh, those things they, they don't avoid I mean they avoid going into the red zone or the black zone because of just simple new player fear which we all had at some point um, yes. then let's say the awakened items okay those are not even for all veteran players those are only for the richest of the rich so that means that this whole update did not give anything to the most important part of any player base which are the new players and the biggest part of the player base of Albion which are new players because like, there's more new yeah. players than veterans. Yeah, and and this is like a new thing as well. I know we've been playing this game for a very long time, and there's always uh, an update in like all of the updates. Almost always, there is something for solo players, new players. Oh all yeah. The time. Oh yes. This oh yeah. Is the first update I think that did not have any whatsoever. Which was uh, interesting. It's an interesting decision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's weird because not only the new players are important for the health of the game, but they're the biggest chunk. Mm -hmm. They're the biggest chunk right now. So, so they went and looked, okay, who are the most players? And they were like, okay, instead of making those players happy and make that a priority, we're going to aggro all of those new players. Like, instead of making the biggest chunk... Like, that's usually how you make decisions. Like, democracy. You just uh, basically make happy the biggest chunk because you can never make happy everybody you can never uh, fulfill everybody's dreams so you just fulfill some people's dreams like the the majority dreams you know the you just go for the majority basically but right now they yeah. actually went against the majority of the player base and again it doesn't affect me it doesn't affect you it's really cool for us but for new players this is a really bad system because guess what i i see how i kill them in the black zone <laughs> it's great <laughs> i love it <laughs> but yeah also, uh, I agree with that. At the same time, um, this, as, I, as you said, this is a refresh. It's also bad for casuals. Yes. Because as veteran players ourselves, we get to enjoy this. Like from a veteran's view, this was created almost like exclusively for us. And for new players as well, it, it just depends on your perspective and it depends on how you look at things. But uh you can look at this as they have no we absolutely need something to do in the open world we absolutely need uh, an open uh, world activity i agree with you it is uh that's a gargantuan goal to achieve but they basically upped the high end or the end game of 
of Albion Online in, in a big way, I would say. To be honest, I totally agree with you. Like, for us, the experience is huge. For us, the experience is huge. Like, it feels awesome. I love those weapons. They're hard to play. I love that. Like, I love the fact that they're hard to play. Uh, but at the same time, it feels weird to just look at this update and be like, okay, what did you get? Oh, I got awakened items, which are pretty good if you awaken 4.4 items. Oh, I got some open world content because a lot of players are actually going in the open world nowadays. Uh, oh, I also got some uh, islands and some customization and some things and so on and so forth. Okay, what did the new player get? Nothing. Like that, no. that right there just feels really weird. Like I feel like that's an artificial way of uh, of doing it. Yeah, exactly. Like, what did the like? I'm I'm all up for the fact that they kind of revamped the game for us. I love that. But it feels so weird to just look at the, you know, it's it's kind of like, okay, so it's Christmas and I'm getting all the gifts. It's awesome. I'm receiving all of the gifts, but ultimately after I have all my gifts in my hands and I, I just cannot feed them in my pockets anymore and I look at my, let's say, brother and he has nothing, it's going to feel bad. Like, it, it's not going to feel good. It's genuinely not going to feel good absolutely so that's kind of the thing right here like okay as end game players we're happy about this but ultimately absolutely. it feels really weird to just look and see that new players got nothing that's true that's true it's interesting oh someone just died beside us do you want to check that out oh nice Somebody in the chat is making a good point. Eventually, don't new players become veterans? Oh, there's a game card? No, no, no. no oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, somebody in the chat made a good point. Eventually, though, new players will become veterans. You need things for veterans too. Uh, also, you need to think about this. New players have the, um, the whole game as new content. Well, I agree and disagree at the same time. So, I agree with the fact that veterans need content. But I don't think they need all the content. Because right now, think about it. Mm. For new players, in the last few patches, what was the new player thing for um, for the last few patches? Well, we had the mists, which were for veteran players, like it's primarily for, for veteran players, but they also have a new player counterpart, which is not as much worth it as the black zone version. Like you can go in the yellow zone and yes, it's not going to be that good. You're not going to make that much money. It's not going to be that fulfilling. It's not going to be that fun, but you at least have it. You at least have it. With this, you have no option. And in the in the terms of in terms of the fact that um, uh, let me see he made another point at the end let me read it again so I remember uh, new players have the whole game as a content that's not actually true because think about it solo dungeons are not good for new players because they cannot actually um, I, I mean it's it's just boring solo dungeons are not good for anybody right now mists in the black zone are not good for new players because again it just doesn't work like you just meet an 8.4 sweat lord and that's it. Uh, corrupted dungeons are somewhat good for new players, but they get boring very fast. Uh, what else? Hellgates are not good for new players. It's probably one of the most gatekept content in the game, unfortunately. Hardcore Expedition, same. Avalonian Raid, same. Avalonian Roads, there would be good, but they're boring. Uh, what else? N I guess Nightfall Abbey. Nightfall Abbey is the best thing for new players. And look at how it's designed. It's designed to give content for everybody. If you're a veteran player, you get content out of it. If you're a new player, you still get content out of it. Mm -hmm. Because as a new player, you can run away through exits if you pay attention and you can escape the boogeyman. As the boogeyman, you can be the boogeyman, which is great. <laughs> That's true. Ironic for gates to be gatekept. Yeah, kind of, actually. <laughs> <laughs> gatekept. Oh, by the way, Burnstone... Um, I want to ask when are we wrapping it off i might have to go off pretty soon but no no hurry like whenever whenever we're finished it's all good uh let's just say but we had the finish. we had the situation with our laptop basically i fried my laptop somehow and the, the laptop was the thing that my wife was editing on it happened like in the first hour of the stream was kind of stressed about that for the whole stream yeah it's not a big problem because we have like a spare pc like the old pc that i used to have but it was a problem today because she couldn't edit anything and tomorrow we have to post so after i finish the stream she's gonna come uh, in, in my room and uh, giggity and basically edit on my pc <laughs> so yeah it's gonna be what was your band called oh it was an unoriginal band like cover band we just finished the the thing that last mob 
What do you say we kill this last track and we call it the day? All right, that's perfect. That's perfect. Okay, okay. That's perfect, perfect, perfect. It was fun. It was okay, really fun. Um, okay, I was about to ask, like, what was the, what was your take on this uh, this new thing that we're trying to do? I feel like it's awesome, honestly. I feel like it's awesome. I do have some feedback, though, that I feel like would go a long, long way with this. So hear me out. Okay. Uh, there's a program online. Uh, there's going to be a problem because you're going to have to explain to the streamers how it works and stuff like that because I don't know how many people use this. But there's a program called VDO Ninja, like VDO. It's like actually spelled like that. Like those are the, the, the spelling of the word, not the word itself. Uh, VDO Ninja allows you to send your camera. Now, on OBS, you will not be able to send your webcam because you're already using the virtual... I mean, you're already using the, the camera in OBS. So most webcams won't allow that. But if you do a nested scene, that's what it's called. You can do a nested scene for the webcam. And then you can kind of, in, instead of importing the webcam as a source, you are importing the, the nested scene. That's how it's called. It's very straightforward and very easy okay. to do. It's the same, the same procedure, basically. And that allows you to create a virtual camera on OBS. And that virtual camera you can send in multiple different feeds. And that way you can basically have your guest on your screen and also yourself yeah. on the guest screen. Uh, there's another thing that might be a cheat code. I did not explore this, but it might help a lot. Uh, there's a program that I'm using right now to stream both on Twitch and YouTube called Restream. If you use Restream, you are basically going to be able to... Um... So hear me out. I have uh, X amount of viewers. You have Y amount of viewers. As far as I know, again, I'm not sure how this works, but this basically combines those viewers because it creates oh. one stream. Like, you're going to be showing uh, only one stream. But that one stream will have both viewers combined, kind of. I'm not sure exactly how it works. But it's... Uh, again, we have to look into it. I'm not sure if it's against the TOS or whatnot. I didn't look into it because I never wanted to do that with it. Like, I just wanted to, to stream on multiple platforms. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What is this angry ant doing? You could have lived. <laughs> Why you attack us? You could have been the chosen one. So yeah, I feel like having the guest on the screen, that would be amazing. Kind of like, like to say it straight up, copying from the Albion online uh, podcast that they have. That, 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 like, I, I would steal as much as I can from there because they have some good ideas. They really have some good ideas in terms of that. And that's how you do it. about that as well, like the, the guest star, there is a function on Twitch, right? Um, that also works. I... I what the the issue was with what you said the other person will have to not stream then right oh because no not really the camera, or they have like two cameras uh does it work with like it works but okay. you need to have a virtual camera like obs virtual camera so basically um okay. i i can it's a different one it's an extra step basically it's an extra step yeah like you won't be able yeah. to to do it straight up and it's an extra step that's the problem it's an extra step that streamers need to make in their own um, like they need to change a thing permanently in their stream like it's not just a, a one-off they they are actually changing a thing permanently in their stream mm -hmm. that's what i was uh, thinking as well so I, I was trying out this new thing right and i didn't want to have that like extra job oh yeah no for real like, like the guests right so but yeah that's good no uh, for real like any extra steps well, probably, like, oh probably sorry sorry send you a message on discord um maybe maybe tonight for me uh maybe of like a pr 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 proposal oh, words, a proposal of sorts uh to to make this like a, a regular thing i would love this yeah i would absolutely be up for this so this would really work you know how podcasts have usually two hosts usually it's oh like i see what you guy, mean yeah, yeah. Guy and then a guest oh yeah oh yeah i see what you mean thinking of doing like that with a goal there's the goal to get robin into the program ah oh, that would be great actually that would be great right you know what we could do if we want uh, to jump into this together? We could make a new Twitch account. Like a shared Twitch account, totally separate. And we just raid yeah. that Twitch account to make it grow and stuff like that. So it's totally separate. When we start the podcast, we just raid the show and boom, we have combined viewers for the podcast. Oh, wow, big brain. Yeah, like we have combined viewers. Let's say, 
let's say during the stream i gather 300 viewers let's say you get the 300 as well boom we have all of, the, all of a sudden 600 viewers and it's still us like that. people will want to watch us Ooh. yeah we can absolutely do that that is a big brain move actually <laughs> interesting yeah i, I would love that I'm, I'm down to do that as well because absolutely i know for the like when we do hellgates and all that we always talk about stuff anyways and, and oh yeah oh yeah that also gave me an idea and also at the same time remember when you when you were uh, in my chat talk, uh, asking about if the game is paid to win oh yeah oh yeah yeah we had like an in-depth discussion about it being the not. drops are gonna be but easy chat, to to do talking, we're gonna become affiliate like, yeah, in like one day play, obviously so one day and without drops otherwise just drops fully this like just talk about specific stuff while playing the game i think i think it could be it could be a hit again my goal here is to get robin like as a guest one time oh that, that would, would be, be great that would be great and to be honest this format does not exist in albion so uh no, i feel like people it, would be interested too it's actually like amazing especially for a uh, discussion like you they say new players and veteran players we get to share ideas openly and and just talk about it freely we're not you know we are content creators for Abbott online but we're not like um paid to do not, this basically yeah we're not, we're yeah. not to do this as, we're not censored to do say anything like again as i said if you just listen to this it may seem like we're just hating on albion online and sbi <laughs> yeah and well. no absolutely not but not really i love this game man. we get to free speech oh yeah no absolutely and i feel like part of our job as a as content creators is to be the voice of the community because there's only so much voice that the random Andy has uh, compared to a streamer or compared to a, view, uh, to a YouTuber or a person that basically just does this. Like, we have a much yes. stronger voice. And again, it sucks to be like that, but that's the truth. And I feel like it's good to use this voice to give you guys a voice. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, to give the community a voice. I feel like that's the yeah. ultimate goal when it comes to this. To give the people uh, to give the people a voice and i feel like the persons who represent uh the community the most will actually be the persons who become the popular content creators yes no i, I absolutely love this idea we definitely have to theory craft this more mm -hmm. this is a great uh, great great idea yeah let's brainstorm some of the ideas and like some of the logistics uh, oh yeah all of the like the like planning it out I know we have like a different time zone and you're probably like way asleep when uh, I'll message you. So let's just like yeah. message each other whenever we can and like just, just iron things out. Uh, if we have time, if we both have time to like just jump into like a quick call or anything like that and to... Oh yeah, for sure. Finally some things, uh, we can do that as well. For sure, for sure. Uh, um, what time... Exciting stuff. Uh, I'm curious about this. What time is it for you in real life uh, before maintenance? Like, let's say six hours before maintenance or four hours before six maintenance. That would be 2 a.m. 2 a.m. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So 2 a.m., six hours before maintenance. The six hours is 12 a.m. Oh, 12 a.m. Okay, okay, okay. Six hours is 12 a.m. Yeah. We're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out. Yeah, 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 we'll figure it out. We always do. All right. But, but this is actually a great idea. So much, man. Thank you. Yeah, so it much was for joining this episode. I really appreciate it. Sharing uh, your ideas and your opinions and your takes, especially the hot takes. I really enjoyed the hot <laughs> takes in this Thank one. Thank you so much. We need more of that. And, um, <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll iron it out. Well, well, let's let's try to do this uh, regularly. Oh yeah, I I would love this. I would love this. Absolutely. Count me in for sure. After we figure out the logistics and everything, absolutely count me in. This was so much fun. Thank you for inviting me. Honestly, I could see this be uh, a great thing. A great, great, great thing. Oh, boy. oh, oh yeah. Joe Rogan, we're coming for you. <laughs> yeah, you ain't got nothing on us, Joe. I make better bear sounds. I make better bear sounds. <laughs> you can't beat that. Exactly. Yeah, honestly, 
You know what I'm thinking? I, I know I have to let you go in like a couple of minutes. Oh no, don't worry, here. don't worry. I've always, I've always wanted to be part of a podcast, but not the main guy. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm more of like uh, that secondary guy that, yes, obviously like talks uh, as well, but not as much. And I don't know, the sidekick. I wanted to be a sidekick. I know it's, it's a weird goal. <laughs> no, but I see what you mean. I see what you mean. But I would love to be like a sidekick uh, in, in a podcast. I don't know. That's, that's, that's my goal. It's my goal. And to be honest, we shall see I, I totally... See. Yeah, I, I'm going to think about this. I'm going to think about this tonight as I let my wife edit the rest of the videos. Man, she's going to hate me. Oh, man. <laughs> but yeah, it's great. All right, Burnstone. No, thank you so much for having me. All righty. I'll think about this and I'll drop you a message mm -hmm. to like what I come up with and stuff like that. And we can definitely do this. This would be really fun. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. You, All right. You and uh, Mighty Chicken have a great rest of your day. All Thank right? you so much. Thank you so much. Same to you. Have All a great right. stream. See ya. Bye bye. See ya. See ya. See ya. Bye bye. Bye bye. This was so much fun, chat. This was so much fun. Sorry that I couldn't pay that much attention to the chat itself, but. Oh man, was it always so many lights here? So many lights. Ah, uh, so many lights. All right, chat. I'm putting those back on. There's way too, way too many lights here. Oh man, there's so many lights. If you guys think that I'm a crybaby for crying about lights, all right? I'm a crybaby. I'm a crybaby. Right, that's what you guys think. <laughs> I'm a black square. <laughs> I'm a black square, chat. This is mock with no lights. This is mock with no lights. I legit couldn't turn on the light because I couldn't see it. You want to see the craziest part? Look at this. I'm poorly lit, yet the green screen works like a champ. You know why, boys? Because your boy knows how to set up a green screen. Yeah, boy. Been doing this for some time. Yeah. Uh, a chat. Oh. Chat, 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 chat. It's time we call it a day. We're going to be raiding Burnstone. My wife has to go edit. Hopefully, we can fix the laptop problems uh, ASAP. Because this is a real big problem. Uh, Raiders, I'm so sorry for seemingly ignoring you. I did not mean to ignore you. I just couldn't see. You guys saw my screen. It's insane what's going on over there. There's so many things to manage. There's so many things to do. And don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. I love doing this. But it's hard. But it's hot. Chat, we're going to be thinking about this. I, uh, I'm i glad that you guys also enjoyed the discussion. Chat, are we hyped for the Burnstone raid? I feel like most people right now went to FK because that's the nature of a podcast. It's just chill. You have it on the background and stuff like that. You have some steampunk goggles too. Hey, stylish person right there. Cheers to you, my dude. Cheers to you. Chat, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. We're going to see each other again. Same time, same place at 8 a.m. UTC potentially a little bit later because we might go to the repair shop to repair our laptop uh we're gonna see how that goes but yeah 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 i'm working on watching this hey that's great man Th that's what the podcasts are meant for if you guys want us to develop something like this i would absolutely love to do that i have some crazy ideas on the topic so we'd definitely love to get into that chat let's go for the burnstone raid see ya love y'all uh and stay safe stay safe see you tomorrow chat safe travels